like to shit myself. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. This is criminal. Oh, that was criminal. I win. I won. <laughs> What's good, Turtle Squad? It's your boy. Wait, hat? I'm too good at this game. I'm gonna win this f***ing thing. Oh, baby! And then, this is always the next move. Oh, he surrendered! I knew it, guys! We're geniuses! <laughs> Ready! They have this chest credit that's just terrible. Oh! Oh! Brilliant! A brilliant move is a move that is smarter than the computer. Welcome back, everyone, to your favorite creator chess tournament, PogChamps. And it is PogChamps 5, and it is day one. I'm Levy Rosman. You might know me as Gotham Chess, and I'm joined today by one half of Botez Live, Andrea Botez. Andrea, how are you? Hello, everyone. I'm super excited. PogChamps, for me at least, is my favorite chess tournament of the year because it really resonates with me. It's finally, you know, some chess I can follow along, and we have such an amazing lineup this year, things that people have been waiting for for years, so it's going to be an exciting time. It is going to be an exciting time. We've got creators in all walks of life from all over the world representing, except France this year. For some, Somehow we missed France, but we'll, we'll get them back next time. Uh, I, let's remind you of what the event format actually is, what PogChamps really is all about. Uh, it's four groups of four players. And that's a round robin style. So everybody plays everybody. Uh, the top two finishers of a group will make it to the championship bracket. The bottom two finishers will make it to a consolation bracket. So everybody makes it out of the group stage, just with a slightly different uh, fate. And then this is actually the most hype bullet point we've ever had. For the first time ever, PogChamps is going to have a live final hosted in Los Angeles, which is super, super exciting. Andrea, are you excited? You can just walk down the street. I don't know where you live. I don't know. It's probably. I'm very excited. Does this mean you're going to be flying to LA and you're going to hang out with your favorite Bolshevik sisters too? Yes. Yes. I think the contract is signed for that. I'm very excited. Oh, we've got the groups Yay. up. Uh, these are you all the groups. You know it's a good event if Levy's coming to LA. Yes. It's a long flight. Uh, so it's uh, it's definitely worth it. Let, let's tell everybody about the groups. Uh, let me draw your attention to a couple of things here, everybody. Bottom of group C, not by ranking, just, I don't know, alphabetical order. XQC, his fourth PogChamps event. I hope they're paying him a participation fee already. Uh, also in the same group as Tyler1. That is going to be an incredible group to watch. We've got Cutie Cinderella, Papa Plaza in, uh, in group D, Sapnap repping uh, Minecraft in, in group B, also Daily Dose of Internet. He's playing a bit later. The Sensation Frank in group A, Sea Dog the number one ranked player in the entire event. This is what's going on in the groups. Andrea, what's your favorite group? Which group? You got a favorite group? It's hard to pick favorites, but I just have to say it's very funny the players we have. We have like someone like Sea Dog, who literally could probably eat Ludwig for breakfast. Like he has been playing chess growing up. He competed in Twitch Rival three years ago. The man loves chess and has been playing for a long time. And then on the other side, you have like Tyler One, which don't get me wrong, you know, I love League of Legends. He plays um maybe one game of chess in between his league games, and he has been trying to hit 200, but he has not done it yet. So we have a very nice, diverse spectrum of, of talent today. But I think he lifts 200 on everything. Like, I, I'd, like to, yeah, I'd like to do the, like, I'd like to hit exactly. 200. Exactly. No, everyone has their strengths and weaknesses, and Tyler 1 must be a very intimidating opponent to play. Oh, I hate to play him uh, over the board, so it's good that it's all digital. There's a lot of interesting matchups. And like I said, a lot of creators from a lot of different places, some very experienced in chess and some not. And maybe the people who are not are going to skyrocket up to 1,100. We've seen it happen before. We have a lot of creators, but we've only got a few playing today. So let's jump into today's matchups. The very first matchup that we have is Frank. And a lot of people in this chat are probably here for Frank. You might know him as Frank. Frank's is here. It's cheeky. He's going up against Jarvis. Jarvis, of course, uh, was just in Creator Clash. Uh, and uh, obviously, his training is mental as well as his physical. Uh, then we've got a Group B matchup coming up right after that, which is Daily Dose of Internet. Uh, this is your... We got to make him do it right in the interview. Uh, and then Gasly. Uh, and Gasly is a musician. He's a DJ. So 
people from everywhere. Like, like I said, I mean, just doing all sorts of different things with their careers. Uh, we've got Ginny, who you might have seen all sorts of clips from her in, in different cities, and she's an IRL streamer. And who doesn't love Tyler One, right? Like, it's League of Legends and it's chess, and they are exactly similar. And we'll end the day back in Group A with Sea Dog versus Saikuno. Uh, which of these matchups do you think is going to be the most exciting, Andrea? Uh, you know, exciting is the way to put it. I have to say, I just don't know what to expect. For example, we have Saikuno versus Sea Dog, which I just gave a bit of background on Sea Dog. Meanwhile, Saikuno messaged me about four days ago and he said, Hello, I need help. I have a chess tournament coming up. I said, Hey, what's up? He said, I started at 800 and I am now at 200. And then he asked about openings and I said, Just push E4. And he, and he seemed very confused once I mentioned chess notation. Um, on the other hand, we have matchups like Gasly, which is my prodigy student. Um, he is a very well-established DJ. He plays some of the biggest musical festivals in the world, like Ultra, EDC. And um, his next endeavor right now is chess. He just finished six months of touring. And for the next month, he wants to take chess very seriously. So I guess today he will redeem or prove himself. I mean, what better way to do that than to play in Pog Champs, right? There's literally no better way, I feel like, to take chess seriously. I mean, there's a world championship, but I think Pog Champs is a little bit more prestigious. Exactly. I'm, exci I'm excited to see how Frank does because it's a high pressure match again for him. And he's in the group with the killer of the tournament, which is Sea Dog. You just mentioned, yeah, Sea Dog Saikuno is a tough matchup for Saikuno. Sea Dog played chess uh, w when he was in school. He played chess in middle school. I think he played it in high school. Then he quit. Then he came back. He's like 1,200. He's played thousands of games. Uh, and obviously, we're going to get to see two people we know nothing about a little bit later, which is Ginny versus uh, versus Tyler. Like that, we, we I think they've played a combined those, those 50 games. Those are the wild. I asked Ginny, I was like, hey, you, you need help because I've seen she's just been traveling the world. And she said, oh, I will try to speed run the game before my matches. So I tuned in her stream today and she's not playing chess. So we have a very fun <laughs> wild card and I'm very excited to see what will happen of those two games. Wow, that, uh, okay, well, that's very exciting to see. Um, but our first matchup of the day is Frank and Jarvis. So let's just dive a little bit deeper into Frank uh, and, and, well, and Jarvis, I mean, for lack of a better word. Frank, the, he, you know what's interesting? He's a chess YouTube sensation. He's a TikTok sensation first. One day I was scrolling and I just hear, oh, that's a cheeky move. And I'm like, who is this dude? It's so funny. He pre-moved the whole game. That was his original TikTok. He's now got over 60 million views. He plays on uh, mostly, he streams mostly on YouTube. Plays on chess.com all the time. He's played over a thousand games. Got up to 800 and he hit a brick wall. Recently, he got to 902. Now he's down to around 800. And uh, I think we actually have a, a, a live view of him. He, he's right now on stream. He looks to be praying. I, I, I hope to if... hear the word cheeky today. Yes, we got to do a Give cheeky Give us a counter. cheeky fork, Frank, please. We got we got to do like a bingo card for Frank like and, and Cheeky's got to be one of them. I that that's what he looks like. He looks like he's streaming from witness protection usually. Um, <laughs> he's rubbing his hands together. You know, uh, he's got an opponent that's really mysterious too, like a guy who played chess a lot when he was younger, but now hasn't played a lot. That's Jarvis, um, and uh, I think Jarvis also has a player card, so we obviously shouldn't disrespect him. Let's throw that up on the screen. Uh, Jarvis uh, mentioned to me briefly he's played some chess uh, as a teenager, I think up to like a certain age and then stopped. YouTuber, Twitch streamer, does a lot of different content. He's been nominated for the Stream Me, uh, the Stream Me Awards multiple times. He does, uh, I like his content a lot. Very easy stuff to throw up on a screen, 10, 15 minutes, boom, you laugh, you have a good time. You know him well too, right? Yeah, Jarvis Andrea. is a man who can wear many hats, I have to say. Recently... Obviously, he fought in Creator Clash with me, but he also has a huge podcast on YouTube called the Sad Boys Podcast, where he interviews some of the biggest YouTubers in the world. So whether he's training for boxing, he's going to podcast. Me, by the way. Yeah, maybe he'll take us on one day, you know, maybe if we're, we make a good impression today. But he is playing your prodigy student, so if anything, he'll take me on and not you, because you should be rooting against him. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm actively rooting for, for good chess. I am definitely biased. I'm slightly rooting for Frank. I, I, I just want to see him succeed. Uh, I'm mostly looking forward to the Frank Sea Dog matchup. I've already been hyping Frank up a lot, and it's tough. Andrea, do you ever feel like in these matchups, like you're friends with both? You don't want anybody to lose. Yeah, no, actually, Sapnap, but the student I was coaching asked me this morning. He said, "Which one of me and Gasly are your favorite student?" And I said. I'm, I answered the same thing when I asked my parents that question about my sister and I, and I said, I love both children equally and I can't pick a side, but that was a lie.
Okay. Well, uh, I think it's game time. I think Frank and Jarvis are ready to go. All right. Uh, I, I, I mean, any, any I'm really second excited now. to see everything that you've taught Frank because I know you guys have had a lot of extensive chess lessons. He's yeah, let's say you. let's save that. No, no, no. Let's save all of that. Uh, let's save all. Of that. If he wins in ten moves, he's my prodigy. <laughs> what what opening do you think he's gonna play? You think he's gonna go for cheeky trap? He he likes to play the fried liver. Ah, yes. Uh, so you know that goes well uh, if they play into your trap, and then if not, yeah. you're kind of just like, well, what now? Yeah, that's that's exactly right. Don't remind me. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that's that's exactly how well, it's actually. Uh, it's okay. I'm gonna work. You know, I'm sure it's very intimidating for Jarvis to go up against such a huge internet sensation of many platforms like Frank. So I I wouldn't underestimate him. Um, no, I'm 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 actually very very nervous because uh, I, yeah I I I mean they they ah there we go. All right. There's the game. Here's there here's your beautiful fried liver. Uh, almost. Yeah, he it he didn't play knight f three, but this is the bishop's opening. Oh, great move by Jarvis, by the way. This this removes all four move checkmate stuff. And uh, now we're in a regular king spawn. I think that's a good sign. As long as Frank's not getting mated in the first ten moves, this is this is a very good sign. Yeah, he's targeting the pawn in the center. Let's see if Jarvis just goes for like a typical. Okay, wow, the pawn has been grabbed. Look at that. Okay, we have some what tricky a... lines. Let's see how well. Ooh, Frank has a juicy 850 rating. He was 200 last time I saw him play Blitz. Of course, Rapid is different. So, you know, he technically looks like the favorite right now, but we don't know. <laughs> what is Frank doing? <laughs> he just looked over and he was just wide-eyed, rubbing his hands together, screaming. Does he know it's his move? He's manifesting, and it's all about the energy that you bring to the game. He's playing the mind games. I'm, this is good. This is what I learned from boxing as well. It's not about What's, what you fight. It's just how intimidating you can be mentally. Sorry, so you're saying it's all mental in boxing? It's not about the quality of the punches? Is well, that the argument? 50-50, but I, I think one big reason Michelle like went in so strong is because before the match, she was staring at me doing all these mind games, and it really made me scared, and it worked. It worked very much, and I think Frank's doing the same tactic. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's 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 going he's go well, what happens if yeah, but see the, the difference here, Andrea, is that and he did take the pawn, by the way, with the with the threat on the F seven pawn. The difference is you had to look at Michelle. Like what if Jarvis just minimizes the window? Yeah. Well then the plan will all fail just like the fried liver. So we will see. Yeah. Well, by the way, there's a way that White could lose. I mean, Queen to H four or even Queen to F six are actual just pure checkmate threats. Uh, Jarvis might get a little bit concerned about this, but any move here is good. Fighting for the center. Uh, just, I don't know, not like, don't go here. Wow, d5 on the board by Jarvis. Hitting the bishop, defended by the queen, defending the knight, stopping this. Very aggressive. He is a principled man. He didn't move his queen early on. The fact that he saw that he could interpose, stop a threat by getting in the way is already really good. I'm really worried. Frank is kind of a... A one move player sometimes give a check and then black is gonna block but is maybe frank is gonna go queen here because that is, is pretty cheeky is there any way we can see what frank is going on about could we hear him yeah i think Tune so in. let's take a look at his stream we do have audio um okay or if I, okay do i go there and give a check oh goodness me goodness gracious me <laughs> Okay. Now I see why he's Dokey. mixing Dokey his hands together. Dokey. If I okay, do I just go there? Okay, boom. I go. Do I go there? Oh, I think he's gonna try to set up Jarvis. He's gonna try to mate him early in the game. Okay, boom. I go there. I threat. <laughs> Getting really excited over this position. <laughs> he's so hyped. <laughs> That's a check right there. He goes there. I take there. He takes there. This is incredible. <laughs> He's just got a little <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go there and give a check. Um, He's very I'm excited about this check. Go. It's not gonna do much, um, but but oh I'm no, glad he's that excited. There, that I called that, by the way. Um, if I do, I go there. 
He takes Wait, but what if Knight F7 check? is winning the game? With the queen, do I do that? Oh um, God. I feel as though I do go there. Okay. He doesn't do, stop. Okay. I can't yeah, even commentate. Do do that? Uh, no, don't do that. What are you doing? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did he do that? <laughs> Why did and he this, ladies and gentlemen, is Gotham Chess's prodigy student, Frank, who he actually coached. It's because he's been hanging out with you, okay? <laughs> Next, he's gonna hang his. Wait, what just happened? Oh, oh, Jarvis. Oh, but, Jar but Jarvis. Wait, Jarvis this might actually this. work out. Oh my God! Wait, this is actually gonna work out for Frank. Yes, yes. It, Fra Frank's big idea. Why can't I go backwards? What is going on? Bring him back. Chess.com. How do I? How do I go back? How do I? Oh my. Just show God. us Frank. Show us Frank. I want to see if he's gonna see it. Queen here. He just had to go backwards. He just had to relax. Oh, he didn't play. But he did No, Frank traded the queen! He didn't even take the pawn on d5! Okay. No! <laughs> Frank! You know, he took a risk, and it was a bad move, but it could have paid off. But now that, okay. even that, it's now it's just... Oh, but but now he has it again! Bishop takes pawn! Jarvis had to go backwards. Oh, and he's on the board! It! it! Sounds like a cheeky sack worked off. Now you should be extremely proud. Uh, you could say this was all calculated, all part of the mind games. I, I, it was... It was not calculated, and that's kind of the my 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 like my concern with Frank as his coach is if you leave Frank in a room for two minutes, the room will be on fire. Everything in the room will be destroyed, like for no reason. He gets super excited on the fifth move of the game, and I'm like, Frank, it's move five, you know, it, it, and he screams and screams, and then he gives away a knight. Um, but honestly, it, Frank is kind of my favorite now. I like I like the energy he brings. I don't care if it's not good chess. It, it's good chess. He's, if he takes the knight, it's good chess. Well, now it's great chess. That's true. Now we could say this is all uh -oh. planned. I think Frank is going to take the pawn, though, which is technically Still the best good. move. Yes, yeah. technically it's the best Even move. Even if but... he falls for the bait? Yeah. This could be some GM-level play right here. But actually, I think for beginners, Andre, I don't know, you could disagree with me. Yeah, taking this is what I would prefer because you go there, your bishop is going to get trapped. And he actually does take the knight. I think he would have taken the pawn and then eventually realized the knight was still hanging and just kind of walked into the best move. But so far, Frank's wild card energy versus Jarvis's mature, well-experienced chess is working very well. Yeah, Jarvis is playing like a like a full-on professional, uh, just calmly sitting there, head in his hands. <laughs> um, yeah. That's like that's chess player pose, wondering why you showed up to play in the first place. And then we have Frank on the other hand. <laughs> and he just, Frank does not even think, he just takes the knight. No conflict, just no hesitation. It's not a bad move because he is winning. So trading a bishop for a knight is not bad. But you really don't want to trade the bishop because look how easily black can create an attack. This is the problem. This is, he should have kept his bishop. This, this, I am worried for, for a low rated. All black needs to do is develop. And it's going to be not very easy for Frank to defend. Okay, he's, he's going on or something. Can you please give me the Frank? I want to hear what he's saying. Yeah, let's just, can we just put Frank on the screen? But we don't even need to commentate this no game. Commentary. Just let yeah, Frank no. take over chess.com. We're really just, just flies on the wall. Please? We ask nicely? Castle up. Let's see. Boom, bada, boom, we castle up. Oh, goodness me, I need to activate my pieces. I need to activate my pieces. <laughs> Holy Okay, he sees it. Holy guacamole, I need to activate my Can pieces. he just be quiet for this 10 seconds? <laughs> just, just so he can I think? He can't think. This is how we think, Gotham. Okay, He's just getting his own way. Right now. Oh my goodness gracious me, composure. He's, he he's staying composure very well composed. Okay, six Close. minutes. Okay. Okay, the bishops um, are coming out. Let's see if he knows how to defend. I don't really know what that does right there. Um, okay. And he's got this. Okay, what is that movement? What is that movement? Okay, we can... I like that he has to touch uh, all the pieces yeah, yeah, yeah. to he realize he where he's going. Someone he's has to tell him... <laughs> someone has to tell him about touch move. Uh, In chess, if you... Let, let's, let's bring it back to the analysis board because it's no, impossible to actually that commentate that and analyze because Frank is just non-stop action. He's like a good British fighter, you know? Uh, he did develop his knight, which is good. Um... And uh, he's up two pawns, Andrea. I mean, like, you can't, like, and all these pawns are bad. These are all isolated pawn islands. Uh, yeah. And, you know, he's doing well. I have to say, even though, you know, he's always talking, I actually love hearing his thought process because it might look like without audio, oh, my God, and a man has no idea, but he knows what he's doing. He sees the bishops. He knows to develop. I think even though he sounds like a, a ticking time bomb, he knows exactly how to defend this.
it's like mad scientist vibes. You know, what yeah. is he doing? What is he do? Is he shadow boxing? Envisioning creator clash as he beats up Frank. I mean, sorry, Jarvis. Yeah, well, I mean, he is at this rate, he will literally accidentally beat himself up. Uh, by the way, Jarvis played everything I showed. I mean, Jarvis is a good player, and I don't know anything about Jarvis. He has two games played on his chess.com account, and they're against bots. And he beat, I think, a 1500 bot. So he's clearly not bad at all. If. Listen, okay, if this was an open mic match and Jarvis would hear Frank, it would be game over oh, for Jarvis. Oh, game over. Yeah, yeah, he would not but be able to you're tolerate. right. He has been playing perfect chess, and he's very strong. He's played chess a long time since he was a kid. He was even in chess club. Yeah, which is like the sure sign of, of, of a cool kid. Like the alpha of the, of the social group goes to chess club. Is that how it was at your school? Uh, yep, yeah, no, we were all the very cool kids in chess club. Yeah, same. We I actually I went to a school with no chess club. Nobody in my school even played chess. It was Good move, by the way. Too cool for school. Yeah, too cool because they knew chess is a gateway for other things like robotics and math and exactly. getting into a good college. Uh, will Jarvis play h5 or bishop h3, continuing the attack? All of these ideas. If he does, then I have to say Jarvis might be like C Dog's best match. Like this is very good positional play if he even continues with that. Because he has a good position but he doesn't have the resources to fight white's advantage white's two pawns are very good white can go here and start trading so black has to be a menace and if jarvis just plays easy moves like bringing the rook or something like that with no clear plan frank will start trading pieces actually can i be honest i have no clue what frank is gonna do <laughs> i mean i don't think he has stopped talking how is he not tired why not would we move. ever mute the frank think just keep Frank going on all day long. I, how, Frank is going to get so exhausted after this. I mean, he literally just keeps, like, I'm exhausted just That's looking. That's a big tarnish yes, on my record Frank. right there. That's a very big tarnish. Hokey dokey, hokey dokey, composure. Composure, my dear Frank. Composure, my dear Frank. This I is why they call him Frank I the Tank. I can do this. I can do really this Really, just right so composed. Do, do they actually call him that? Um, I don't know. Chat you know, does. We're going to go there. Boom, we go there with the knight. Yep, we're going to go there and put threat. That's a, in this that's a good knight bishop. move. Hokey that's good. Hokey yeah. dokey. I don't really know. We're going to go there and we're going to go put pressure on one of his bishops. Okay. Okay. Little bit of a cook. I don't really know what the rooks are doing right now, but they are looking a little bit scary. Okay, I need to activate my bishop as well. I do need to activate my bishop right here. You know what? We are looking composed. We are looking composed. Okay, five minutes left on Jarvis's clock. Five minutes <laughs> left on Jarvis's clock. Hokey dokey. We're good here. We're composed. Five minutes on yours too, I'm Frank. I'm comfortable. I'm feeling like a tiger in the woods right now. Okay. <laughs> Why is there a tiger in the woods? That's not its natural habitat. Yeah, <laughs> that's just... a problem. Okay, he's look. I, he's a madman talking nonsense, but his play is solid. He's defending against bishops, nine in the center. He ne said he needs to connect his rook, so he sees what he needs to do. By the way, I I think c three is a genius move because he's going to provide a building block. Exactly. Push, the, push this. Take it. Just as long as he doesn't blunder the pawn, it's very it's very easy with these rooks and these bishops. They control so much space to give away a pawn, then you give away another. Now suddenly you're screaming that you've lost all your pawns. But he's actually playing quite good. Like he he he's playing very well given the circumstances. Oh, that's a really good move. Oh, that's a really good move by Jarvis. Wow, Jarvis is okay, sharp on the. Okay, putting Frank under pressure. This is not easy to defend. Yeah, Frank is going to have to use his pawns, and I'm really worried he's going to just walk with the knight and scream a lot and then lose his knight. No, he uh, would never let the knight wander in the woods. He knows. It all comes back to the woods. When one is alone in the woods, you do not wander because you might run into tigers. Therefore, Frank has figured this out and he's going to push his pawn and defend. Yes. According to the game clock, he's very even on time. We're getting a, an action-packed first game. This is awesome because I didn't know how good Jarvis was going in. And I, I was right, by the way. I know my student. He goes for a night journey. Uh, but Jarvis could also make a mistake here, right? Like, he could blunder a fork. I don't know how. It would be very hard to do that, actually. Well, 
Maybe. Like you would need to play rook here for some reason. Well, with d4, this could be, I see this as an outpost knight. Could be a yeah. strength. Yeah, push some pawns, get the bishop get out. Get a little bit of Fra space. It's hard for Frank to move because if he moves this bishop, he's going to lose this pawn. So he has to move that pawn. Then he has to move another pawn. Then he has to move his bishop. So does he know all of that? The good news is it's Jarvis's move, and he's down to three and a half minutes. And I would go to Jarvis's camera, but he is way too calm. So uh, rook b5, good move. Now, will Frank keep going with the knight? I predicted this, this, and then losing the knight on that square. Frank so, will push. I, can we maybe tune in? I want to see if he's going to push or move the knight. My guess is he's going to push the pawn, and he's a well-principled player. I, oh, I I thought that was the cue. I thought that was pretty. I, I thought that was pretty clear that we do were it again. Go, go, together. Go, 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 go to Frank to see his thought welcome process. Welcome to Disney Channel. Okay, I think actually, I, I, I think his audio is playing. I think we just can't hear it. Oh, there it is. Damn it. Does that move do? I have no clue, but it's looking dangerous. Um, if I go there, okay, boom. I go there. Oh, what? Okay. Okay, if I, mm, okie dokie, okie dokie, I go, mm, okay, Ooh, okay, I'm gonna go there with the knight for now, okay, boom, we go there, we threaten a pawn, that takes that, I'll take, Ooh, oh no, I can't take pawn there, I can't Let's bring it back to the analysis board the real quick, because, uh, um, I actually, oh, oh, a lot has happened, oh, oh boy. Oh boy, so the knight did in fact go there and Frank said he was threatening a pawn, which he is absolutely not threatening, which is what I predicted. Now the bishop sees the rook, but Frank counters with a bishop attack. That's not the, a good trade, but it's still okay because white has enough pawns. This is crazy. Three minutes on the clock. Is Jarvis going to take the rook? Oh boy, I, I zoned out for a second and now Frank might be losing a piece. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. Now Frank has to make a decision. He has to take this bishop. If he takes that one, this bishop comes out here and the king has no safety. You've got to take this bishop to force the black bishop backwards so your king has light squares. And he takes the wrong bishop. And now the bishop can run out and the rook can come down and Jarvis could win this game in the next five moves. Well, that's not very optimistic for, for, for poor Frank. I think... Um... You know, with the element of surprise, hopefully not. Hopefully this game will last more than five moves. I have full well, faith, full faith. I could see Frank bringing out a bishop and covering the back rank. Like, will Jarvis realize that he doesn't have to take the pawn and he has to move the bishop? This is the best move. If he plays bishop h3, I, 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 I'm, he's going to win the tournament. Yeah, <laughs> like, no, I'm Jarvis sorry. Jarvis is fully zoned in. He hasn't moved. He has a stoic pose. And he moves the bishop. Yep. Okay. Not... The move I said, so he's still a, a, a you know very good player, but I said if he finds this move to snuggle the king in, oh, that, that would have been game over. Um, now, rook d5, hitting the knight with the bishop, and the rook comes down. That's why chess.com gave this a question mark. Rude, by the way. And that move is winning on the spot. These two moves are now winning for black because of the threat on the knight and the attack on the back rank. Big, oh, it is, it's on the board! Wow, wow. He is a killer. Well, oh my goodness. You don't think a move like, what, bishop e3, we survive? Well, actually, I think it's even better to save the knight and just go for a run. This is why the bishop on h3 would have been lethal, because the king can't come up. You have to try to suffocate a king that's trying to escape off of the back rank. I'm not sure Frank is going to see that. He might also... He did see it, okay. I think. A uh, counterattack keeping up the pressure. This is even better. Wow, that's an incredible move, but... Now rook f5 hits the bishop, and you can't take because of the pin. That's the winning move. Oh. Rook f5 setting up an attack while this knight is hanging. I don't know if he sees that. That's yep. ridiculous. That is if Jarvis sees the pin piece. Because otherwise, it looks like maybe he's losing the pawn on e c7. If you don't realize that you're going to be threatening that bishop in one move, it looks like maybe white could come back a little bit. Yeah, if he doesn't see that, and he's only got... And he, and, he, and, he, and he hangs the rook completely! He's blundered the rook! Come back time! Frank the tank! Frank the tank! This is good. I, this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. And now Frank could finally take the pawn, and he's going to, but that's not the right move. <laughs> because then the knight is kind of trapped, and he does... Well, that is if your opponent knows to trap the knight. Maybe the knight yes. will roam free through the forest. 
Yes, the massive comeback now, and King takes pawn on the board. Now, now it's impossible to checkmate, but the, the rook is going to take a bunch of pawns here. It's not over. This is anybody's game. This knight has no way out. Yep. No way out. I don't know. Frank will find a way. I just, somehow something tells me he's going to figure it out. Oh, that is, that's a good move. And now if the bishop goes to d5, knight takes bishop easy, and we go to a rook endgame. Everybody's favorite subject, beginners playing rook endgames. Literally like toddlers in a kitchen. Bishop d3 is a good move. <gasps> oh my goodness. Andrea, rook d1, bishop here, rook gives a check, and then checkmate on the back rank. Oh, please no. This is... Oh, please no. It might happen. I also like that Frank has a little bit of extra time. Time pressure is really... Jarvis has been a very solid, solid player, but he's getting under a minute soon. Yeah, this is this is craziness. Can we um maybe tune in to hear what uh if Frank is gonna see this cheeky back yeah. rank? Let's let's listen to Frank. He's a little behind us, but let's get let's get him on audio. Okay, boom! I mm, oh no, ja, mm, Okay, okie dokie. Um, okie dokie. Oh oh, how do I play out of this position? I go there. He can win a pawn. Um, okay, okay, do I go there, mate? Okay, boom, I go... Oh, my goodness. He's trying to escape, but he can't. Okay, boom, I go there, then I go there. Do I just look for a pawn right here? I don't know what we're trying to do. He's gonna go there. Yeah, I can't say he sees your five-head um, elo plan, but... Okay, I can't go there. Um, Process of elimination. Okay, boom, he I, might. Okay, we're gonna go there and put threats. Uh, uh, I called it. Oh my He's God. gonna move his rook. Uh, He's gonna move his rook. Okay, I'm starting to believe that anything you manifest there. just happens. Okay, we're just you have wow, it's on the board. Strange bond with Frank. Right it, it's no, I, okay, I just understand beginner games. Yeah, let, let's bring it back to the analysis board. Jarvis didn't. Uh, Jarvis did not play mm. the most critical move. Bishop to e4 would have prevented the king from escaping, so it would have been impossible for the rook to come down. Uh, but you know, end games are hard. Like in the end game, you know, you're gonna you're gonna do this, and uh, instead of playing, uh, you know, the move that's supposed to restrict the king. But Andrea, they each have a minute. I mean, okay. this is like well, Bishop c2 was just played. Looks like it's gonna happen. Oh, that's not a good end game it's move, my friend. Not gonna happen. Not Jarv gonna happen. Jarvis gotta just take the pawn. He just takes the pawn, and the knight's still stuck. Jarvis has to take. Oh, on the board, by the way, he he's preventing the king from escaping. Nice. He's coming back to that winning plan. He's trying to get that back rank mate at some point. Oh, Frank is yeah. not doing his rook any the justice. The thing is, that knight is never going to go anywhere, and that king can take that pawn at any time. So Jarvis is taking his time. He's going to squeeze him like a snake. Yeah, and Frank is down 20 seconds. Frank has 50, 50 seconds on the clock. He plays A4 because he doesn't know what else to do. If Jarvis just yep. stays composed, and he's taking the pawns, oh my goodness, and he could just go win these pawns next. 98 check. Yes, I knew that Frank was going to do that, but oh no, the, knight, the fork! The knight! A chicken the... fork, ladies and gentlemen! Maybe not oh. completely winning, but I mean, this actually could be a winning endgame. And he this snatches it, he's winning. Frank is up three pawns. But does he know how to win this, or is he just going to push? Oh my goodness, if he doesn't get his king off the back rank. <gasps> king g4, king, oh, oh my goodness, there's a mate. If Frank doesn't bring his king up, he might get checkmated. King g4 is a fork, though. He's pushing his Sometimes. pawns, he's panicking. The king is Rook. coming. Okay. Oh, Jarvis has to go right here to prevent the king from escaping and then checkmate, but that's the only way he can he might win. might get baited by the check, though. <gasps> Rookie seven, game over. It's a rook trade. It's a rook trade for Frank. Wow. Wow. And just push the f-pawn. That, that's, there's a pawn there, Frank, you can't, he's not gonna... Hey, 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 he's <laughs> clicking them one by one, and eventually he'll realize the F-pawn. Yes, has to okay. He paste them all. Okay, oh. click the king, but he's, he's getting in over there. Oh my goodness, what a battle this has been, and it's not over yet, but six pawns versus three. Oh, the breakthrough okay. by Frank, very classy, nice very classy. Sacrifice. Yeah, this is why when I was learning chess, my dad said, as a beginner, all you need to know is your end game. You just force your opponent to trade, and if you know how to win an endgame, you're set. And Jarvis had to go to e5 there. He had to get in the square. If you're watching this as a chess beginner, learn what the square is. It was still losing, but now Frank is getting a queen. Andrea, the only thing remaining, will there be a stalemate? I don't know. Frank is known for his viral clippable moments, so I really, based on his play so far, don't know. But he has played a beautiful, tricky game. Yes, it's been... 
back and forth action. Uh, there's a the thing is Jarvis can move the the pawn. It's almost the stalemate. Jarvis knows what he's doing. He's gonna oh, try to force Andrea, it. Andrea, Andrea, there's a stalemate coming. Pawn here, take King G4. He pushes and it's a stalemate. Oh my goodness. Well, you you clearly you I'm sure you taught Frank about stalemate. Oh. No. Okay, you don't no! push. This I blame you for all of this. <laughs> this is oh your bad investigation. Oh my See? goodness. Andrea, you you, you just do the con Oh god. Welcome to Pod Champs, ladies and gentlemen. This is re this is real, right? This I, I don't know if you're setting me up or something. I, I genuinely can't tell. I think this is real. <laughs> I'm that's, I'm that's I the am game. Stunned. Wow. Um all I have to say is if I was Frank's coach, we would have had a mate. Let's go see Frank's reaction. Oh, how did I not see that? Oh, you're taking the mick. <laughs> you're taking the mick. How? Oh, I didn't see the stalemate. Okay, this is real. It wasn't I didn't Frank. See oh, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. Oh, no. So well. No, I didn't see the stalemate. I didn't see it. Oh, you're absolutely He sounds like a broken me. man. Oh, you're taking the mick. You're taking the mick. Okay, all right. Well, after our very first game, welcome to PogChamps, by the way. If you're not watching. That is how we start off PogChamps. This is what PogChamps is about. <laughs> Making your chess teachers suffer. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, yeah, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not doing this in a way that I'm cheering for anybody to lose, but it, like, I, I just had a feeling it was coming. After the first game, it's half, half friendly reminder. They play two games. You get a game with white and a game with black. It's not a knockout. It's a round robin. Everybody plays everybody. So we're going to have a game coming up here in a moment. We're not going to any break. Um, now Jarvis gets the white pieces. Frank gets the black pieces. Uh, I have to say, credit where it's due. Jarvis played on and set that up and it worked. So even more respect to Jarvis. Oh, tremendous respect to Jarvis, who also... Like, I didn't know if he was a total beginner. I mean, I would estimate his strength at six, 700 easily. And if he just fills in a few more gaps in the knowledge, he, he's an eight, 900 rated player. He really, really fought. He was outplayed. It was a very tense game, but that's life. Frank actually raised his accuracy throughout that game by like 15%. It went from 60 to 76, and then he stalemated. And as far as I'm concerned, he loses 50% of the accuracy right there. Um, Wow. Yeah, what I have to say, amidst the Frank chaos, he had some very brilliant moments. And they just, like that sack, that made no sense. But then it worked out for him. I don't even know how that knight got out in that endgame, but that was a crazy game. That was so well done, how he timed the knight jump, traded down, did everything right. The way you prevent that from happening, you need to always try to make sure that the opponent has a legal move. And he had two minutes to do that. Right. You can or teach that to him, his next lesson. I tried. He doesn't really listen. It's okay. <laughs> uh, you know what? Um, I'm, I'm curious to see how Jarvis plays his second game, uh, what opening he's going to play. Uh, I, I'm trying to, I think I have it here. And um, Jarvis plays E4. And Frank's been playing the French. Is this you? Did you, did, did you uh, teach him I, this? Or? First of all, it's my sister plays the French, not me. I would never teach the French. Um, but I also taught him nothing because I, I don't think he was very interested in lessons. He just wanted to wing it and do his thing, which he's he's sure doing. Yeah, knight c3 is a completely reasonable move. I don't know if Jarvis is trying to play a Vienna or if this is just like, you know, because sometimes you learn the Vienna, so you think everything is a Vienna. You know, you get a hammer, you think everything is a nail. Uh, but two knights in the center and two pawns in the center against most openings is a good strategy. I have a, th I have a feeling he's going to take or push. Yeah, that's also right now. Frank is just out of any known stuff. Like they're just gonna have to play a chess game. Um, I would love to hear some opening commentary by Frank because I don't know how it's the third move and just it looks like something crazy is about to happen already. By the way, Jarvis did not react whatsoever. <laughs> can, can I we think just the man's that? a bot. That's true. Wait, there was no like, celebratory nothing. Like, like yeah, he got stalemated down a queen and three pawns, and he was just like. Well, that's how you know Gotta, he's very zoned in. Yeah, I mean, that's I guess that's why he was a boxer. He's fought in the right? ring, exactly. He can handle a little stalemate. Um, but yeah, I've never seen a, such a calm player. 
are we gonna listen in on Frank's opening thoughts? Is that our is that our plan, or should I we just keep to. rolling along? All right, let's see what Frank has to say. Not like it right now. Okay, boom. We're gonna go there. You know what? I'm just gonna trade a bishop off the board for the knight. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're going to do that. I'm happy with that. I'm a happy duck. I'm a happy duck. I'm a very happy duck. I'm a very, very happy duck. Yes, yeah. analogies, I just don't know where- I'm quacking right now. I am quacking. Okay, we're good. We're cooking. We're cooking. It wasn't even an analogy. He just we're identifies as a duck, I guess. <laughs> I, yeah, he's a happy duck. Like, what can I say? Oh, okay. Okay. Composure. Composure, Frank. That was my duck Jarvis impression. Jarvis is cooking himself, though. Jarvis is cooking himself. Um, okay. He just frantically um, clicks. The clicking. Clock. I go... Um, oh, goodness gracious me. Goodness gracious me. Okay. Okay. I want, do I just take, do I just... Okay, let's bring this back to the analysis board and okay. show why what Frank is doing is kind of wrong. Uh, and I've actually told him this as well, but... You know, I'll have to tell him, uh, and this is just kind of a general beginner lesson. Uh, if you don't have a good reason to trade a bishop for a knight, don't do it. So bishop here, it, there is no reason to make that move. Uh, Gotta respect the bishop pair. And like maybe, right, you're damaging the structure, but white can just take and he might even blunder his rook if he's not Yeah, careful. that's a very scary sniper. So, yeah, I mean, and that's what he did. Oh, goodness. He took so quick. He didn't even think about it. He didn't even oh! to reflect. Jarvis is so good. Oh, my goodness. I wonder when Jarvis will say his first word. Probably I bet you he's just going to log off. We're not even going to get to interview him <laughs> if he wins. Oh, my goodness. He is sensational. So Jarvis is insane. He's playing very well. And, I mean... Yeah, from what I've seen from Jarvis, the amount of projects he can handle, I know when he does something, he does it full-fledgingly, and his chest is great, and that's exactly what I expected. But Frank the wild card, once again, you know, last game he had a, a checkmate turn into a stalemate. Maybe this game the loss will turn into a win. I don't know how Frank is going to make a comeback in this game because he is losing this rook for absolutely nothing. Like, sometimes the rook is getting trapped and you get the bishop, He's going to have to push his pawn to trap the bishop. That weakens his king. I don't know. And Jarvis doesn't even have to take the rook. He could go here. He could even trade the queens and then take. Like, his position is incredible. He, of course, could just take the rook. Um, so we're going to see how Jarvis maintains a winning position. Frank had a winning position last game, maintained it, and then threw it all away in one move. That's what beginner chess is all about. Very curious to see how Jarvis handles it. If Jarvis wins this game, his estimated ELO is like easily 900, 8, 900. And he took. He didn't even wow. take the rook. Wow, yep. He's waiting to take the rook. Yep. That is a sign that shows advanced chess. And it would have been slightly better to take with the bishop just to get the bishop out rather than have a pawn there, but whatever, right? Like, it's okay, and he's going to go here and... Uh... Yeah, no, I, I have huh? a feeling Jarvis is going to be a very solid player. Oh, to his credit, Frank found this. The problem is, if now Frank dedicates the whole game to getting this bishop, he's going to get obliterated because Queen H five is a fork. You're going to win this. Yeah, Queen H five is already absolutely lethal, and Jarvis might not see it, but that's a very common beginner check, and he's just going to just bludgeon this position. I mean. Yep. Typically, I'm always telling my students, don't go for these queen moves, not in the beginning, but this is just, this is game over. And Jarvis hasn't been missing, so I won't be surprised if he finds this check. Yeah, you never want to play queen h5 against the fully equipped army, because a queen on her own, like, will just get booted. But this is, oh, this is really bad. This is like the loan shark coming to collect. You've got absolutely nothing here. He doesn't see it. That happens. He's still Develop. completely winning. Yep. Still following Develops. the principles. Yep. And He's a very principled player. Yeah, like, when left on his own, he does not burn the house down. Frank yeah. does, and also yeah. his neighbor's house. Like, exactly. that's the difference. Like, yep, I, I can Frank... relate to Frank with that. Yeah, I mean, knight f3 is just easy. Now we see the advantage of having the bishop here. You can castle. Um, hey, this yeah, is looking this, really good. this means there's a chance for Frank. The queen's not coming in. The king is safe for a little bit longer. This is making me optimistic. Queen e7 is a nice move from Frank, by the way. 
Uh, he can trap the bishop by going there after he moves the knight. So Jarvis can't fall asleep at the wheel here. He's got to he's gotta cause some problems or he's going to lose the bishop, and then Frank is actually back in the game. Uh, what do you think, Andrea? Just bishop e2 and castle or... Yeah, I mean, Jarvis seems so principled. Like, he's he's up material, he's going to develop, he's going to castle, and I have a feeling he's just going to slowly squeeze the win. He doesn't really care about that bishop. He doesn't need it. At the same time, I think he's creative enough to find a way out. I don't know how. I don't know how he's going to do it, but I kind of trust him. I like to Because at the very least, you want to give away the bishop for the pawn. So when your yep. bishop gets trapped, right, you don't lose it for nothing. It's called a desperado. You lose the bishop for the pawn because you were going to lose it for free. Uh, I didn't have Frank Animal Bingo on my on my list today, but he named a tiger. He named a duck. I wonder uh, what maybe else maybe get. we tune back into Frank. Ooh, interesting Ooh. move. He's trying to make the queen happen. Yeah, he tried to do it, but now there's this ridiculous haymaker. Does Frank Ma see it? Okay. Can we tune in? Let's tune in. This is this is a critical moment. Oh my god, this is crazy. Yeah, queen before could be, and, and could be another comeback. Well, he got some tunnel vision there. Now okay. we're tuning in. Um, okay, boom, we go there. Then I can go there and give a check. Okay. Okay, if I go, okay, boom, I go there, give a check. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Boom. Okay, boom, I go there, give a check. He can only move there. Then I go there, give a check. Does he see it? He sees there. the check, he doesn't see the fork. Move. He can't go, he could, he could fall back. He, he'll walk into it. He doesn't see like that it's a tiger in the, the forest. Um, yeah. Okay, like a duck in the I savannah. Go, ooh, do I go? Oh no. Oh, do I just? Okay, boom. I okay. Yeah, oh, I'm, I think okay, he's gonna boom, see it. I give a check there, right? Uh, okay, he doesn't see the knife, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let go of the mouse, damn it! Let go of the mouse. Just, boom, oh, yeah, just okay, do it or do don't do it. Way. I don't even know who you're cheering for. I just, I want to see good chess. Oh, he stopped himself. He is his own worst enemy. Why is he pushing pawns? Okie dokie, okie dokie. We give a check there. Okay, he did it's it. It's on the board. He did it. Let's bring it back. All right. Let's bring it back. The game, We're going to win the game is knight. taking a turn. Okay. Oh, but I and do, he sees I, it now. Andrea, does he see the knight is hanging? I think so. I think so. Oh, that's crazy stuff. I mean, oh, queen d2. This, this kind of seems to be the re reoccurring theme with Frank's chess. He doesn't see the full plan, but he just kind of walks into these tactics that end up working for him. Yes, it happened in the beginning man. of... He, I, he, he really is. He he thought that Jarvis's only move was moving the king, which is a common mistake beginners make. Like, they don't think about the blocks. He might think that he's kind of cooked here, and whatever he takes, he's just unhappy. Trading the queens would be... And he's always found it! Oh, the comeback! The comeback is beginning, okay. my goodness. Oh, wow. Now, oh, wow. now Frank's only down in exchange, and that bishop is trapped, so this could be anybody's game. Oh, and yeah, Jarvis has to really, really just calm down and castle his king. See, if he had just stuck to that, this and this, it would have been good. The principles. But so, this principles, yeah, but then I think he got a little greedy. He was like, wait a minute, I've got this queen idea, which he could have played last move. And yeah, chess is a brutal game. It's all about taking your opportunities. Which I have to say, the fact that he's still taking it so seriously, even when he's up a whole rook looking for winning plans. I mean, Jarvis is a deep thinker. He is, and I wouldn't be surprised if his next move is here and here. Like, Jarvis is an exceptional player. I mean, he he started this game red hot. So, I mean, I'm I'm cheering for both players. I'm 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 like a I'm like the 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 guy at the football match that has two jerseys on, one on top of the other. And then like when, when yeah. Frank is doing well, I have the Frank jersey, then I put the Jarvis jersey on. Here I'm I'm a little worried that Frank is going to misplace his queen. Um, not necessarily give it away, but not give it a lot of space to move. Hopefully, there's no Botez Gambits coming. That's that. There you go. Okay, that's, solid. That's a... Queen in the center. Great. Queen in the center. Now, Jarvis just good. has to. Jarvis, nice and easy. Don't chase the queen. Don't chase the queen. Just get the bishop and castle. Get the bishop and castle. You're going to be great. Once you castle, game is going to open up. It's going to be so much easier. I'm I mean, terrified. there's not much, many other plans to distract him. So following like a normal process of elimination, I think it's very logical for Jarvis to castle here. Because what else could he do? 
I guess he could try to save his bishop, maybe like a bishop e7, eventually take it to h6. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, I could see him try to go after the queen, which is very easy to get tunnel vision. Queen c3 is not a bad move, trying to trade the queen. But... Jarvis the finger versus Frank the tank. That's very accurate. Yeah, Jar Jarvis got a philosopher vibe. There we go, rook c1. Not a bad move. Not Activating bad move. the pieces. He has a lot of different ideas. I do like that he is a creative player. He doesn't always go straight just for the principles, even though he's been playing very solid. If Frank plays the move pawn to f5, I am disconnecting from the broadcast. <laughs> like, y'all get a substitute. I, I will not commentate the games if Frank loses his queen. For no I reason. will gladly take it on. Sounds I, like it would be my prodigy student. He's got... Okay, that's a check. He gave a check just because he could. But now it's, you know, you got to have another game plan. What, what is Jarvis going to do here? Yep, this is uh, one of my main advice to beginners. Even though you have a check, doesn't mean you need to do it. You feel accomplished, you get to say the word check, you make eye contact with your opponent, opponent but then after, there's not much. Uh, now knight to d4 is a nice move from from Frank continuing the attack, or Frank could play bishop here and castle. Okay, now Jarvis just has to go. He just has to castle. It's game on if he castles. Now both sides are finally getting their king out of the middle of the board. No, they're not. No, they're, they're not soon, yet. Soon. Don't say it. Stop they it. You're going to jinx they it. They will. <laughs> Frank is going to go. I mean, Jarvis is going to play here or something. Like, I, oh my goodness. They will. I don't know. Like a tiger in the forest. Oh, what is, what? Jarvis is just forgetting about castling. Yeah, I don't know. He seems a little bit stumped. I think probably what happened also, if he's getting in his own head, because he started with that rook, then he made a slight blunder, and now he's been slowing down. So another part of this is, oh, wow. Okay, you know what? Kings <sighs> might stay in the center, but depends. Depends where the queen's going to go. Uh, Andrea, did he castle in the last game, Jarvis? You know, that game is kind of a blur, I have to say. I'm trying to... He knows how no, to castle, Oh, no, right? he, he wasn't allowed to castle, remember? Because Frank no, he stacked his piece. And then he took with his king. Oh, you're right. There was no no chance of castling ever happening in that game. Okay, oh but God. see, Frank didn't take the dark squares, so there's hope. Castle. Wait, are you? But telling I don't me even think it's good here. Are you telling me that Jarvis is playing like 800 level chess without knowing the rules? He doesn't know that you can castle in this position. I'm sure he knows. I'm sure I don't he was he... in chess club as a kid. Surely he remembers. No but one taught Jarvis to castle. I guess we really don't know because he didn't take any coaching. So nobody knows. We'll find out. I honestly, this is a critical moment to find out. Oh. Okay. I don't. I don't think. <laughs> what the? F is this man cooking in a, in a matchup against an eight hundred rated player, and he doesn't even know the damn rules? Well, well, maybe Rook F one is better than castling this position. He it's just not. Shows it ain't. The it, better no. move. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's hear. Can we hear Frank? I want to hear him cooking. That's, that's okay, four crazy. Four minutes are now left on Jarvis' clock. That's how we're doing it, baby. That's how we're doing it. Okay. Okay. I go boom. I go there. Oh, boy. There. Getting distracted. Um, Neither sides are going to castle now. Yeah, I can Okay, boom. Okay, we will have pawn there. We also uh, want to hear Jarvis, yeah, but he doesn't there, speak. Right? Back. And then I can just fall back to my position. Oh, but Bishop could slide there. Okay, we're just going to go hooky-dorky, hooky-dorky. Do I just take a free pawn? I want to take a free pawn. We're not threatened. Nothing's being threatened, right? We just take that. That can go there. Um, could he trap my queen, maybe? If he Good question. Good. Okay, we're going to go boom. We're going to go there next. Okie dokie. Yeah, we're gonna go take a pawn next. Alrighty, alrighty, alright. Uh, yeah, do I go there? 
Oh, I want to go there. I do want to go there. Should we tune in on Jarvis and see what oh, he's thinking? Yeah, do I just take... I, I, okay, I, we're just going to take... Maybe, just but go what is he thinking? I, can, just, we, can, I, can we Can we? just put the camera on Jarvis real quick? Producers, okay. is that a thing? I mean, Frank's got a lot going on, and I think Jarvis does we too. Let's back a bit. the man we have out. drawn it back a little bit. Let, let's, let, all right, let's, let's go back to the analysis board. A few things have happened, and then maybe we can pop in on Jarvis. Uh, so Frank played uh, Queen Takes Pawn. And Jarvis had to attack the king while it was still in the center. But Frank has castled. And Jarvis has lost his advantage because he's opening the center of the board. He's up a little bit of material. Or maybe it's like equal now that his, his pawns have lost. Uh, he's lost a couple of pawns. Yes, um, finally. The long-awaited Jarvis tune-in. Yes, let's tune in on Jarvis. Let's, let's hear, hear his thoughts. Thinking. Ah, yes. Wait, wait, stop, stop. That's stop. A good one. Stop. <laughs> Everybody be quiet. Just thinking. Sorry. Sorry. Profound stuff. Profound stuff from Professor. I think he's going to win it all. I think I, 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 I love that. A bit controversial for my taste for the first you know, yeah, match geez. of the day, but I but, uh, wish he would have kept that to himself. But Sounds uh, like it, he's cooking. It makes sense. It definitely makes sense. Um. Okay, back to the big screen. Massive developments. Both players nearly identical on the clock. Frank has gobbled up a couple of pawns. Jarvis is fading a little bit. He started very strong and won a rook, but didn't castle, lost his knight, and now it's a very, like, he, the only chance that Jarvis has is attacking Frank, or else Frank will go here and here, and Ooh. apparently now, oh, rook yeah. eight, rook, yeah, rook eight. Yeah. Jarvis has great instincts and a great thought process. I think he just needs like one chess lesson to learn the basics and learn about castling. And, and then he could really win this whole thing. Yeah, seriously. Once he learns about castling though. Frank is winning. The king now has to start moving. If you block with the bishop, the knight comes in and it's bad news. Yeah, I think Jarvis just faded a bit. Oh, goodness. The okay, queen can hunt. He's going for the king walk. Well, yeah, knight... oh, the, yeah, this is getting very tricky, but that's only if Frank sees all these forcing moves. Correct. And Frank might just try to give a check and then trade the queen. Remember, Frank is... Subtlety is not necessarily the strong suit <laughs> of an 800. Not just Frank. Like, knight d4 is a hard move. Taking away squares and opening the bishop. But if he plays knight d4, I think Frank will win the game. If he plays queen b3, I have no idea. I don't know. Also, Frank's accuracy has skyrocketed up to 84%. So oh! Wow! We don't need to see what Frank is thinking. Bitch, knight to d4. Wow. And I think he's found it, Andre. I think we might be looking at the last few that, moves here. Okay, this would uh, actually be insane if, if he go finds there, it. He has to make a block. He has to make a block. Well, do I want to go there, though? Do I want to go there? Um, okay, we'll go, okay, boom, we'll go there next. Pokey dokey, we'll go boom there next. All right, all right, yep, yeah, we're gonna go there. We're gonna defend that pawn some more. That takes there, I'll just take there. Uh, nothing threatening my queen right now. Oh, composure, Frank, composure is my best friend. Okay, we're currently winning a trade-off right here. Okay, boom, I go there, he takes, then I take, then he takes, then I'll take. I Okay, okay, having said all of this amazing stuff that he just did about the knight move, I don't know if he's looking... That, that's the thing. At... He, he does these amazing moves. He doesn't see the winning plan, but then he stumbles <laughs> into it. So just like, like a little lost toddler stumbling through the woods that just somehow keeps surviving. But I think like if he sees this bishop a4, this is game over. Yeah, bishop a4 is... Looking at the wrong out. pawn, but... Guys, he clicks them all, so don't worry. This is checkmate on the board. This is... <laughs> queen b3, queen b2, and then you have like a... You give him the rook, you sack the rook, and then it's GG. Sorry, how? I'm actually trying to find Sack it. the... Wait, is ah, that not sack the rook? You bishop sack the rook. A4. No, 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 you don't sack the rook. It's queen b3, and then it's the bishop coming in. But, I mean, Frank's only got 90 seconds. I don't know. Frank's about to take this pawn and, like, lose the game. I mean, really. The, Pogchamp says he found bishop uh, a4. 
I was thinking sack the rook for white. My bad. You're oh, talking about the, the black side. Wait, I just realized something. In all of my analysis, queen c7 is checkmate. If Frank doesn't give a check right now, he's going to lose. If he plays queen b3, queen c7 is mate. Oh my god. Oh my god, checkmate okay, is on the look, board. We had this stalemate. He's going to learn from his mistake. He's going to be very cautious. He's keeping sure, his composure. So, just, just a minute on the clock. Oh my god. I'm going to be sick. I, he's, he's leaning in closer to the screen, which I think means he sees it. Now, I, the good news is this is a check and it wins a rook. That's the good news. But there's, there's a lot of amazing moves for black. We just have to spot this. Okay. He well done. It. Well done. So far, we're safe. So far, we're safe. Yes. He's going to take the rook. And as long as Jarvis takes with this rook, he will have winning chances. So Jarvis can still win this game with one minute on the clock. It is anybody's game as far as I'm concerned. This is crazy. But Jarvis has to go here. He can't really be brave yeah. and walk forward. There's not a lot of great options for his king. It looks a very uncomfortable position to play. Very uncomfortable. But he has no choice. Yeah, and he's only got 40 seconds, Jarvis. He's got to make a move. Ooh. He's forced to take with a king here. Okay. He could walk over and still... But that's tough. Okay, there's no more mate on c7. Now Frank just has to bring in the army. <gasps> he might accidentally open... J just... If, if, if king here, it's mate, by the way. Oh, queen c2 is mate on the board! What? Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on, Frank. Take this one home. Frank could also go here and hang his queen. The, like, it, it, queen c2? He's cooking! He's cooking! I think this is it! On the board! Oh, and he's won it! Queen c2, mate! Okay. Frank delivers the kiss of death. And I think no we're bias, gonna check in. But after that stalemate, I needed to see him finish one. Give a check. Hokey dokey. Hokey dokey. He moves there, I'll give a check. He moves there, I'll give a check. Okay. Now... I'm gonna go, um, now we'll go, boom, we'll go there. Hokey dokey, we're gonna go, oh wait, is that mate? Is that mate? Okay, boom, we is go there. Mate? Oh yes! <laughs> Come on, we did it! We did it, oh, baby! God. Oh this reminds me of cooked. Hans screaming we days. He's on. literally a miniature That's Hans. How I cook, He's British. Baby. That's how I cook! That's how oh, he cooks. Yes! Come on. And the house is Come on fire. On, baby. Oh, too oh. easy. Too easy, baby. Wow. Too, too easy. easy. I almost too feel easy. bad for Frank. Oh, I mean, for Jarvis. Easy, he played so too well. Easy. He played so well. Oh, and this is just so unfortunate. Roll. That's how I roll, baby. He's still going. <laughs> Imagine losing oh, to this guy and tuning in. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Frank, the chess prodigy, is a mixture of Hans Niemann and Austin Powers. And he gets the first win of Pac Champs 5 in a ridiculous back and forth affair with the mysterious Jarvis. Jarvis coming in with an unclear chess pedigree, and it was very, very quality chess there for an hour. I, yeah. I am. This that was, was awesome. crazy. Don't sleep on Jarvis. I'm going to see if he wants like a, a principal chess lesson because I think once he learns about, once he learns about castling, these next few games aren't going to go like this. No, they're not. And I mean, he's he's got nothing to that was that was amazing. I mean, what what more can you say? Uh, that was what a what a fight that was. Um, let's take a look at the group standings. Obviously, we've just had one match finish, so it's who not knows? Look. Who knows? It could be a surprise. Yeah, we might have I a surprise. A <gasps> Frank. And Frank with three points. No way. Yep, Frank uh, getting a win in regulation time, so they never went to a tiebreak. So he's got three points, winning one and a half half in the best of two rapid. Oh my goodness, I'm sweating. Those games were so stressful. What a showing from Jarvis. He is not going to be easy to beat for anybody in this group. And Frank, I mean, those <laughs> that was wild. Um, I think I have just been informed that we are going to get Frank for an interview. So if you thought that his cutaways were great, we're about to see him live. Everyone Pac bring Champs your volume oh. down just a little bit. Sorry, sorry, didn't mean to cut you off. Yeah, I was supposed to do the outro. Go, 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 bring the volume down and, you know. All right, ladies and gentlemen, oh this God. is Pop Champs 5. <laughs> we got a stalemate, we got a maiden one. Let's go, we'll be right back after this break. Yeah! We'll be, yeah! We'll be, we'll be, we'll, we'll be right back. Is that what you wanted? Yeah, I think so. <laughs>
I tell them to bring their volume down. Yeah. Well, this is we're not gonna... as powerful when they still leave us. We got, yeah, we're supposed to do the break now. Bye. Chess Kid is fun. Chess is great for the brain, but it's also fun to play. And Chess Kid makes it easy to have fun. Whether your child is a total beginner or a prodigy, they can hop on and find a well-matched opponent from around the world at any time. Chess Kid is the safe, parent-approved way for your child to play chess online. Chess Kid is educational. To kids, it feels just like playing, but chess is a great way to learn patience, strategy, and critical thinking. Chess Kid features a comprehensive training program that guides kids to level up on their way to mastery. There are more than 50,000 chess puzzles and a whole library of entertaining videos that teach strategies, tactics, openings, and end games specifically for kids. Chess Kid is easy. Whether you're a parent helping your child, a coach managing dozens of kids, or a school of hundreds, signing up is free and easy, so what are you waiting for? Still potentially be stalemate, but no, Ludwig has no mercy. Literally 50, wait, oh, there was increment. I didn't realize there was increment. Yes, there's a two second increment, so three minutes plus two second increment. He has now collected a lot of time, went all the way up to a minute. No! No! Well, we oh have another God. tiebreaker. Yes, 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 yes. Hey, everybody, it's Danny here. And as you may know, chess.com and chessable are now one. And I'm here to show you how you can make your chess.com and chessable one in just a few clicks. To start, let's log in and connect our chess.com account. I just scroll right here above the browser and click log in. Scroll down and click continue with chess.com. Now, if you're already logged into chess.com, it's just gonna ask you if you want to approve that connection. I'm gonna say yes, sir. But after approving, it'll bring you right back to the Chessable homepage. Now, the Puzzle Connect feature can be found under Tools and you click Puzzle Connect. Now, what that does after you type in your username is it's gonna pull positions from the games you played on chess.com, create your very own personalized chessable course, and then quiz you with the positions where you may have missed the best move. And the more you play on chess.com, the more games it will have to quiz you as long as your account stays connected. It's pretty sweet, and it's gonna help you get better learning from the mistakes in your games. Yes, this is a pro feature at chessable, but if you go to chessable.com slash link, you can get 30 days of pro for free.
Welcome back, everyone, to our coverage of Pog Champs 5. We are joined not just by Frank, but also by Jarvis. What an epic first matchup. Frank, I'd like to start with you. How did that match go according to your expectations? Did anything surprise you? How are you feeling right now, getting the first win of Pog Champs 5? Well, I'm a, I'm a happy duck. I'm a very, I'm a happy man. Uh, well, I was, I was, I was a little bit scared because, you know, I'm, I'm just scared. I'm just a very scared man. Um, well, not normally, but well, it was, it was, I was very, I was happy. I mean, the stalemate was bad, but, um, you know what? I recovered. I did recover. That's always, always good to see nice recovery from positions. Yeah. And, and you started game two, like in a, in a tough spot and you came back from the rook down. So you did recover. Frank, before I let Andre ask a question, would you rather be a happy duck or the tiger in the woods? Oh, 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 that's a difficult one. Oh, that's a very, you see, ducks can splash about on the water, but then it was it tig tiger. tiger in the woods. Oh yeah. But then tigers are like, mm, they're very sneaky. You know, I'd be a tiger. They're very sneaky in the woods. I, I would like to be a tiger. Yeah. They're really quiet and composed, pretty much what the whole strategy was. I think it worked very well. Yeah. Mm. Jarvis, speaking of quiet and composed, uh, you were I like, no we tuned into <laughs> that, that's not that you, you, you're being very humble. It was a great no, performance. I, I, I'm like, I'm very genuine. Uh, I, I had no game plan. This is the second game of chess I've played, uh, as a hu uh, against a human in like since uh, in like 17 years when I was 13 in the like uh, chess club in my middle school. And I, I mentioned and so I just found out Frank is 17, so I'm feeling pretty old now. <laughs> Yeah, Frank didn't exist the last time you played a chess game. That that yeah. really is wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when you were in chess that club, that is the beauty of chess. When you were in chess club, was it cool or not cool? Not cool, not cool. But neither was I, so it worked out. I, I'm asking because I feel like you know the whole culture has shifted now. Now it's like weird. That oh it's yeah, like a teenager doesn't play chess, which is which is awesome. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I it it definitely was. It was a bunch of nerds and band geeks. You know, uh, uh, we definitely weren't cool, but it felt cool to play like Bug House at the like science lab. That was a good time. And Bug House is a very, Andre, have you played Bug House? Of course I have played Bug House. I've been playing chess since I was six. Almost an insult. Bug House is the OP game. Yeah, Bug House is a team chess. So you capture a yeah. piece and then you give it to your partner. Maybe you guys will be a bug house team one day, Frank and Jarvis. I, I do have a question for you guys. So we have a very interesting background here. We have Jarvis, who just flexed on us. He hasn't played a game of chess in many years. What? I yet. lost. He very well <laughs> I lost. They're clearly not a play. <laughs> Uh, you're better and, uh, than like 80% of the viewers, by the yeah, way. Like, I'm just... Yeah. <laughs> Jarvis, there's people who have been training for this every day, and they're still 200. So it, it is a flex. You should be okay, proud. Okay, However, okay. you know, lessons always go a long way. And then we have Frank. I'm going to I'm gonna practice after lessons. this, I promise. That was my question, exactly. Do you guys plan to take any chess lessons after today's games? Maybe, you know, brush up on stalemate or, you know, castling or just some, some principles. Uh, can I just say that I am aware that I could have ca that uh, at any point that I could have castled kingside or queenside. I made a deliberate decision not to. It was wrong, gotcha. but it was a choice. It was uh, I misjudged okay, the situation. I misjudged. Yeah, because we were wondering. You were playing sensational <laughs> chess for the first like ten or fifteen moves of game two. Your av your accuracy was over ninety percent, and I was wondering if you were doing that without even knowing the full rules of the game. I was like, there's no way. <laughs> but then you played the rook move instead of castling. So, but uh, yeah, no, the dude, rook move uh, instead that... of castling was on purpose because I thought thought wrong. I thought wrong about my position. I think my biggest weakness and why I need coaching and stuff is a lot of uh, a lot of its muscle memory and then just like reasoning in the moment. But I don't genuinely. I like don't know what good moves are or what like like uh, how do I put it? Like I sometimes I'm not sure like what I'm decide, to be trying to do. I yeah, don't know how to decide. I'm like, I like the reasoning between two things other than like looking ahead as many moves as I can, but you know, like general strategy that that's something I don't have is general strategy. I'm well, like, lucky. try to control the center of the board, open things up, but I don't know. I don't know many openings. I don't know many, like, you know, how things are supposed to play out. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like winging it, you know? 
Lucky for you, we have a lot of amazing chess streamers and coaches, and they will take you through the principles. But that makes total sense. Yeah, and speaking mm. of which, we all struggle with that. So, uh, like, at, at whatever level you are, it doesn't matter. You're always going to struggle to really, truly determine what's a good move, what's a good plan. It's gradual improvement. Uh, Jarvis, you had a fantastic performance for having not played chess since Frank was uh, potentially, like, <laughs> still, you know, developing into a into a, uh, a baby or, like, I don't know, maybe a couple of months old. Uh, it was an excellent showing from you. Thank you so much for being our opening match. Frank, congratulations. Thanks so much again. for having me. Congrats to Frank. Yeah. Congra well deserved. Thank um, you, Jarvis. I we will let you that. guys go. Thank you so much for, for joining, uh, regardless of the result, and we will see you both back for your second matches. Look at this. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Uh, Talk to you later. We are looking ahead now. For a match Ooh, that is starting okay. in... This is going to be a good one. I'm very excited for this. I am very yes. invested in actually both of these players. <laughs> I'll, I'll give I'm, Frank I'm, a <laughs> I don't know if anyone else hears the Frank. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know if chat heard that, but I just heard a very British, how do I leave? Um, in, in, I, in the background It was so, so composed. I've never seen Frank like that. I relate. I'm the same. I, as soon as I'm off my stream, I'm like, oh, hello, adult. Uh, Andrea was saying, you were saying... I'm very really invested in the next match. So... We have daily dose yeah. of internet. Obviously, he doesn't make videos about his own personality. He has these amazing viral videos. But he is such an interesting character. Of course, very smart guy who loves chess. I haven't ever seen him play, but every time I run into him, he's always talking about chess, how he wants to play in Pog Champs, and it looks like it's finally happening. Um, and we have actually a very similar story with Gasly. He is a huge American producer and DJ, plays festivals. He just finished six months of touring. And he has recently fallen in love with chess and just has started grinding and grinding. He's reached like 700 in literally maybe a few months. Um, so two people who chess has nothing to do with what they do, but they just love the game and they're just doing this because they love the game. And I think that's awesome. Yeah, I speaking, I think we have uh, player cards. I don't know if we're, if we're going. Oh, no, we're, just, we're going to the uh, we're going to the ghastly. Uh... Ghastly stream. Look at that. Nice. He's his I think head. this is one of his first times streaming in a while. He's never done a chess stream, so nice we get a, a new look. He's got the Botez board. He's got the purple color board. I didn't board. even teach him that. He is my student, but I guess he did that on his own. No, that's uh, that that. I mean, actually, I also have a purple board. The the board that I'm currently uh, you know supposed to put on the big screen here is purple. Speaking, what is with the purple board? Speaking of purple board, Mister Gotham, we sent you our merch. You know that one right behind me. I never actually no. I saw a photo of your dog playing on it, but may I ask where it's in your house? You, you set it up. Yeah, it, it's right. It's right here. On, on the it's floor. Right. No, there's like a nice little like table off to the side oh, in my room. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I just I never see it, so you know, mine's like on the I, wall behind me. You didn't pay you didn't pay me to promote it. You pay me to promote gotcha, it. I'll, okay. I'll well, put yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. I, mean, I, I don't I, know if we I, can I, afford you, but we'll, we'll try. You probably probably not, but get the Botez merch. Get is, you, is it still for sale? Uh, of course, yes, sir. Botez merch until my chessboard comes out. That's then buy true. my chessboard. Okay, actually, so you can just buy save for my chessboard. Oh yeah, and you know, no free promo from Gotham Metal. Sorry, sorry, I asked. Yeah. Um. I think we have a chess match coming up soon. By the way, you were, you were giving insight. Daily Dosa Internet is in an undisclosed location, and he's like, D does he have internet? Where is he? So Are we I was to very unsure if he was going to make it to his game. Well, I know he's been traveling in Norway, and a lot of our players actually are kind of traveling around the world, like Ginny, who we're going to see. Um, but I'm glad that he found a setup to play his chess game, and he has really the best backdrop ever. Also, the air in Norway is better for chess, right? True. That's that's where that's where Magnus gets his advantage. Look at look at that. Oh wow, he's in New York City. Oh wow, that's those are that's incredible. He's in a he's in a Manhattan corporate building. That's I know think about it, this actually might be one of Daily Dose's first like regular gaming streams on Twitch as well. This is a historic day. Yeah. I don't know if he playing... knows he's on um the camera though. <laughs> that, that's maybe. okay. Uh games are starting soon. Hopefully he's on chess.com and he knows that the, uh, the the games are starting. His in a daily moment. dose of internet. He knows everything. This is your daily dose of internet. Um, I think I have the game up. If not, they're gonna have to refresh it for me. I have to say, these guys kind of look like they could be brothers or something. 
They have very they similar do. features. Do they? Yeah. Do they not look kind of related to you? I don't know. No, no, they just look like dudes. I don't. <laughs> I don't know. Do they? Two <laughs> white dudes with brown hair, same haircut. Could be brothers to me. Wow, daily dose with the bird, the <laughs> bird opening. Okay, look at him going with that F four. Does he know the follow? Look at wow. Okay, I like it. There's a little exotic. And he definitely uh, chose this himself because he did not take lessons. So daily dose, a creative man. Daily Dose is a great look at that. That's a dangerous opening to play. Okay, now he goes back to D4. The good news is his accuracy over three moves is 99.8%, but that's not really saying too much. Um, it's the opening. And yeah, Gastly's a tough one. Uh, yeah, we so I did a chess lesson with Gastly, and his principles were very strong. We didn't really get to the opening, um, which is now I'm going to find this out today, but he does like his, he calls it his fettuccine bishop. So I see he's doing the fettuccine. The uh, the fettuccine. Yeah, yeah that's I, I a just, new one. I just came. I just came back from Italy, and I got to tell you, my favorite accent. I mean, my goodness, the way they say thank you, grazie. Every letter pronounced. It was it was incredible. Um, I think that's the next language I'm going to learn. So, oh, this is look at his opening. This is this is amazing. Yeah, I have a everything feeling developed. This is. I think this is going to be a, a high level, one of our most high level games of today. That's my prediction. I don't know a thing about Daily Dose. I checked his chess.com account before the event, and he hadn't played a game since 2022, which is not as impressive as Jarvis, who hasn't played a chess game in nearly 20 years. Or so That's... he says. Yeah, he's probably Mind got like, a secret account. There's no way. Played, like, There's no yeah. way he didn't play one game. The man who signs up for a boxing match, I bet you he prepared a little bit. But I see. not enough for Frank. <laughs> uh, now, now, now let's see. This is the middle game. White's got the two bishops. Black's got a good setup. Okay, c4. Uh, that's considered a mistake because the pawn is a bit weak. For this level, it's not really a mistake. Uh, but I think maybe he wants to go here. Now what? Is Gasly going to play knight here, pawn here? Okay, good. D4. Yeah. Yeah, I have to say, I've never played the bird. And anytime I'm teaching someone who's new to chess, I just say, don't push your f pawns near your king. And Daily Dose has those holes around his king. Are you concerned at all about this? Yes, but I'm not concerned because I'm not his coach, right? Because you were his coach. And no, no, no. Didn't... I Wait, wait. Daily Dose is playing white, right? Uh, yes. Oh, I, I apologies. I thought you, See, you, you got had him said that up. you... Because yeah, they look so similar, yeah, I, like brothers. That's what right? I was saying. See? Yeah. Oh, exactly. yeah. No, no. I just, I thought, I thought, well, I thought you were like friendly with, with, uh, no, I, I am. I, I we've, always... we've talked about chess a lot because every time he comes into town, he, he lets, he tells me, he's like, I, I would love to play Pog Champs that someday. And I didn't know it was happening. So I was very excited, but I had never actually taught him chess. But, oh, okay. I'd be okay. happy to. So the problem with uh, with Daily Dose is right now is that he's kind of just utilizing what he has. He's already moved a couple of these pawns a lot. He's moving the bishop multiple times. And black is just going to go here, slowly develop the position. Great. And then if he plays b6, I'm, I'll be really impressed if he plays pawn to b6. Or knight h5. Yeah, so I don't know if it'd be possible, but I would love to have a little bit of open mic action from both of our players here just to hear what they're thinking even in this layout but because daily dose has been giving us some commentary and i have to say i have yet to hear daily dose chess commentary He's commentated everything on the internet not chess yeah are we gonna pop into the daily dose uh stream real quick i don't i guess we're just waiting we ask and then they go I'm going to get some space in here, so I'm going to do this. Uh huh. He, it doesn't, just so you're aware, everybody, it doesn't show that on his screen. I have no idea who's even commentating over this. Uh, excuse me? It, it's us. We were friends. We had lunch together a month ago. What do you mean? I haven't had, I haven't had lunch with you, but if I did, I'm, I would. So I, I we would... went on a hike together. We were best friends. What if I did? We've oh done so much. I'm so I went to a vegan oh restaurant for him because he's vegan. Oh, oh my god. Who's well, vegan that, in 2023? Could be very aggressive. Andrea, you're gonna get canceled really. by the end of Fox Champs broadcast one. <laughs> I don't know if that's a smart move. No, it's not that they side. know it's it's all it's, made they up look by the now. Same. <laughs> they, the same. Vegans <laughs> aren't real. I mean, I oh my goodness. My all right. Okay. All right. 
Okay, uh, let's bring it back to the analysis board. He, let's not expose every element of Daily Dose's life. Um, no, no, he's happens. a very proud vegan. He cares about the animals. I, I never say. said that he wasn't. I just, okay. <laughs> oh, by the way, by the way, his opponent just played this. This is very bad news. This could get, uh, there are two forks being threatened. What do you call a double fork? I don't know, a double fork. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I thought a maybe cheeky that is... fork. A yeah, double Fra whammy. Oh, if, if we showed this move to Frank, he would have a heart attack. Oh, I'm going there, and then I've got Bishop Takes oh Pawn, and I'm hitting the King and the Rook. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Bishop Takes right how, there. How much do you think I'd have to ask nicely for Chesscom to let Frank commentate just one game one of these oh, days? Oh, easily, easily. If I were oh. to just disappear and Frank takes my spot, I might not even tell anyone. But I think that's I, what I want by the end of yeah, Frank, Frank needs a cameo. That's what he needs. Can you imagine Frank? I think that's what Mark, the people want. Happy birthday. Something, something, something cheeky. Bishop takes. Wow, Gastly's really good, by the way. He grabbed the pawn. Oh, I know. No, the, the man's been grinding. We did a chess lesson for three hours Monday. He went home and played more chess, like, until 2 a.m. He really loves chess. Did but you also go to the hike really in the knows. vegan restaurant with him? Or that is was that another just... day. That was okay. another day. Yes, okay. but he did teach me music production, so we're trading each other's crafts. Yeah, you got like a little DJ career going. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. Not, oh, little. that's not a, that's not a, is it big? Is it a big career? It will be big, and you know who won't be invited to the shows? You. I wasn't going to come even if I was invited, so that makes my life well. easy. I'm just kidding. If I was invited, I, I no, might... no, it's fine. I mean, you you literally came out on my boxing fight not to support me, but to support my opponent. So I don't expect you, you to support. Who me invited anything. me first? If you invited me first, maybe I would have won. I, well, I did ask you one day when we were doing a chess stream if you were coming, and you're like, she no, had asked me. I she already asked. asked. I, oh yeah, okay. she already booked my ticket. She booked my. Yeah. What can I do? I see. I it's do? easy to buy your friendship, huh? Well, if I, uh, yeah. Um... By the way, can I just back up real quick while while we're, we're having this debate? Um, take take, not a great move, not a not a terrible move, but the idea was to go here. Unfortunately, the rook there was also hanging, so an apocalyptic demolition of the board. And now Daily Dose is winning, not just because he has a pass pawn, which is very good for the end game, but because he's threatening various checkmates. So if he plays rook here, he could actually go for a checkmate as well and push this pawn. This and also be a go crazy for a hike. setup. That's true. He does love his hikes. He's a nature man. This would be crazy if he sees it. I I haven't seen much of his chest, so I don't know how much of a wild card he is. Yo, this is solid play. This is great as well. Protecting the passer. Rook always goes behind. That this is a very high level game of chess. Uh like I'm like I'm I'm aghast, Lee. Good one. <laughs> Good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That pl plan. Wow, right. Daily Dose is committing to this pawn. He doesn't even care about setting up a cheap mate on g7. No, there's no, no reason not to. It's gonna take the knight a big effort to get back, and it's really difficult to defend because White can go here, take take, and just bulldoze in. Yeah, this is a very difficult position. He might go queen h4, but there's nothing there, nothing there at all. The king just slides back. Yeah, I think both of these opponents are very underrated, chat. They're definitely not uh, 700. This is a great game. No blunders so far. Or maybe the 700 meta has just... You know, like, 700s 10 years ago would eat the pieces. That is true. Like, They're evolving. Yeah, now... People know Elo Hell exists at 500, too. It's not... It's not, not oh, that's a good move to try to get the queen in the game. Nice. A, a desperado attack, almost. He plays e5, and I mean, those could just ignore it, which is the best move. I don't know if he. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. Yeah, just sack the pawn. Yeah, just sack and, and just just go, go for it. Go for the but... d5 pawn. They'll be hanging pawns in the center. Yeah, I mean, black's pieces just Gasly's knight is on the side of the board. There is pieces aren't as active, and white's attack is just gonna be faster. Also, they've played twenty five moves in like two minutes. So it's a very yeah. different pace. The other opponents were, were playing very, very slowly. This game is fast-paced, and they're averaging 74% accuracy, which is really, wow. really, really, really good. And that matters, right? Because I think the average accuracy of your games contributes to what color you play in the tiebreak, unless they change that rule. He played the best move! Wow, Daily Dose is very impressive. And there's all great. sorts of traps. When you have a pawn this deep into a position, you can anchor a piece like this to try to push it further. You can also push it 
He could push the pawn if takes queen b8 check is a fork. Oh god, I'm worried. This is my student at the end of the day. He, we, we really worked hard and trained for this event. I, I don't want oh. this game to end just yet. It, that's not the best move, but he, I get what he's doing, right? And uh, he wants to remove the queen and then push. His best move was to keep the queen on the board and yep. win the pawn. The queen and then... was very dangerous. Yes, the quality of white's queen was higher than the quality of black's queen, but it's very difficult to play this move because you're like, I want my queen. You know, I want to go here. So I don't know. I, I don't know if he's going to take. If he doesn't take, he's losing. Everything else it's is a lot bad. of pressure. Yeah, very tough moment here. Should we tune in? Yeah, we, I would love that. He's... All right, let's go to Gasly. Shout out to Jarvis, by the way. Just saw him in the Twitch chat. Great match. As much as he wanted Please, to claim Jarvis. it was not. It we, was a great match. We will be here to coach. Um, yeah, let's take a look at Gasly. stream. He, he, he's not. Oh, he might be trading. Oh. Put the queen down. If you're not ready to make a move, he's put the queen stressed. down. Take. I take. He takes. And he's going to push forward. Uh, and I can literally just keep that there. Uh, this is going to make it a little bit more difficult for me in the long run. Get okay. Oh, he's, he's the thing about Gasly, on. why I think he's a very strong competitor, he really considers all his right. options. Threaten. He doesn't rush too much. And where does he go? He goes right there, right there. That right, could be an issue. Um, Maybe he'll find Queen H4. Think. The queen hover is oh, stressing man, me out because I feel like at any point he might just accidentally um, mouse slip. Yes, he might forget queen, where it came from. He's down, he's gonna start pushing that pawn a little bit more, a little bit harder. I think it would be best. I don't want to trade my queen. I can still come back. Uh, the bishop doesn't really have any crazy protection here. Plus, I can get into. Yeah, I'm not gonna trade. Oh yeah. wow. Yep. Took a risky decision here. Way. Yeah, let's go back to the analysis board. This is a very human decision, by the way. And in that time, Daily Dose actually found that he could take the pawn and defend the bishop. This is ridiculously high level chess. Spotting this and defending himself. And now you notice that Gastly's going for this, but there is nothing there. If White plays c7, he wins. And this Queen D8. Brutal. Like, because the knight can't help. Yeah, I mean, he could try some tricks, knight g3, knight f1, but if white sees how to win with his pass pawn, which Daily Dose has definitely been on top of it, it's not going to do anything. Oh my god, he just played queen d7 so fast, and now he's secured control over the Daily promotion Daily Dose square. is a machine. You know, I had a feeling, I was a little nervous about this matchup for Gasly, but wow, Daily Dose is not missing. Does he have an anonymous account? Because on his account, it said he hasn't played since 2022. <laughs> yeah. This guy hasn't played since 2022? Well, oh my god. On the bright side, bright side Sea Dog might not be the strongest player. Okay. Yes, he's trying to go for this, but unfortunately, there's just no checks after King G1. And you know what the worst part is? There's no way for White to mess this up. I know you could jinx like that. I know if, like, but there's literally not. The knight can't get close. The, the queen doesn't even have a check anymore. Like, White's just going here, here. He's just completely winning. And he did all this starting with the bird. It's even more painful. I know. I know. Yeah. Yeah, this is, uh, this is wild stuff. No no reaction, no emotions, like a, like a real killer. Game's over, nothing. Yeah, I'm trying to find a way that White could possibly screw this up, and it, it, it literally does not exist because the Rook has to move. C7 is next. Oh, I think he knows it's over. Could we hear Daily Dose's commentary? Yeah, what's he, what's I mean, he talking it's about? It's practically, it's literally game over. What's he talking about, Daily Dose? Okay. Why would you do that? Sounds good. I guess it stops. But doesn't oh, that give me Gasly had no choice. an advantage there when I just do... I like that he even considers a free rook. He's like, huh, there must be something. I don't see Daily yeah, Dose wow. making any blunders. He, 
He, he checks yeah, over plus, every move, even now. completely winning moves. So we're getting better. It's just... It's just... It's so clean. This, this was the most clean game of all time. Wow. Um... Yeah, white could even set up a little mate. Bishop c3, queen I coming to the back right. I don't really have to go anywhere. I had the luxury now, so I could actually give my my king additional protection if I really want to, and I can I can shove the bishop like over by like f2 at some point. It's the Norway air. True. Unless I could I could just start hunting down pieces, but I feel like that's not really useful to me. Do I, because how can they attack me? I think I just start hunting down pieces at this point. Yeah, let's do this. The fact that he's just so completely my, my winning and still carefully too, thinking queen. about this, I am yeah. worried for anyone who's going to play Daily Dose. Yeah, this is not, exa not exactly the best move, but it's, you know. I mean, you, you can't really mess this up as white just because there's no mate threat. Um, no. Y yeah, you literally can't. I mean, okay, you could, like, hang your bishop, but he hasn't done anything that crazy, and bishop here is just checkmate. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, okay, this was a crazy game, but look, do not underestimate Ghastly. We've done a lot of training. Daily Dose is very strong, but I still think the next one, it's not going to be so, so early determined. Listen, it's that Norwegian air. I'm telling you. Like, he has he Magnus played... on speed dial. Well, no, that's not allowed. But uh, well, maybe after oh, the game. Oh, is that not what you do? No, I do no, no, no. It's, it's... No, no, de definitely Always have not. the homies on speed dial. It's... That's, you just admitted to cheating? <laughs> I didn't say for chess moves. I maybe emotional support, you know? You're right, you're right. Who insinuated right. they were giving me chess moves? So it's just You're... about the energy that they bring, you know? Sometimes that's I bring true. Frank on speed dial. That's, that's true. Sometimes you bring uh, Grandmasters in some exactly. battles. On, on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Always have the that, chess that players on so, speed dial. That was so stupid. That must be what Daily so Dose is doing. I'm so mad about that. Uh, uh, this is not good because White can go here and win the queen. Um, if Daily Dose takes, he could get himself in trouble if he oh! takes. Okay, there could be. Oh, could be oh. a cheeky fork. It's a. He's guaranteed to win the rook. And he oh, it's on the board because if this, it's this, and if this, it's this, and if this, he's gonna get mated. <gasps> Check queen b two. On the oh my goodness! Oh, the legendary oh comeback from the Bozes protege. I don't want to be a biased commentator. I really, I, I'm rooting for both sides, but it hurt no, to watch. It hurt to watch my student get slaughtered like that. And I knew he had it in him. I knew he would come back. Never doubted once. Now I'm just gonna pump the brakes here. White is still the one playing for the win because he has an outside pass pawn. Of course. Black has to make a draw. Black has to repeat moves. Black has to give perpetual oh, check. I don't even know if he knows about perpetual check. We didn't really go over that, but I'm yeah, sure see. he'll figure it out. Chess beginners learn things as they go. They're like children. They, 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 they fall off the bike and then they learn how to not fall off the bike anymore. So he might very well like blunder a, a check that forks the queen. And then it, like he had to bring his queen back right now. He's got to give these checks. He okay. Can't wait. Moment of truth. We, we did not go over this, but we'll see if it's really like a tremble, as Levy says. Oh, 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 he could. Queen F2 is. Will he mate himself? <laughs> queen, queen f2 literally would have lost the game I, now i think it's just the draw king here check well i i just Does the he... thing is if you don't know perpetual exists why would you do it he might just be going for something completely different and he is and I, he's oh gonna, this I... could have been so close Oh, does he know he's playing for a draw like because you gotta you gotta know what you're playing for you gotta play for a draw that's the thing about end games you're not playing for a win here with black Don't trade the queens, please. 
Yeah, we, we didn't quite get to the end games um, because one of my grandmaster friends, I was asking them for advice mm. on these coaching. And they're like, nah, don't worry about end games. Like, no one's going to be playing those out. They're just, all the games are going to be decif deciphered early on. Because grandmasters are bad coaches. Cause and they lied to me. Because it's not because they, they, they lied. Grandmasters don't understand how real human beings play chess. Grandmasters are in their own little world. And they're just like, you don't need to learn openings. I mean, Cause... end games or whatever. I don't need to. This GMs. That sounds like someone's a little jaded that they never reached GM title, if you ask Andrea, me. don't even... <laughs> do you even have a title, okay? I do not, but I don't need one. <laughs> I'm love... like Frank. We have our own pros, okay? All right. I, am, I, am I envious of that? Yeah, of course. All right, I'm going to cry after the stream. Are you happy? <laughs> I love that. I, I, you know Levy's tilted when little gremlin voices come out? Like, that was a little Trump voice. I wonder what's next. Earlier, you had, like, a little Harry Potter moment. You have a lot of these voices. Yeah, probably need therapy. By the way, oh, Queen D4. Oh, oh, that's defended. Don't take oh, it. Oh, this is what? so sad. Oh, wait. Where's he, oh. where's he going? Where's I was hoping going? maybe we could walk him into a fork, but it doesn't matter because A7, Queen D4, Queen blocks, and GG. It doesn't even work. I think this so game close. is not finished with the plot twists. Like I, I don't. I don't know. They're they're very solid. I I would be. There's no way there's another blunder. Yeah, it's very tough. Yeah, he played now. Just don't go queen e four. That was his honestly best option to stop. Okay, it got a question mark, so I was wrong. But I don't think there's that many options. Queen e4 tries to promote and confidently hangs this. He has to check. That's not a bad move, but it Defense. doesn't help the pawn. Okay, but ah, oh, that's it. That's the right there. Queen trade by Daily Dose. He, yep, he walked right into it. But knows? Okay. <gasps> Both sides are draw. just getting distracted. Oh my what God, is going on? Oh, oh, the pawn. And also the... pawn takes, oh! The pawn takes pawn! Pawn takes pawn is winning for black! Dude, you are literally jinxing everything. I don't know how you're predicting this. Can I'm I... not jinxing. You said it was over. I said, I don't think so. This is insane. Oh my goodness. Pawn takes pawn deflects the king. And then white, black is winning in the, in the queen and pawn endgame now. Okay, but <gasps> we still didn't. Study end game, so I, I still don't know if we will know how to take the win home, but boy, am I happy we got a second chance. The only way he wins is to bring his king or play. I, I don't even think f5, f4 is winning. I think he has to bring his king to h4. Oh, God. So, I the, the likelihood of stumbling into this plan without any end games is so difficult. Uh, can we tune into Ghastly, see what he's thinking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. a critical we, position. Oh, my God. That was unbelievable. Let's take a look at Ghastly stream if we can. Considering all his options. Yeah, Daily Dose I blame the Grandmasters for this, chat. Oh, all of them. They all suck. Crazy comeback right now. This has been gnarly. Whoo! God dang it! <sighs> but does he know? Black has to bring his king. That's the only way. Let's go to the analysis board real quick. I just want to show this because yep. this actually is very instructive. Um, he has built this pawn fortress. So now Daily Dose has to stay here. He has to stay right in this rectangle or this pawn is going to get in. He can't go there, obviously. He'll hang his king. Uh, now Black wins by just walking up to the pawn, but he has to do it in the Walk right way. Walk him down. He could get frustrated, get close, and then he can't win the pawn because the king comes back. This is, this is good. Look at this. He's going to go forward. And now he can't make progress. He has to go the other way. He can't get frustrated and push. He has to go around. And he does Oh my it. God, he found it. Well, it's good when you're getting forced into finding your only option. Yes. Literally had almost no other move. Yes, but unstoppable force. See, this is why we don't teach him end games. They just learn him. Oh, I talked to the screen. Don't right, second the tries the charm. Oh my God, don't repeat the moves. Wait, has that position already happened? I don't know. Is this the third? I really hope not. Oh it's a draw. Oh God, no, no, no. It's no, a draw by no. repetition. I take no accountability for this. Oh, they repeat it three times and it's a draw. This oh is all God. my fault. I should have thought of endgames.
I held oh! off. Oh! I didn't realize Can we get a, Let's get a live reaction uh, I don't know, from either of them. Daily Dose, what does he think he was losing? I am fired. Our next um, game starts Tom, in two to three. If you guys need more commentators, I won't be a coach anymore. Right, next game starts in two to three minutes. So okay, that was a great reaction from him. I, he just <laughs> left. <laughs> so I realistically have he's, gotten out of that situation. Uh, yeah. Oh, he's still you talking. Check on a seven rank now on an eight rank. Is he have a coach queen? in there, bro? He's got the Norwegians. Queen. I'm telling you, there was and, someone and in that room. It's Gaston's Magnus on speed dial. Yeah, is that one curious who's in there? You, uh, I think you know what's up. Wow. I think you know what's up. I, I, I got a little distracted with the chat, but I'm, I'm, I. All right. I'm just saying, I heard a little birdie in Daily Dose's room. I, I'm very I think he curious. Was just, I think he was talking to himself. It is Alan Walker. It could be. Uh, one game is in the books. <laughs> half for Gasly, half for Daily Dose of Internet. A titanic struggle from See, start to finish. This? Okay, no, I was gonna make. I was gonna get in trouble for this joke. <laughs> No, please go ahead. What was what was the joke? I it say was... this just proves my thesis. All white guys are the same. We got a drop. <laughs> We're gonna get another one. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh my! <laughs> what? I'm just okay. Going. All right, Cheska, let it be known. I don't condone this. Like, so y'all gonna take some legal action, man? I'm I'm not a part of this. I don't even. Just kidding. The ties will surely change. Don't worry. Oh, oh my God. Okay, it's half, half after look, one. I, okay, I'm a little biased. I can roast them. They just, they look like all my ex-boyfriends. So I will admit that's why I'm a little salty, okay? Okay. Well, it's you said half, it was half, a therapy session, so, you it, know. If we, it's, it, it, listen, any, I- Anything I, you want to share with the class. They're a brunette <laughs> and they looked like that and they had the same haircut. It's just the same formula. And you just can't trust those people. That's a, a recipe for disaster. I don't even know what I'm this. What? <laughs> I, I. Okay, so I suddenly forgive you for all the times you've roasted me about the Grandmaster title. I, 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 I. I can we get a did a graphic on the screen? Why are we still full screen? <laughs> I just like putting Levy in uncomfortable situations. Oh my goodness! Yeah, there's a legendary one where you called Lucy, uh, my, right. my girlfriend, and then and Here then forgot go. it happened Second and game. yelled, "When this. are when are we gonna have a child?" Um, that was that was a good one. You know the one I'm talking about, the very first sub battle. Uh, yes. The answer is yes. Totally. G right. Castley's on the screen. We got Castley here. He's he's doing good. Um. Wow, that was that was an intense round. That was an intense round mm -hmm. of chess. I uh, I don't know how he's so calm. I get really nervous when I play in these events. All right. Uh, Match is starting in a few seconds. And now they've got game number two I have coming the white up. White pieces this time. Oh, yeah, he is with the white pieces. Did you review his openings with white? Well, you know, I asked if he wanted to play the London. He said he's got it figured out. So never taught him the London. So, uh, you know, we just focus on other things. I noticed that he plays E4. Um, I oh, he that... loves the Ponziani. Ponziani. That, he loves oh, that one. Well, he's gonna I really... sent him all of Eric Rosen's videos to watch. He's going to... Uh, that. Yeah, that's not going to work. Yeah, the Ponziani doesn't quite work against Knight of Six. Is he going to play here to try to play the Ponziani? That's going to be very funny. Or is he just going to play like... Yeah, I, we didn't discuss a backup plan, but solid opening so far. So we'll see. Knight C3? Yeah. Well done. Very nice. Let's yeah, no. develop the bishops. I have to say, though, Daily Dose is just a little bit of a silent killer. Like, there was, you know, that game turned into a draw, but the way he found that winning pawn push, I am I'm a little scared. No, that end game was unbelievable. And 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 the fighting spirit between the two of them, like, to go to queen and three versus queen and two was, uh, was absurd. Uh, this is going to be a long, boring game because they've got a lot of pawns. It's gonna be a lot of maneuvering. You're you're really good at hyping up chess commentary, Levy. Yeah. Is this yeah, like no, you this do is... this for a living or something? You're almost too good at it. Oh no no! People I, I, should be paying you for this. I definitely don't uh, don't cast live games, but I I oh, recaps. You know, it's like Mike Breen 
is a sports, ca- you know, a broadcaster for the NBA. He does the live coverage, but he doesn't do the recap. So it's very different. Um, All right. We got a poll in chat. We have Gassy Daily Dose or draw. I predict another draw. Oh, you think we're getting a playoff? Maybe. No chance. No chance. Why is everyone saying Andrea for the mod? What does that mean? What happened? I, I don't I know, miss? but not Night Chief. I, I, I think, I think Gasly's no going to, I think Gasly might pull it off. Yeah, no, this is, it, it's much easier to play an aggressive opening rather than what he had that Fianchetto set up. He's going to go for the bishop. He's going to play f4. I also just, I, I, I've got, you know, I've got some insights. I've got some insights. I, I, I think Daily Dose is like 1,200 with the white pieces because he was confident. He was out the gate. But with black, I think he might be a little shaky. Look at this. Already spending a minute after the first five moves. He can't play the bird with black. That's so. true. I, he's not the same without the bird. Oh, look at that. Clean. Got the bishop. That was a nice capture, creating weaknesses in the opponent's light squares. We actually talked about this. If Gasly plays F4, I think he wins bog jams. Just calling it right now. If he plays pawn to F4, mobilizing this side of the board. That would be a beautiful, beautiful move. Much more likely that he plays like D4, develops a bishop. But if he goes here. (gasps) This is my student, my prodigy. No, he he does have a good intuition for these um, principles. So I'm I'm not surprised, but I'm not going to celebrate too early. Yeah, yeah. So far, a very clean opening. Let, let, let's just say... I actually taught him this, actually. I forgot to say, but I this is theory that we talked about. To play F4 in this exact position? Yep, yep. Yeah, we didn't spend time on endgames, but we did this, and it worked. Yeah, and no, I'm he's gonna... simply the best coach of PogChamps, so you know if any PogChamps competitors want some coaching, I, I make prodigies, obviously. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Um, Bishop to E3 now. He's got a good structure. Of course, you don't just win a game from one move, but just the, the, the understanding there. Look at those pawns, those double isolated pawns. Dina Belenkaya is <laughs> celebrating no. in another world. No, oh God, Queen D4 was just game over. Yeah, I, I talked oh. very confidently and we just skimmed through that one. All right, look, Ed, we barely even saw it happen. <laughs> it practically didn't happen. We'll just solid opening, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing, nothing missed here. So. The reason people are 750 or 704 is because some of us play like we're 654 and 754. Hi, Dina. Us- Dina's in the chat. She taught, sorry, I got so excited. It's like when your mom watched the stream, like, hi, mom, it's me. I'm on the big screen. I talk about pawns. And she taught me about isolated pawns and double pawns. And I said the words. And she's the best chess teacher ever. And I hope I make her proud today. Have anything to say to Dina Gotham? Uh, happy to have you in the chat. Uh, and thank Michael. you for teaching and Andrea uh, about what did she teach you? Pa- pawns. pawns? Tell me about pawns. the pawn structures. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Pawn structures. Sorry. Um, Go on. Do your thing. No, I was just saying that, you know, people are 700 because it's a range. So Gasly played a really good move, like a 1000, then played a really bad move, like a 400, right? It's just a range. There you go. It's just like a range of, you know, the person's skill level. So he blundered Queen D4, but neither of them saw it. It was a tough move, very. Close, close combat type of move. And uh, I have no idea what's going to happen because the bishop's staring at this, rook is staring at that, knight is staring at this. This knight could go here and here. I wonder what Hikaru would play in this position with white. Well, he was probably just celebrating his wedding. He wouldn't be playing. Yeah, but like if he was, what would well, he play? But it was, it's a historic day. Hikaru got married, you know. He's, he might just retire. But actually... Did I, did I tell you how I'm spreading the Hikaru tattoo across the chess community? You know, it's a thing now that a lot no. of chess players are getting, and you could sign up for it if you'd like. Okay. You hear about the, the latest trend in the chess community? It's I really have... popular. Eric Hansen's doing it. Nemo's doing it. It's eventually your turn, Levy. Okay. Wow. All right. Uh, what are they doing exactly? They're all getting a temporary Hikaru tattoo. And maybe, you know, like, we could even do a little side gamble today, Levy. Like, you know, if my student wins or something, you get a tattoo. And if my student loses, I get a tattoo. I think it's time to bring back the Ikaru tattoo. I think you should just get a tattoo. I, I, I will not it's, be getting a tattoo, but... It's only fun if you're, you know, competing for it amongst two. Listen, there's a lot of people in the chess uh, directory that you that you could you know w- wager a tattoo uh, against like daily dose who we're about to listen into i think all right hear him out what if 
I. He, we were supposed to hear him. Shh. I can. He's we there hear him? quietly. Shh. Background. Quiet. Back. What if I start putting pressure up here? No, I don't want to do that. I put it. I put it up there. That's a good move. That's a good move. That's a great move, right? I think that's a good move. I think that's good. Because the knight will protect it. Good. Feeling safe. We can lock in the bishop. <laughs> I feel really bad for him because Chad is yelling that it's not a good move because the computer is saying that it's not. But it's a, it's a very reasonable move. Uh, it's calling it a miss. Because knight takes g4 was the winning idea, deflecting the queen from the defense of the pawn, which would attack the rook and remove the defense of that pawn, and also lead to knight e3, which could potentially be another fork. So the computer wanted you to see all of that. Uh, Daily Dose did not, because he's a real person and not an AI, you know, what? But that, oh, wait, that's... No. Now that's a Grandmaster move. I don't know much about Grandmasters, but I know that they like to bring their knights back. So he must have been taking notes. Yeah, the problem is that's winning again. He doesn't see it, though. Oh, no! Ah, uh, no, no, not the rook again. Please don't take with the queen. Just take with the pawn. No oh, one needs queen, to see this. Not oh. like this. Everything was so solid. Oh, he drew the car. He just drove the car straight off the cliff and jumped out. Oh, my goodness. But only if Daily Dose finds that's queen true. takes. That's true. There's um, only 30% chance there's three ways to take here. 30, 33. Yeah, but also, we don't know. Yeah, we don't know. Maybe he's not going to do it because he didn't do it earlier. I don't know. Can we, can we listen? I feel like the move is about to happen. He took the pawn! And we're saved! Oh, wow. Okay. Now the knight oh, I'm now the starting to live. think this is very interesting because they play very solid chess when it comes to fighting these moves, but it, the tactics. We need to bring more puzzle rush into the training for both sides. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I uh I told all of my secret students that they had to go grind puzzles and they need to solve a hundred percent of them successfully. I, I did the same. I told them to do fifteen minutes of puzzles every day. I don't know if it happened, but well, technically you could do fifteen minutes of puzzles but get them all wrong, right? Well, you know, it's the, the effort that counts. Yeah, like, I did 15 minutes of puzzles. And I got, like, that's why, yeah, this is, everybody's always like, oh, I do these puzzles, but I never solve them in the game. Ah, Night Takes is winning again. White needed to put his knight here fast, because otherwise black is just going to go yeah, like this. White is just going to be so, uh, so behind in development. But it's not that simple to see why this is winning, especially at this level. No, 100% right. Like, white does not realize how important this is right now. Because I think also as you're 700, you're not thinking, oh, he's going to do this. Whereas if you're, as you're going up the rating ladder, you're like, this is a huge weakness. And I could put my knight there. So that blocks everything, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. This, this game, their accuracy has both gone down about 20%. So maybe fatigue is setting in. I know we started very strong and it just keeps dwindling and dwindling. Oh, but I don't know if Daily Dose doesn't find. Yeah, he's just pushing his pawns. He's just not. Oh, oh God, it's still there. But now he might be forced to take because Ghastly is setting up Bishop takes pawn. That is also if he sees the threat on e6, but it's not too sneaky. No, it's a very, very clear indication of hostility. Knight takes g4 now is a defensive move, but it's actually still winning for black. And unfortunately, White's accuracy has now dipped to 47%. Last game, it was like 73. I mean, just a very chaotic second game. Yeah, this, it doesn't seem like, well, okay. Oh, wow, okay. He's choosing to defend. He doesn't want to take the bishop. He yeah. doesn't want it. He doesn't need it to win. If Ghastly gets his knight to c4, I he think he can. He will survive this. I think he's also going to win. Like, I just, he'll never be attacked anymore. But I can't predict the result in this game. The last six moves, no, the last five moves by both players, 10 moves straight have been bad. 
They have just totally lost the thread of the game. They're not realizing that this is winning and that this is winning. And White is just allowing... I don't know what he's going to do. He might go here and re... Oh, goodness, this is terrifying. I mean, at this point, White is just forced, yeah, to find the best moves. It, like, you, we had this lesson. There we go. We talked about when you don't know what to do and you haven't moved any your pieces, look at the pieces that you haven't moved and you found it. Okay. No. Knight c4. Knight c4. Let's go. Oh, there Beautiful. it is. That's like putting the last puzzle piece down on the puzzle. And that's it. Like, there's no more that satisfying That was anyone's feeling. game. Yep. There's a lot of ways for black to lose. For example, bishop d6, defending the pawn and hanging bishop e6 because the rook no longer defends. Bishop d6 loses. And it's a very natural looking move, by the way, because it defends the pawn. Queen c7 loses. Everything is losing, unless you take the bishop. But well, I think, yes, yeah, similar to how Ghastly was forced to uh, develop his knight. Might just happen the same for this bishop trade, because otherwise, like you said, all his pieces are tied up. Yeah, they're all tied up. I mean, he he hasn't taken the bishop for like six moves. So is he going to take it now? Is he going to realize he has to? Or is it just programmed that he's not going to take it? I, I'm telling you, I'm predicting this or this. You know, I wouldn't be opposed to seeing another Botez Gambit. I feel like it's just part of the tournament now. Just like a nice and casual queen d6. The problem with queen d6 is oh. it, not, it hangs a queen and then it hangs a rook too. So it's a Yeah, no, I was talking about bishop, bishop d6. Because e6, you take forking the queen. Yeah, then you could lose your queen anyway. Oh, your rook, exactly. okay. Knight takes pawn. All right, oh. he's not walking into it. Now he's going to be up a clean pawn. Just take the right pawn. Wow. Play. And hesitate. And he has to go back. If he doesn't go back, Daily Dose will get this, and that's kind of scary. Obviously, the queen is hanging, so you got to move the queen. Well, you know, not obvious to everyone. That's anything could happen. That's true. He might not see it. Uh, oh man. This is crazy how Ghastly came back in this game. I was so sure it was Daily Dose's game. Yeah, and Daily Dose is also down to three minutes. That's not enough time. Okay, you got to go back. But I think a frustrated look. He, I think he might go forward because that's, again, more natural. But if he goes back, he's a beast. Let's go check uh, on Ghastly. Oh, he went back. Easy. Let's, let's, let's still check in with, with him. Outpost Knights, let's go. Some deep thoughts here. Well, he's turned off the music. Oh, wait, no, he didn't. Never mind. I was going to say he's... Damn, he is talking way too much. He's going to distract <laughs> himself. Well, I think actually one reason he kind of messed up in the first one he was talking about is this is his first time kind of streaming games on Twitch. And he was talking a lot during his first game and he seemed a little distracted. But maybe, you know, just an AI-generated video on loop. Who knows? Maybe both these opponents. Yeah, both these opponents are just AIs. Could be. Daily Dose, you never know. The man's machine. Oh, e5 hits the knight. Great move. Every move that, that Ghastly has played since knight to d2 has built. Actually, frankly, since queen d1. Like, he made a blunder. This move followed that, and then that move, and then this move, and then this move. Then he took the pawn, then he came back, then he pushed. Every move has followed the previous move. Now we have this, and he's just much better. He's just in a much better position. But the problem to win this is you have to be slow. Yeah, I think we briefly talked about this plan, actually, creating a battery with the rooks, but for like 10 seconds at the end of our lesson. Um, but I have to say, his intuition has been very strong. Yeah, if he gets something to f7, whether it's by doubling his rooks or playing queen g6, he's just going to win. Like right now. Uh, by the way, he has a fork. That's... You could see it. You could see it because you... It's... It's nice, but as we have seen, puzzles haven't been... Oh, Daily Dose sees it. Ah. Missed it. They don't see each other because he wouldn't be a good poker player, but let's see. But but Rook F2, White didn't see Knight B6, the fork. And that's that's very simple to do yeah. because, you know, you're not so He's not looking strong. for the tactics. Yeah, he That shall be our, our next focus. Rook but Daily F1. Dose has given a second chance. 
Yep, that would have been a big, big loss for Black, but Black is still doing okay. Good job. Good job. I, I think Rook C8 might happen, and then there's another fork. <laughs> oh, no! I, I just, he... I, if he doesn't see it the first time, I don't, I don't know if he's going to see it the second, but I, at this point, he finished his plan, so maybe he's looking. I hope he doesn't play this thinking it's mate, or like, of course he could trade, but knight b6 is just game over. I know, this is a critical moment. Come on, let's go. Let's take the home win. And the, you can see this stuff because it's so close. Your eyes should be drawn to this area, and you go, oh, that's kind of nice. I don't think he... Does he see it? See, if Frank was here, the fork would have been done. Cheeky fork. Oh, I don't know, Frank. All right, let's. I think we're gonna tune in and, and look. I want my knight to be a bit more useful, so I'm going to jump my knight right here. Attack the rook. I could take that pawn, but I really don't. The the pressure's over here right now. Uh, I take pawn. I, I like pawn take. I like pawn take. And then go back. Oh god, like the knight's take. gonna go to the side. I guess it can always go back, but opening yeah. some opportunities. Massive developments. Let's go back to the big board. Uh, so Ghastly took a free pawn. Don't blame him. He just missed knight b6. Daily Dose is trying to trade all the pieces. The problem with doing that is he's just down material. He's just down material. He's down two pawns, I believe. And yep. he, he can't move anything. He just can't move any pawns. This knight is a god. I just, my my concern here is based on our last end game with that um, perpetual. I don't yep. know if it matters if we're up pawns. It's, it's, if you haven't gone over the end game, it's not clear to win these with the extra material. No, no, definitely not. Definitely not. And okay, h4 would be beautiful. That would yeah. be a nice. Yeah. H4 would be nice. You know what the worst part is? White is up two pawns, but can't move them. They're here. And if you play here, you could lose. The oh my god, do they know about en passant? Uh, I know we didn't do that one either. I don't know. I he don't know. He probably does, right? Because he's played a lot. He definitely well, knows Well, he's it. very new to the game. He's only been studying for like a couple months, okay? So, not for sure. Okay, please don't play A4, B, A. I will lose it. I will lose it. Well, eventually, Central. process elimination is going to try them all, and then you'll make it to the other side of the board, and then H4, and it's going to be okay. Uh, but that's. But, we go back, hopefully. Yeah, the, yeah the, the thing is that once you remove. Okay, I predict queen here. Queen c6 is the best move, forcing the knight back. Ah, check! Okay, all right. I, I don't know if he sees it, though, because of the tunnel vision. I called it. I called it. Queen e6 now to defend the knight okay, and hit the king. Is... Oh. Does he? Does he? I see. Oh! My, my camera. Oh! All right, now it's just me. Hello, chat. Hello, chat. It's just me and, and the guide. That's a brilliant move and a, and a mistake. And, uh, well, queen takes queen and three pawns up, and he's off to the races. What's up, chat? Hello, I think Ludwig's doing a watch party. Hello, chess.com stream on multiple platforms. All right, I will be your, uh, I, will, I will be the captain of your flight today to uh, Norway. I think that's where Daily Dose is. Queen c4, mutual pin here on the queen. Queen could take, and the best move for white at that point would be to take with a pawn. Okay, uh, hello. Uh, that was a countdown. Oh, and it, all of this happened. They thought they fired me. I'm back. Just kidding. All of that happened, by the way. And the, the knight is now hanging. Okay. The pawn is a passer. This is, is this going to be a winning endgame? Do you think Gassy's going to bring home the win? Uh, ah, it's dead again! No! I've never had this issue before. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll be back. It's just Bye. the black box. <laughs> You got to bring your king. That's the only way to win the end game. He has to bring his king. If he really... Oh my goodness, this man is an absolute gangster. King F3, King E4, look at him go. It's Magnus Carlsen in disguise. 
C5, C6, take. Oh my goodness, Gasly is bringing us home. His accuracy has gone up 20% since the lowest point. I've also lost Andrea on Discord, by the way. I think she's not, she is not connected there anymore. Uh, oh my goodness, it, it's just me, the chat, and, 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 and the watch party. Yes, producer, I am running solo. Yes, and the producer. Producers are always here. King to D5. And it's just going to be a walk for the pawns. The only thing Gasly has to do is not freak out over here. C6 on the board. Confidence. Pawn to C6. Pawn to C7. Don't freak out. Don't allow the pawn to get through. Okay, I'm very scared. Two and a half minutes. Gasly, a lot of people get scared here. They're going to do something. No, no, no. Why are you touching that pawn? This pawn is three squares away from queening. Oh my goodness, beginners are going to give me a heart attack. I, it, this is the pawn that's going to become a queen, not this one, okay? Okay, now you got to go back, right? Now you got to push. Please push the more advanced pawn. I'm not cheering for anybody. I'm simply cheering for good chess. King f4, just push the... Thank you. Then the good news is you can push both. The bishop cannot stop both pawns that close. E6. E6 on the board. And then sneak one through. Your king's not really going to help. But it could. Pawn. Okay. Just. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's actually very scary. Because after pawn takes, there's king takes. Oh, no. Oh, but the pawn takes and not the king. The king had to take. And now this is a winning race for white. Push the e-pawn. Does Gastly see it? Does he see that he can push the e-pawn? Oh, my God. Is he trying to defend this pawn? Is he going to go after that pawn? He sees it. He sees it. Now the only thing preventing a victory is a stalemate. And there is a way to there is a way to stalemate. You could accidentally take this pawn and it will be a draw. Somehow, if the king is stuck, don't resign. You never resign here. You resign here. You are a, a lunatic. You never resign. You finish the game. Somehow. Somehow, he's got to make a move. King h2. Now all you do here with white is you sack the queen for the pawn and you make a new one. Easiest way to win. Or force the king in front of the pawn. Yup, and just go. Just go. You don't need to, you don't gotta get close. None of this cheeky, fancy stuff. Just, just go. Great. Fantastic. Woo! Oh, amazing. Amazing. And he resigns! Daily Doze does not, see, I would not resign. I disagree with the decision. But we're going to check in on Gasly as he wins the match in an epic fashion. All right, GG. GG, Daily Dose of Internet. We got the dub. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Golly. GG. Woo. We see the reaction there. That was a fantastic match. Honestly, PogChamps 5 is off to an incredible start, minus the Andrea disconnect. But so far, we've had very, very back and forth matches. Uh, and two of them decided in the second game by a score of one and a half to half. Uh, Gastly takes the win over Daily Dose of Internet in uh, Group B. And I, I mean, I'm assuming we're going to show the standings. But if not, then obviously, you know, Gastly is up top with three points. Um, and, uh, we will take a, a, a short break and we're going to try to get an interview with the players, but before we do, uh, my friends, we've got a special shout out from chess.com. Uh, if you've been wanting to try out chess.com premium features before committing to a membership right now is the best time cash in on the chess.com summer offer to unlock 30 days premium for absolutely free. You can enjoy a full month of unlimited puzzles, lessons, game reviews, and more. And the offer ends tomorrow, July 27th. I don't know if that's at midnight or when, so don't miss your chance. You can use exclamation point claim in the chat to unlock 30 days of premium right now. This has been an awesome day so far. Very tense matches back and forth. We're going to link up with the players, see if one or both are going to join us for an interview. I didn't know they were going to have my full room back here. I would have cleaned up that side. I thought we were going to have two casters. But we will be right back. Short break and an interview with the players coming up. I had no other move except to lose. That's a good move. That's a great move, right? I think that's a good move. He did not see my mistake. He did not see that mistake. It's a running. All right, GG. GG, Daily Dose of Internet. We got the dub. Let's go. Let's go.
I understand. Ooh, 18 seconds for a black, so not too much time there nope. either. Rook c7. A7 is falling. Uh, it is. E4. So, he pushes the pawn. This is getting a little messy. Mm -hmm. Takes a knight f1. Knight f3. Like knight f3. King, e, King e4. Knight e1. Move. You got, oh my gosh, 0. 0.9 seconds when that move was Check played. On B1. Move the rook. King, I was going to say King c2 Rook's and run the four. king. King e3. Knight e3. Takes it. it. Takes an A7. Takes, 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 it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Takes it right Daniel, and two was Daniel, winning, but there was checkmate in one for black after knight takes g3. Oh my god, that was <laughs> and instead he played here and he's never losing on oh time. Oh my god, a7 wins for white. Oh my gosh. Do you wish playing a chess game with a friend was as easy as sending them a text? Well, good news now it is. With Chess.com's new iMessage app, you can start and play a game directly in iMessage. Your friend doesn't even need a Chess.com account. It's just tap and play. Head over to go.chess.com slash iMessage or use the command iMessage in chat to learn more. Click the subscribe button. See if it says subscribe free and purple. And if it does, you're golden, pony boy. Anyway, let's check on who's priming right now. Oh shit, it's my friend. Um, Willis. Hey Willis, can't wait to grab lunch later. Catch you on the flippity flip. Anyway, back to the chess content. You guys have a good one.
Welcome back, everyone, to our continued coverage of Pog Champs 5. Two matches in the books, and now it's time to move on to the second half of the day. Uh, that was a lot of fun, Andrea, not you crashing, but... Uh, oh, thanks. But <laughs> yeah, have you no, enjoyed I, the matches? I, so my camera died, but I heard my student brought home the dub. I'm not going to take the credit, even though, you know, I got to say it's no coincidence. It's because he had an amazing coach. That's true. I yeah. mean, the games were like blood, sweat, and tears. He was on the verge of death a couple of times, you know, but the most important thing is that he got it done in the end. Uh, it was exhilarating. It was a crazy end game. He played really, really well, actually. So both games went into the end game, uh, but that's all in the books. So we have a leader in group A and group B, but now it's time for the next two matchups and let's preview them by putting them up on the screen. We've got Ginny, who makes a lot of IRL content, specifically about travel, as far as I know, traveling to different cities, yep. walking around, exploring. Um, and she is taking on like a top five OG legend of Twitch. I mean, seriously, Tyler1 in PogChamps is sensational stuff. I knew who Tyler1 was before I knew what live streaming was. And it's kind of surreal to see him playing chess. We'll see what type of chess that is. That is actually our next matchup. And then we've got Sea Dog, and that's the that's the finish of Group A, taking on Saikuno. Uh, Saikuno's got his work cut out for him in that match. <clears throat> Andrea, what are your expectations for yeah, uh, what well, we're about to see? Yeah, well, first off, I'm so excited to have Tyler one in this Pog Champs. We had E Rob last Pog Champs. It must be really hard for Tyler to always live up to the expectations of his sibling. You know, I can really understand, but don't worry, Tyler, you're going to do great. Hopefully, one day we could even have a Tyler versus XQC matchup. I know this is one that the chats really want to see. Ginny, I'm very biased. I love her. We've done IRL with, but I don't know much about her chess. Um, but I think they're about the same level. Yeah, I also don't know much about her chess. Let's pull up her player card. Um, I, I I have to tell you, when I read this, I, I I it's like I'm so used to seeing TSM spelled out. So she she signed to Team Solo Mid. I, I didn't realize we were going by like legal names. She's got nearly a hundred, uh, not a hundred. I'm going to say a million, nearly a million followers uh, on Twitch, just like me. I think I have nine hundred ninety-eight thousand. So I'm 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 close too. Uh, and uh, she's trilingual. She speaks English, Korean, and Chinese. I'm only bilingual. Uh, Andrea, do you speak? How, how good is your Romanian? Uh, my Romanian is pretty fluent, but it unfortunately, doesn't help me playing chess. So, and we we see Ginny right there. Uh, I was worried she didn't have a crop correctly, like she she didn't have the the clock visible, but it's it's there. It's just at the bottom. She yeah, Ginny. I have to say, she's a real one for still pulling through. I know her like stream setup died a little bit ago, and her laptop died. She has almost as good of a setup as I do right now. So. Shout out to Ginny for making this happen from, I think she's in Denmark? Wow, everyone's everywhere, huh? Yes. Everyone's traveling. Except us. Except, except <laughs> us. And except Tyler. I think, I, I think Tyler, he, uh, he hangs out, he hangs out at the house. Uh, I know that's, that's a big thing. He's, uh, 2022. He's always lifting weights. You can't travel when you have to spend so much time in the gym. He has gigantic muscles. Like it really does. They are, they are enormous. Um, he's the League of Legends streamer of the year the last two years. I'm the chess streamer of the year, by the way. Uh, Runner-up is my co-host. Uh, Tyler, uh, he's the host. He hosts the Tyler 1 Championship Series. And he's a former running back at Central... Me they had no third bullet. They had to talk yeah. about his football career? Yeah, no, I have to say the football, the trilingual. <laughs> These are like, great facts. Day Doug, I mean, my goodness, is that going to help him today? I mean, How look, fast he can run on the chessboard? I, I, I don't know. Anyway, One of these is. must. One of these must. Shout out to Tyler. Tyler, I, I see he's watching the uh, the broadcast. Uh, huge fan. I Like I said, I knew like two or three streamers existed before I knew what live streaming was. And their names are Lex Veldhaus, Disguise Toast, and Tyler. Like I knew Tyler won. So does that mean I you're, you're rooting was. for Tyler today? I'm I'm just rooting for chess. I'm rooting for ah, chess, yes. and and our previous two matchups have been answer. yes. Uh, my uh, the last two matchups have been very close, very tense. Jarvis really stepped up. We didn't know how good he was going to be. This might be these might be slightly more on the beginner side, but we don't know. I mean, Tyler's been on the grind, and he's also very intimidating. So we're about to see. We're about to see how much chess they've played. Yeah, for this one, I would love to just tune in and hear what they're thinking. I don't think I've ever seen Ginny or Tyler play chess before. So this is this is an historic, historic day. Ginny with the 182. I think the I think Saikuno's close with 199. He's coming up next. Tyler is 259, which is also like he's, his warm-up bench press. 
You know, 199, he's just trying to make it in the under 200 group for the next sub battles. Like, don't don't think that this isn't because he's not good enough to be 200. It's actually because he likes being right at the edge. No, I, totally understandable, right? Like, I, you know, I, I don't go above 2,800 blitz on chess.com because I just want to be 2,800. Yeah, just, that's I why I haven't hit 2,000 in a couple months again. There you go. Uh, D4 is played, and uh, Ginny took a minute to make her first move. She played the queen's pawn. Tyler played a move so fast that he has more than 10 minutes. And I think his goal might be to end the game with 11 minutes on the clock because he's playing very fast. He's a speed machine, you know? He's not going to slow down for chess. I saw a message in the chat that said, Ginny has been getting coached by Duda in Poland. Is that just an absolute lie? What? It Honestly, at this point, there, it's either completely true or there's no shot. But I asked her if she had any chess training. And um, I, I don't think she's had time for it because she has been traveling the world. Uh, but who knows? Maybe secretly she's training with Duda from Poland. But that's such an absurd lie that, like, it's believable, you know? Like, that's a crazy thing to lie. That's such a specific lie that it I mean, almost makes sense. Based on this gameplay... The G4, the bishop in front of E3. I I think she is improvising on her openings. Yeah, I there don't think no Duda. Duda. Yeah, yeah, I don't think. Oh, and Tyler just snapped snaps that pawn off the board. Yeah, Duda, I don't think would have prepared her in bishop to E3. Uh, could be a new one. Oh. We maybe just don't know about it yet. Yep, we don't know. It could be the next big opening. Bishop takes is a very nice move. And this could go from bad to worse very quickly, but we'll see. We'll see how Tyler one plays. I, I think this is a gambit on Ginny's part, and she wanted to open the file for her rook because she knows that Tyler is going to get intimidated, and she's she's not going to let him castle. She actually just has a very aggressive attacking plan. Okay, there it is. There's the attacking see? plan. I think he's going to take. attacking. It's a it's a plan. Listen, I know a thing. If, if if Tyler shows restraint here and doesn't just snap the knight off, and he just backs up and says the bishop is better than the knight. That's high level stuff. But Bishop takes is fine. It's a completely fine move. I love right, every damage. time you you describe Tyler's chest, it's always snapping things. It's not just capturing. It's like he's, he's wow. making a bounce while he does it. Okay. He didn't yeah, snap gonna, like, the knight. You know, I've seen him play. It's it's vicious. Do you think Tyler's you know? the type to chess rage to like, you know, break through a door if he was to lose a game? Hell yeah, but so am I. Like, who isn't? You've, you've told me you've never thrown a phone or, or raged at chess? That's the one thing I can say I've never done. I've never had chess rage. I don't break things when I lose chess games. Listen, I but once said that to Hikaru, and then Hikaru was like, well, that's why you're not an accomplished top Yeah, I was, no, I was that's like, exactly what I was going to say. It's probably because, like, I don't get that invested and I lose a lot, so who knows? <laughs> yeah, well, Bishop here. So she's played completely fine. She just doesn't have a jeep on. That's okay. All part of the gambit. Ginny's Gambit. Ginny's Gambit. She's gonna, she's gonna castle. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. Manifested that one. Hey, she's got the principles. I'm a little worried about us castling straight into the line of fire. Um, but that's only if Tyler knows how to use the line of fire. Yeah, Tyler taking his time, got the two minute lead. Will he castle as well? Uh, one good strategy for beginners is to let your opponent castle and then castle the other way. And then you can launch a giant attack. So some beginners wait to see if their opponent is going to castle. But some just, just here and here and whatever. And then we'll we'll figure it out. Do you think um, Tyler is going to castle in this game? What's your prediction? I think so. I think his next move is going to be this. And then his... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he might just know? get a straight king attack. I don't know. Wait, is the idea of that move to lose the pawn but open the rook? Can we get a Tyler one look in? Is that the point? You know, my prediction is he wanted to go G4 and he didn't realize it was hanging, but it could work out in his favor. No, 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 no. I think that was, I think he's going to go Rook G8. Well, let's it. Let's, let's look in. Like it took 30 seconds for that move. Like, I fucked up. Just take my piece already. Only, it's only Shut up, game. man. Why do you have to be mad? He's thinking about it. 
He's thinking. I yeah. He he definitely thinks he messed up. I just put a dude now that that's moved. What was this stopping me from doing? Is he speaking, or are those so his here, text the speech mm -hmm. alerts? And I swap for bishop, and then I can take this. Never heard him so that, quiet. I can take his queen. It's not bad, right? So I go here. What's he gonna take this? No. This no. That's a good move. Let's go. Yeah, let's go back to the big screen. Actually, he he's got a really good position. I, I also uh, he played bishop to h six, which is fine as long as he finds this move. His accuracy right now is 93%. Yep, and here he could try to create some weaknesses around the king, take the bishop, just don't hang the bishop on h6, and he has a beautiful plan of attack on the king. Yeah, as long as he, exactly, as long as he sees this, he'll be all right, but... Oh, I don't know. I don't know if he's going to be all right. The thing is, when you're, a, when you're really, really a beginner, like 200, you, you can't even get yourself to make trades because you're like, if I take, they take me. And I don't want them to take me. <laughs> but like you can't play chess like that. Like and he does it. Okay, very nice. I if not he finds scared. rook g8. Nope, not scared at all. Yeah, if I was Duda, I'd be pissed right now. Oh yeah, du Duda really needs to uh um so this is this is literally running it down mid, basically. Is that what the, the gamers do? I, it, oh that's a football thing, running down mid, right? I thought Sports. that was a gaming term. No, nope. but I don't know. I thought that was more of a football analogy. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, I see. I yeah, I liked. I liked. I liked. I liked all of this. See, the yeah, thing is, it's a nice. Well, I guess he has threats like H three. It's a nice rook move, but if no one tells you to do these things, you're not going to stumble upon them on your own. Like running league it down term. mid, or ah. or or, oh, I was, or the rook. I was talking about the rook move, but that too. Yes, oh, I see. I am yeah, no, this is. Have, have you played League excellent. of Legends, Le Levy? No, of course not. My quality of life is so high. <laughs> it's it's already bad enough with chess. I can't play chess and League. See, I'm not the only one who doesn't know. Well, I knew the oh, term. Okay. Yeah. Clearly, clearly. Listen, I was a Diamond Overwatch player. Like, uh, yeah. all right. Respect. Diamond and o Diamond and Overwatch is like being a two thousand at chess. It's right at that level. You just start thinking you're good enough, but you're actually still so dog shit. Like That's, you cannot. It's really good. I'm above two thousand. So yeah. Yes. You, you, well, you're also not a player that like it, you're not like a gatekeeper. You're not like you know arrogant. Like two thousands think they're good, but they're so bad. Oh, speaking. I mean, my goodness. Ty, he's got a whole thing going here. Yeah, no, this is a beautiful position for Tyler. All he has to do is bring out his pieces. Just queen h4, rook g8. And he is getting very passive, bringing all our pieces back. But that's kind of what happens when you're panicking. You don't know how to defend. So it's very natural. Oh, my God. Beautiful. Oh my. Rook's Incredible coming in. Stuff. That's I'm awesome. Plan. Wow. I'm going to go here. If he takes him. that, you hear him? he loses that piece oh. anyway. Or she, excuse me. She she loses this piece. It's like a little trade. So boom. Takes it. Boom. No. Is there a way to raise his volume? <laughs> yeah, I never thought I would say this, but I, I'm struggling to hear Tyler Lund. He can kill me if I, if I make this move right here. Right? Yes? Oh, he sees the free pawn? Yep. This is very strong. Can we check in on Ginny? How she let's 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 pull up the analysis board real quick. Obviously, this is his threat, and that's his threat. Unfortunately for him, that's not checkmate because there's a knight guarding. But uh, there, I don't know if we can. There is a world I can see that Ginny might want to bring her knight back to attack the queen, and then G two all of a sudden. Oh no, she's bringing in the other knight. Oh, queen E three is a nice move. Does he see that it's a check? That will be so nice. He he had his eye on it. Yeah, if we could get some Ginny commentary, it'd be nice to hear what both players are thinking. Yeah, let's do that. If we can. 
Uh, Ginny looks very confident with herself. I dated Quinn. If Quinn oh, gets whoa. Me. No, no, I didn't bait. Well, if she disconnects, this game doesn't count, know. right? <laughs> Maybe that's the strat. Night. If night eats it, then the... Then the, I can eat the knight and then fight with my queen. But okay, for for the illusion. Oh my god, okay. I, I can also eat beast. Oh he saw it. He played the best move, and her, her screen had a little bit of a robotic meltdown there. Um, that's a great move from Tyler, and Knight takes Knight is just a clean win of a night. Yeah, Tyler's putting on the pressure, and Ginny, meanwhile, is eating the Knights, so I don't know if we can defend about this and this. <laughs> Tyler has played 12 moves at a 90% accuracy. Uh, Queen Holy G3 shit. is... Yeah, he's, he's really... <laughs> he's really... He's really doing a nice job. Knight takes knight is, is clean. Queen takes knight is clean. Oh my goodness. He left no crumbs. Yeah, Tyler, this I is... have to say, he's he's underrated. He's he's not 199. 259. Maybe like... 259 is crazy. Oh look at look at this side by side view. Look at this production. Wow, players locked in focus. Tyler just Tyler just cooking it up here. I think we're gonna listen in on Tyler. Down. Was he smurfing us? The trade? Down? I mean there's no moves. If she takes this, gone. This gone. Maybe doesn't see the knight. She she did play a very natural move, uh, which is to attack the queen. But unfortunately, the knight actually sees both of those squares. You know, so knight takes rook. Call this a, a desperado attempt, but there is a chance. Now we're really gonna see how good Tyler is. Does he see knight takes rook? Yeah, Maybe he runs with his queen thing. and oh wow. Yeah. If I go, who's been training Tyler? Down. Nothing takes. I'm not sure. Still can't take that knight. Oh. Yes. That's also a good move. Down. Let's say they go down. It's a suicide. Can't go across. I'm worried about my knight right here, though. Or my king. I'm going to go here. Wait, it's good. Wait, if he moves. Yeah, that was a good move. He grabs a second pawn. The knight stays defended. The knight can take the rook. Yeah, he's just completely winning. And at any moment, the rook can also join the party. So as long as he doesn't panic, he is uh, he he's going he's going to win. I mean, he's. Oh, rook f two is disaster. That's Ooh. just. I mean, you could. Eh. There's no save in this levy. Yeah, queen takes rook and then like rook g8. I mean, it, but the game's not over. You could totally still hang something. Does he see queen takes rook? I have to say, I, I underestimated him. He's seen everything. <sighs> he keeps taking the pieces. Oh, now she has nope. to go queen takes knight, which is findable. Which is findable. Who do you think? And then he. Hmm. Hmm? I'm going to say, who do you think can win between XQC and Tyler 1 if that matchup were to happen? Well, it will because they're in the same group, but uh, XQC is like 1100, so he's definitely a huge favorite. You but... know, I'm, I'm going to put my money on Tyler. I think he could be the next prodigy. I okay. think he's, he's an unsuspected prodigy. Look at this. Uh, a bishop sack. You might think he's giving a free bishop. No, he is baiting the king to get mated on G3, and we will have a mate within the next 10 moves. 
Yeah, I mean, to be honest, bishop takes h3 is, uh, it, it, is <laughs> it looks like you just lose a bishop, but it's the third move of the engine. <laughs> okay, that's the actually computer... crazy. I was just making shit up. That's actually no, crazy. No, it's because the king is out and queen g3 is mate. <laughs> oh my God. He, but he... Now the rook g8, because he hasn't seen it the entire game. So this is yeah. a very testing moment. It's not easy to see. And he hasn't seen yeah. it yet. I don't know if the ties will turn just yet. Yeah, he has to find... I mean, he lost the bishop thinking that he had, like, a trick, but... Ah! That's... What? No, not like this! No, that was not what we right needed. Right squares, I mean, wrong pieces. Castling is good, but not right... Okay, so he just lost... With one move, his accuracy went down by 12%. That's so sad, because he's probably so proud, like, yes, I'm castling, <laughs> I'm doing the principles. No, completely losing move. Well, not losing, yep. but not no, not losing. He but said yeah, he losing. misclicked. <laughs> Wait, can we oh. tune in? Oh, oh yeah, can we, we tune in? He... Yes. Uh, is he still? A little bit of better coding on the website, guys. A little bit. <laughs> I meant to move my. I didn't want to castle. I wanted to move my castle right here. He was gonna do it. Thank you. Th can we unmute this man? Right, you know what bro? happened? He had right touched myself. his king, and what? then he went to move his rook. And, I and called Chess it, he's my next prodigy. Chess.com has done it. this to me. They've done this to me too. They've done this to me too. I touch the king, I don't want to move the king anymore, and then it, I, I try to go to the rook, and it auto-castles you. Because oh it thinks gosh. that when you touch your king and then touch your rook, it wants you to... We he's don't still going to make it happen though. I love... But yes, that's look at this. very tilting. I would be very tilted. Oh my god. Chess.com better watch out. Chess.com. Let's go. You don't want to see what he does to his doors. I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to put my... Look at that. Look at that. Look, but he's still doing it. He gave her three moves, and the attack is still so strong that he's going to mate. It's yeah, mate. this is amazing. Well, there's a, what, queen f4? No, you're mated on g2. Sorry, I zoned out. Wow. Just over. There's no way to defend. Yeah. Wow, queen g3. I mean, uh... Knight yeah, g5, you, could... you get attacks. Let's see if Ginny... Ginny needs to... Her only hope is to put a piece That's on mate. the sign of fire. That's mate. Uh, okay. He took uh, the rook. He wants style points. He is too cool to mate with the queen. He wants he, to mate with the rook. He misses mate. And now this is mate. But this is... <laughs> King H1. Uh, he might lose the... I, I mean... It's close. It's very tight. Like, you gotta go here. Oh, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, no, after King H1, it gets kind of tricky. It's not that obvious. It's a 50-50. It depends it's where Ginny is going to go. <gasps> Ooh, no! Okay. Tyler well, loses! Ginny is forced to find the Rook because she has no other moves. She has to take he, it. And now loses, she's back. He loses the Rook by force. And now he has to play Rook G8. Is he cerebral enough to recover Can from the loss in? of... Yeah, let's tune in, I guess. Let's see if he finds Rook G8. This is... This is it. This is the cherry on top. Bro, I want to run it back. Run it down mid. Am I right? I I think so. I, that, this, I want to bring my uses? other castle across. Yes. Yes. He's doing it. Oh my god. Tileness. I have to say, I, I expected him to maul <sighs> over this, but he just came back stronger. My respect. Nagging? Hello. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Rook to g8 on the board. Oh my goodness. Let's go back to the full screen. We might... Wait, did he play it? He played it. Yep. He found it. Is he lagging? The odds are just against him today. Wait, wait. What is going on? It's not showing up on my screen. Oh god. No, not, not the internet gambit. What? Um, it looks like you... He disconnected your oh, line. No, connected. not the server being down. No, You're no, no, no. Stop, man. I don't want a work day that's seven hours right. long. What's going on? Servers. Oh, God. Too many Dude, people watching this... the game live on chess.com. Oh, my God. Oh, no. This is. He was a move away from mate. I refresh. Oh, my goodness. We'll be back at any second, guys. Don't worry. Look, he's used to molding. He plays League. He's he's prepared for this moment. Has League crashed? Does League crash? Is that a no, thing? No, but I'm sure you know it tilts him in other ways. I don't think. 
don't know. I only play this game. I really don't. We got 100 know. seconds. He's got 100 seconds on the clock. He's going to lose on time. Oh, my God. I mean, I... I I'm, I'm, I'm assuming we're... Okay. I have been instructed that we are going to be... We're going to have to take a short break. We got some technical difficulties going on. And oh, look when at we come back, Mace. He's so pissed. I don't know. <laughs> we're going to have an answer for you. All right. Let's take a short break. <laughs> We'll be right back. He looks pissed. We need to cook! We need to cook right here! Um, okay, Boom might go there with Knight. Oh, we just got to keep it composed. Oh! Oh, okay! Okay! Okay, let's do a little bit of a stretch. Let's do a little bit of a stretch. Wah! 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 Okay, we're fine. We're fine. My dear Frank, I can do this. I can do this! I can do this right here. What are we doing here? What on earth are we doing in this position? Okay, now we'll push a pawn up. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, we're doing it again. Okay. Okay, we're doing it again. A night. Okay, we win a night. We're going to win a night. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's a cook right there. We win a night, you little cook. Oh my goodness, is this me? This is, okay. Boom, I go there. Uh, I get a fork on the rook. Oh, that's juicy. Oh, that's so juicy. Oh, that's so juicy. Okay, we fork his rook. We fork his rook. I'm an idiot, man. That's what I get for not playing chess for 17 years. <laughs> oh, wait. Is that me? Is that me? Okay. Boom, we go there. Oh, yes! Come on! We did it! We did it, baby! Oh, we cooked! We cooked! process here 
because when you bring out the bishop like this, uh, it can become very vulnerable right away. So I'm not sure that I like the like the variational approach here. No, please don't. And it's too soon. I can't believe it. It's too soon, Hikaru. I can't fucking believe it. He just lost. Yes! 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 Rook takes knight, and now queen f2, queen g2 is just game over. Like, it, yeah, it, and... Oh, and he's queen f2! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Queen f2! No logic misses it. Queen f2. Oh no. Oh, oh, he won! Oh, he missed it! And now he's no, made it! Ludwig has made Ludwig has a force maiden too. And now oh, he's made it! What a throw! King e8, and then queen c8, and there's actually a staircase checkmate. Oh man. Logic through. Oh, queen d7's oh. mate. Mate. Rook d6, Rook queen d7. D6, queen d7. There are three mates here for white. Oh my gosh. Oh, what a huge throw. Let's go! Still potentially be stalemate, but no, Ludwig has no mercy. Literally 50. Wait, oh, there was increment. I didn't realize there was increment. Yes, there's a two second increment. So three minutes plus two second increment. He has now collected a lot of time, went all the way up to a minute. No! No! <laughs> Oh, we have another God. tiebreaker. Yes, 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 yes. It's King B1, so again, it's Charlie's moment. He's got to get the rest of the pieces out. Oh my God, he is. Charlie's going off the deep end, but frankly, Jimmy's got 15 seconds. I hope he Ten. will not flag. Oh, F3. Oh, F3 last D takes C2, and now. He hung the house. Oh, it's, it's done. It's mate. It's not just hanging the rook, it's mate. Oh, oh. Can we cut the chart? Gotcha. Can we cut the chart? Close call. Pikachu? No gifted subs? This is a very sad story for excuse. <gasps> oh, oh, no, 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 no! Oh my god, no! I was gonna say he plays so well, but still, man. Oh no! Trying to get all this parts. This is where I was just about to say it, and it happened so fast. Oh my god.
Welcome back, everyone, and sorry for the technical difficulties. Chess.com servers took a bit of a dive there, but we're, we're back We're up a and new running. org. These things happen. Yes, um, and we're going to pick up right where we left off. That's the good news. The game is going to resume. The position is going to be the same, and the clocks are going to be the same. So it's going to be an absolutely fair and equitable... Well, maybe Ginny wants like a reset. Uh, the position was definitely a bit tough for uh, for White. Nothing the casters can do. Very sorry about that. And uh, we had to sit there on break, just like all of you, and wonder if we're going to pick back up. Uh, I should have a game on my screen in a moment. The players have been informed. And uh, yeah, only like, drawback now is we're running a little bit Everyone behind, but... these days say that chess isn't up with the times and like we're tired of being old school. And we thought if there was a couple lags, people, you know, would take us seriously like video games these days is that is that true do games yeah crash? it's it's giant it's just I, I don't know i think i play games i don't know making this shit up but... certainly play more video games than i do i feel like i don't all, all i do is chess so you just shared how you were like diamond and overwatch i can't even pass like on, iron not, three and valorant and that was like it i stream. quit like yeah valorant apex those are you know those are stream games i, I play overwatch it's a, it's like an addiction that i don't want to tell anybody that i have but I, i've been clean for like two years um, i'm proud of you i'm proud of you here if you ever need to talk no no i'm i'm all clean i'm i'm never going okay back. okay good uh well the good news is nothing really changes we just had a little bit of a break i managed to turn my air conditioner on and eat the rest of my food and uh now so we we're going to be going back to the same position same position this is same. nice like if if you thought chess could be painful just wait until you're two moves from mate and then we stall the mate out just so that it hurts a little bit more once tyler puts the mate on the board to be honest i wish chess.com would crash <laughs> more when i was in losing positions yeah it, oh, i'd be cool if we could manifest this yeah but unfortunately that's not really what happens uh so we will let you know when the game is back up and running you will see it on your screen. And let's not see, forget that. Yes? Oh, I was going to say, chess is the true test of human patience. Not just the game, but we have um, Ginny. She's been streaming for 13 hours. And then Tyler, I'm, I'm not sure what he's been doing, but this is good. Now the, the real chess players come out. We'll see who we can break first. It's really just the test of personal endurance. 13 hours is crazy. Oh, my God. I, I would never. I would never. This That's, is how you, you train chess, you know, have to have harder and harder conditions. This is what um Dina taught me. Oh, I think we're check we're checking in on Tyler. Who, wh whenever the game start, you will know. In the meantime, uh, this match is supposed to start in 10 minutes. Uh, that's not going to happen because the first game of the previous match has not started. Uh, the, the second game, rather. The first game of the previous match has not concluded. Um, unless we're really evil and we just make them play at that time anyway, and we just toggle back and forth, but I don't think we're going to be doing that. I like the idea of chaos, but yes, no, that, that would not be good. Poor guys. What if they had like business meetings, man? It's tough. Maybe, you know, it's like, it's like being the main event in a boxing or UFC fight night. Like you just got to wait, got to wait for everybody else. Yep. And um, then your friend comes and, and stabs you in the back and supports the opponent. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I also uh, I also just want to say that Sea Dog is a thousand points higher rated than Saikuno. Yeah, I, I was going to say, like, you know, yes, we're stalling, and I'm sorry for the players and the wait, but let's be honest. I don't think the next game is going to last that long. I'll say it, the next matchup. Because Saikuno is just going to destroy. Exactly. He's... He's been training. I don't know if you saw, but um, he was doing some lessons with Nemo last night, and you don't want to know what this guy's cooking up. It's it's pretty much over for Sea Dog. There's not gonna yeah. be any mercy for him. Who is Sea Dog's chess coach? Well, Sea Dog doesn't need one because he's kind of been playing chess his entire life, and um, yeah, I don't think he really trained for this. Well, if he takes the event too lightly, I mean, we've got some real killers. I'm not even sure he's gonna make it out of his own group with guys like Jarvis there. That's true. Yeah, no, I don't know what Sea Dog's training was. Oh, I don't. I don't think. I mean, he, listen, he's a he's a number one, number two. Uh, XQC is very good. Definitely unpredictable. Uh, somebody in the chat is saying we want Frank. See, but, uh, that yeah, he's a little late to the 
commentary. Guys, don't worry. I will arrange. There will be a Frank times five. I will make it happen. I will make sure. Okay. I, I have just been informed that the team is still setting up the logistics for the game to resume. And so we are going to have to take another short break. Please do not be mad at me or Andrea. We do not control this. We are simply the messengers. But we will be right back. And Tyler1 versus Ginny TTY should resume when we come back from the short break. Welcome back, everyone. From what was promised to be a very short break, we have figured out all technical difficulties on the back end, and we are ready to resume this fabled match that... This is the longest PogChamps match that has ever, ever occurred, Andrea. I think this has been like 90 minutes for Tyler yeah, versus Jimmy. that's a way to break history. I told you, they're evolving. Yeah, they're, it, it's only been 22 moves, but it's taken about an hour plus. Um, we are now five minutes away from our second match of the day. We're going to take a look at Tyler. We're not actually that match. This match is not over yet. Let's see what Tyler's got to say about the situation. Oh, they've re they've resumed. They've they've resumed. It it seems like they've resumed. They're just going to adjust the clocks. They resumed it just just to get made it in two moves. <laughs> Poor Ginny, man. Yeah. So now, but. She's down to a minute. He also had like, okay, I guess he had three minutes when he disconnected. Oh, and the moment we've all been waiting for, guys. I don't know if he'll remember this. It's been oh. a long time. He might not see it. Anything could happen. We are literally on the edge of our seats. Oh my God, Tyler, put the queen down. Tyler, if you don't know what you're doing, put the queen down. Stop touching the queen. Oh my God. Oh my God. He's gonna See, he's going to click a circle because they look nice. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. No, wait, why is this? Okay. Tyler, wait. we did not wait that long for you to not play checkmate. Oh my goodness, we're going to be here for another it's 30 minutes. delayed gratification. No, there's there's no shot. I just don't know why he's thinking on it so much. There was a lot of time. Ah! Oh my god. Ah! Oh my god. He did not spend this time thinking about his game. I will tell if, you that. If he doesn't end this game now... This thing might crash again! <laughs> Bro, Tyler, please just end this. I want to eat my dinner soon. <laughs> Tyler, end our suffering! Dude, I was like, no, I was 200% sure. I was even tuning into stream. I was like, yeah, the man was so confident. The, wait, the, it says she disconnected? Is that what that says? Oh, or, no, no. Well, honestly, this is punishment. This is deserved. Tyler should have found the mate. <laughs> I hope he has to wait another 90 minutes. I'm kidding. Oh god, I really hope 
This is not. Oh my god. Oh Queen no. Queen G two was game over. This is this is legendary. Che I've never seen something like this. The chess.com servers don't want to let Tyler <laughs> one win a chess game. This the is world ridiculous. This is literally against Tyler. <laughs> oh my goodness, the chess no, there's gods. There's no way. There's no way. The chess gods are just against this poor man. Wait, she. Uh, Ginny has a different position. She doesn't even have the same thing. She doesn't even see Queen H four. She I... just thinks he's thinking. Oh, this is some cruel prank. This is. I bet up. E Rob did. I this. feel like I feel like this is a Black Mirror episode. Black one game abandoned. Oh, oh no, no, dude! Poor Ginny. Like this is so. This is the endless chess game. This is it. We are we are living. We are living in a Black Mirror simulation. This is just the chess game that will never end. You and I are going to be sitting here for, for days to try to finish uh, this that, chess game. That's all I wanted ever in life, just to sit and do endless chess commentary. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I've been told that we're getting some sort of official ruling. I, I mean, I imagine that was not her fault. It don't mess with Tyler 1, you know? I don't think I ever want to challenge that guy to a game of chess. Now, wait, I have a question. If he played, if he played Queen H4, but it never went on her screen, was it the official move? Like, does can he play a different move now? Okay, I don't even know. No, we're, uh, not, I've been we're not running that back again. Let me. <laughs> I've been instructed that we are going for another short break to figure out the technical difficulties. We will be right back. When I say chess, what's the first word that comes to your mind? Uh, the musical and, of course, the board game. Fantastic. Okay, is chess a sport? Absolutely. Very competitive, known worldwide, uh, battle of wits to the highest degree, I imagine. This is the best interview I've ever given. Howdy, sir. Sir, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Are you an important phone call? Uh, no, I'm not. Here. Okay. Hey, that's not the first time I've had people See, hang uh, up for me. I mean, thank you. Me? I, You're a good look at that. Like, thank you. I appreciate it. Are you Let, me? Is chess a sport? Intellectually, yes. Okay. Kind of like the same type of sport physically that NASCAR is. Okay. Does that like make that. sense? Like I've actually never heard that comparison as a guy who's been in chess my whole life. That's a great comparison. Hi, sir. Do you play chess? Sorry, uh, speak French. Oh, speak French. Okay. En passant. <laughs> hey, that guy was walking en passant. <laughs> chess. Chess. Chess, like the game. Chess. I can beat you in chess. If Bad. you beat me, I'll give you $10. 10 10 If you beat me, I... 
a bit. Mm. Okay, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna move my pawn out. I don't know what you're doing. I do oh, know what I'm doing. But I don't know what I'm doing. It's all right. It's all right. I don't know what I'm doing in life. Okay. All right, bro. That's, that's checkmate. Oh, fool's mate. Fool's mate, bro. I lost. Unbelievable. You, lost. you got 30 seconds for me, quick interview. Come on, you look like a chess player. You play chess? I don't play chess. Okay. When I say chess, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Winning. Of these three things, one of them is real. Chess dancing, chess climbing, chess boxing. Chess climbing? Chess climbing. Chess dancing. Climbing? Chess climbing. Chess boxing. Chess boxing? Chess boxing. You nailed it. Okay. Am I right for real? You nailed it. Seriously, yeah. Of, of the two of us, one of us is a world chess boxing champion. Which one do you think it is? Him, with him. The guy with the camera? Yeah. I'd like to say you, but I'm going to go with Mr. Man over the back. <laughs> okay. He's, he's a not world... box me. No, he's not. I mean, he does get... He, he tried to hit another guy earlier, so... <laughs> he looks... Oh, my God. She didn't even hesitate. From now on, will you stop making me do things in New York and Toronto where it's cold? Can we do every on the street episode from here from now on? My Lord. The process here... Because when you bring out the bishop like this, uh, it can become very vulnerable right away. So I'm not sure that I like the like the variational approach here. No, please don't. And it's too soon. I can't believe it. It's too soon, Hikaru. I can't fucking we believe it. He just lost. Yes! 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 Whoa, whoa, what? Oh no, a, a full oh, blunder. No, no. Oh my gosh, he just resigned, what? Hikaru. We got a resignation. It's going wow, to the tie break. Game. Take, take the pawn. Oh. Boy, God boy, it. is the winner. He won by the dirty flag. The question is, does Hafu take the Grandmaster approach here and just take the perpetual for the championship? Doesn't matter. We gotta listen in. She's about to deliver the goods. Yeah! I think she's fine. She feels so good. Overwhelmed with emotion. Hard work pays off. But now King. Oh, you don't like 92 minute blood. Oh my god. Oh. Let's go. Yes. Yeah. Oh. No. Oh. C'est pas possible. Mm. C'est pas possible. Oh. No. He fled. Oh. No. Holy s. Let's f go. What was that? 
He's trying to, no, don't, don't pre-move that. That is a, sometimes you, oh my God, he can actually steal me. No, no, this is really, really bad. Do not do that because- What is happening? You can I accidentally mean, stalemate if you do this. The king might go the other way, buddy. Uh oh. Oh, oh my uh -oh. god. Oh. Oh no. Never mind. No box. No, no. It's gonna be a stalemate. It's gonna be a stalemate. He's stalemate. No! No! Oh my god! Don't do it. He's gonna do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh my. That's it. Fuck yeah! A move like a staircase. Yes. Click the subscribe button. See if it says subscribe free and purple. And if it does, you're golden, pony boy. Anyway, let's check on who's priming right now. Oh shit, it's my friend. Um, Willis. Hey Willis, can't wait to grab lunch later. Catch you on the flippity flip. Anyway, back to the chess content. You guys have a good one. If, if well, Takes and you can't take back. Yeah. No! Oh, I blocked. Ah! But a butthole. The, the check king of the yeah. king and the Just queen don't to play go queen for that. Six. Right. <laughs> no! Oh, Danny, no! Danny, Danny, no! Danny, why did you do that? What is wrong with you, Danny? It was no. not me. I said, don't play queen of six. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. Ouch. Yes. Come on. Oh, I didn't even realize. They started. They started. And Charlie busts out the uh, the Dutch. The Dutch defense by Charlie. And wait a second. Has he pre moved Such his king set development? Yes, uh. he has. Yes, he has. What? Uh-huh. Uh, I'm pre moving pre baby. The entire king side development. Yep. Oh my That's god. Why those those squares are moved uh, mm -hmm. with red. Have you noticed uh, Mr. Jimmy? Beast is making actual moves. <laughs> Have you seen? Wow. He lets his I chest hold do the, the future track in my hands. That's <laughs> epic. The future in my hands. It's the 2023 FIDE World Championship. Whose name will next be called champion?
podcast fever is on in Astana as the city hosts the ultimate battle to crown the king of classical chess. It's been a long journey for the two challengers to the halls of the St. Regis Hotel. And we are live inside the playing arena as we wait for Jan Napomnesi and Ding Liren to arrive. It's now the final stretch of the FIDE World Championship match. Welcome everyone. I'm international master Tanya Sachdev. Alongside me, my co-commentators, Grandmaster Robert Hess and Grandmaster Fabiano Caruana. Four games remain. Jan Nepomnesi leads with one point. Ding Liren has to strike back to equalize. Right off the bat, Fabi, what's the one thing you're expecting from Ding today? I don't know if it's so much expecting, but I think that he is in a position now when we're getting close to the end of the match when maybe it's time to take some extra risks. And we've seen these players both take risks during these matches during this match, but in the last few games, they've played rather quietly, steadily, but Ding is still down a point and he doesn't want to let it get to that, you know, final few games when he's in a must-win situation. I think he should try to take the chance now to get some chances. As we get closer to the finish line in a 14-game match, each match becomes that much heavier. The pressure increases. The margin for error at this point for Ding Liren is zero. He needs to win a game. Jan Napomnesi looking good. With every passing game, he gets closer to becoming world champion. Robert, what will be Jan's approach today? Well, you say the margin for error for Ding Liren is nearly zero. The number of errors yesterday was pretty much zero. And for Jan Napomnesi, I think it's going to be more of the same. Why should he take any risk? Why does he need to do anything different? He should play his solid, steady approach. Another draw will not be a bad result for him, especially because there's a rest day tomorrow, and then he can prepare to have the black pieces in the 12th round. A draw in this match would mean that Jan just goes steps closer to that World Championship title, while for Ding it would mean one game less to strike back. So much at stake. The start of the World Championship match this first half was a fist fight, with five decisive games starting from game two. And then we saw four back-to-back -back victories with the white pieces. But going into the second half, we see the players treading more cautiously. They are taking less risks and playing with incredibly high accuracy. As we saw, starting from game eight, it was a draw, three back-to-back -back draws. In game 10, once again, with the white pieces, we saw Ting Liren push, exert pressure. But Yan had a principal approach to defense. And though Ding tried, Fabi, it was never close to being enough. Yeah, we, yesterday we saw a nearly perfect, one could even say perfect game of chess. But at the moment, Ding doesn't want perfect games of chess. He wants a mess. He wants some blood. As Tao said, you want to take your opponent into a deep, dark forest. And that's what Ding needs at the moment. He really needs to get back into the, into the equality of the match. And then, you know, we'll see in the final few games. But I think it would be very difficult for him if we're going to the final game of the match and he needs to win. You know, white pieces or not, you, you don't have amazing chances of winning a single game against a player as strong and as well prepared as Jan Pomnishi. So every game is a chance. I think he should try be trying to create complications and, you know, a way for his opponent to make mistakes. Yeah, I think for Ding, he needs to make the most of his chances, but he's just not going to get them. I'm sorry to say it. I know chat's going to hate me, but I expect a D word. A draw today, I think that's what is likely, because Yanda Pomsha, he wants to coast through to the finish line. He sees it. It's within his sight. So why should he take any risk? He has the white pieces. If he can liquidate, if he can make a draw, I think he's going to do that. Big questions. How much will Yan push with white? Tingleren, will he be under pressure one more time with the black pieces? And will he be able to hold for it? It was a confident hold in game 10 by Yan Nepomnesi. And this is what Ding had to say about the outcome of the game. Today I drew another white game. So it means uh, there are only four games left. I need to at least... Uh, score one win to level the, the score. It's become quite normal. Like there are three draws uh, in the three rounds. But okay, there, the tournament still not finished yet. So, okay, we still have four games left. I wouldn't say I was, how much confidence am I now? I, I didn't consider that.
four games left too with with the white pieces for dingler and confidence will be a big factor in this one and as we can see our chasscom stats team has given these odds based on the outcome the result of today's game 11 it's going to be a big exciting day of chess if yanna pamnishi with the white pieces wins essentially it won't just be game over it will be match over it's nearly impossible Dingleren will need the biggest of miracles to come back from a two-point deficit. A 98% favorite for Yan there, with a draw still more than an 80% favorite. And if Ding strikes back with the black pieces, our stats team actually edges inches more towards Ding with a 47% to Yan Napomnishi. Looking at these stats, Robert, is it fair to say that for Ding, it's more important to keep things under control, to not take extra risk than to try for a win today with black yeah for dingley ren he gets two whites in the remaining three games after today we've seen him create chances with the white pieces not yesterday but in game eight that result may have been a draw but he was winning so as you said confidence will be important for him i think he should confidently try to neutralize the opening advantage today and then he could take it from there Easier said than done, Robert, with Jan Napomnishi starting with the white pieces. It is all going to come down to what is Jan's approach today. Will he be the one who will try to close off the match today, maximize his chances, try to create chaos on the board? But the drawback of that strategy would be that Ding perhaps could get his moments in the game and strike back. Well, it's been a fa fascinating world championship with so many decisive games. With the black pieces, We've seen only one win so far. And it was back in game two with Jan Napomnishi drawing first blood in the match with a fantastic win with Black. Apart from that, we've often seen in the match, the player playing Black has struggled to neutralize out of the opening. Now, Jan hasn't lost a single game in this match with Black. Think, meanwhile, not just in this match, with the Black pieces, Ding has not yet defeated Jan Napomnishi in this World Championship match, as well as any of the classical games that they've played against each other. Uh, Robert, is that going to have a psychological effect on Ding going into today's game? Yeah, Ding has not beaten Jan Napomnishi with the black pieces. I don't think he is going to be aiming for that today. If an opportunity arises, he will try to make the most of it. But you can see Jan Napomnishi there. Same salmon-colored shirt. Same strong mental fortitude, same fantastic chess player as we've seen throughout this world championship. So for Ding, he knows his opponent at this point, and he knows that he can't just drum up a win out of nowhere. He would have to take some serious risk, and I just don't think Ding do, needs to do that at this late stage. He still has two white games remaining. I don't think now is the time to let things go crazy. Just four games remaining, too. Getting our 17th chess world champion. Fabi, are you surprised to see Yan return with a pink shirt or not as much? Well, I, I'm not his, his stylist, but if I were, I would tell him, you know, maybe to try a different color. You know, they, they say uh, variety is a spice of life. So let, let's see some different colors for these last few games. But I, I think that uh, these last few games will be very interesting. As you said, Yan has never lost to Ding with the white pieces. And that's very relevant. But I still think that Ding should try to take his chances. You know, just because things haven't happened in the past doesn't mean that they can't happen today or, or potentially in the remaining black game that Ding will have. And I want to push back a little bit on what Robert said, because even though we have seen Ding create a lot of chances with the white pieces, I feel like it is possible he has exhausted his repertoire of ideas with white. Mm -hmm. And that might be why we saw the last game. He, he didn't, he wasn't fully perfectly prepared for this bishop c5 move that Jan came out with. And uh, I feel like he's he's trying to, you know, probe a little bit in, in various directions, trying to find some sort of weaknesses in Jan's opening repertoire. But he might have already used his main ideas in the earlier stages in this match. Yeah. Very interesting, because even at the press conference, Ding actually confessed to being out of his preparation by move nine with that move bishop c5 that you mentioned by yan we've seen ding come up with these very combative energetic opening surprises but then with a one slight deviation by yan which perhaps is not the top move it feels as if ding tends to go into a think and finds himself out of his 
familiar preparation. Robert, has that surprised you a little bit? The fact that Ding is the one who is playing these amazing variations and these different openings, but very quickly is also the one who goes into a think tank. Well, to push back against Fabiano's pushback here, we're good friends. We can argue sometimes. I think that Ding said it himself that he was interested in risk minimization because of the critical moment when he took that pawn on d6 yesterday and traded queens. He could have dropped his bishop back. That's actually what Fabiano was recommending. That would have provided him more winning chances. He seemed a bit nervous. He just wanted to get down to that end game where he couldn't possibly lose. Nothing could go wrong there. So I feel, to answer your question directly, Tanya, he uh, has been a bit surprised. But I think that Ding Liren has shown his emotions. I think that he has been uh, quite upfront with everybody watching that he is nervous that things aren't going exactly his way, but he still is within the territory where he can win this match. He's only one point behind. And as we see the players getting seated there in the in Kazakhstan, I mean, Ding Liren, he knows what he needs to do today, and that is not lose. I'm going to push back on both of you pushing back and say that definitely for a world championship preparation, Ding's prep today has to not lack that depth. He cannot afford to burn the clock early on. Yan playing with the white pieces, Ding has to be sure that he has those critical minutes uh, reaching time control, reaching move 40. It is something that Yan can play on by not taking too much risk perhaps in the opening stages, but making sure that he poses the big question when the clock runs low. We see both players seated i'm expecting the jackets to come off meticulously be placed uh, on the chairs first moves are about to happen and of course that begs the question to be asked 1e4 by yan is that a mutual vote i'm gonna go with yes i think e4 i don't think it's time to experiment for yan because as as you guys both pointed out he's he's in the lead and there's no reason to take unnecessary risk uh, you know, you're in the lead. Of course, you're playing with the white pieces. And I think Jan will still have some ambition, of course, in this game. But he's not going to want to put himself in a position where he's potentially losing the game. That would be a complete disaster and put Ding not only back in the match, but arguably as a favorite, especially, you know, uh, in, in the psychological sense. Because winning with the black pieces in such a crucial game, that would be so huge psychologically and in the match score. So I think E4 and, you know what I hope to see? I don't know if I expect it, but I hope to see a Sicilian knight or... <laughs> <laughs> you actually said that yesterday, Fabi. And Robert, you were quite amused with that prediction uh, at the close of the show after game 10. And I have to ask you, what are the chances of us actually seeing a night off today, Robert? Yeah, you know, this is one where I trust Fabi, and I think that it would be excellent to see a night off. And I just want to say I agree completely with what Fabi's been saying. And I'm looking at this game. I'm looking at the opening stage. Jan has had advantages with the white pieces. Uh, let's not forget that two games ago in game nine, Jan actually had an advantage, and he was disappointed with that draw. So he is an ambitious player. If the situation occurs where he can play for an edge, he will do just that. But he wants to minimize his own risk uh, the players I mean they're seated they're ready I think that Dingley Ren he's looking at this board intently and I think we should all intently wait for his first move because if it's c5 it's a Sicilian Bobby you're going to be a, a proud proud commentator and colleague of Dingley Ren oh I, I will be super proud but you know I don't know what I would do if I was in his position it's easy to say play the Sicilian go all out you know try to take advantage of perhaps Jan's um uncertainty in terms of should i play for a win should i play it solidly that is a sort of vulnerable psychological state where you can try to uh, and here we see the first move e4 played not a surprise but will yan because he's not obligated to to uh play the that first move he's taking it back will he uh
Welcome back, everyone. Thank you so much for your patience. Uh, the backend devs, I think that's the right technical term. If not, then the emergency team, mission control, have been uh, up to the task. And it seems as though the servers have stabilized. Andrea, how'd you spend your last 20 minutes? Yes. Yes, uh, I finished my food. Uh, I got my water here. I uh, went outside. I sat on the... Were you muted? Oh, I've lost my co-host. All right. Well, <laughs> hello, chat. It's uh, it's uh, it's me. It, it's it's me. Uh, it's uh, it's the Tyler one stream. I think he's also watching the stream. Tyler, I'm sorry. I, I didn't do this, but um, I guess I also can't really talk about the game. Okay, I refreshed. Uh, I'm not muted in there. I suppose that would be providing unfair insight. It was a really good game. Okay. <laughs> and oh, I think I think I got my co-host back. Oh, we got we got Ginny on the screen now. Just kidding, guys. Jabated. That's there was, just no one's allowed to know what I did during the break. It was a secret. If there was one participant <laughs> who I would not want to be mad at me, I think it's Tyler. Uh, yeah. Well, I have to say, I've been kind of entertained just tuning in between the two because I've also just been waiting. Uh, but Tyler is very funny. At some point, he was ranting at why the stale stalemate rule exists if you're up a drastic amount of pieces. So I was definitely enjoying the Tyler tangents. Oh, I did not have a chance to enjoy those. I All I've been told is that the game will be resuming momentarily. And every now and then I look at the I look at the side over here and they put us on full screen. So I'm like cracking my knuckles thinking that like, <laughs> I don't know, and then it turns out that actually I'm I'm up there. Um so Tyler had a very big attack going uh, against Ginny's King, and then he disconnected, and then they told us we were coming back, and then we were not coming back, and then we did come back, and then he played a move, and then, <laughs> and then she disconnected, and then that's been our longest break since. So it's very easy for Chess.com to resume the game uh, with the same amount of time and the exact same position. The hard part is guaranteeing that their servers uh, stay up. But I think they've actually... I think they the game? I don't have the game yet, but we're going to go look. All right. Moment of truth. There it is. Wow. <laughs> I never thought I'd see that position again. Yeah, I was kind of hoping I wouldn't. Yeah, Queen, a Queen H4 was the recent move, and uh, now it's Ginny's move, I believe. I believe it's Ginny's move. This is the... This is the best chess game I've ever seen. Queen to C3 check. She's had 20 minutes to come up with a move, by the way. Yeah, I, Let's was, not forget. I was curious what they were going to spend their time on. I think that they're both trying to make a plan. Um, we'll see what they came up with. They spent all this time calculating and coming up with great plans. No, Queen C3, yeah, he, he, he's, got, he's got a little bit of extra time. I mean, we're, we're, we're back in game mode here. Uh, she can... Um, she can, well, she's not, she can, she is giving him a check and he's got multiple ways of blocking. He could literally block with every pawn. Uh, one is better than the other. One is worse than the other. And one is, they're, they're all probably, oh, he's trying, he's picking up the F pawn. Just imagine if Ginny comes back and ends up winning this game. I, I think after, that would make history. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, after all of that, I mean, I, I would just, I'd, I'd be done. I mean, I, I've been done kind of, but. Uh, yeah. All right. He he's he's thinking about it. He has played e5. It's on the live board, but you're about to see it over there. I'm I'm waiting for it. the move because I don't want to destroy the stimulation simulation. Yeah, he's a little bit behind. There it is. There we uh, go. She's got less than a minute. Let's throw it up on the big screen here. Uh, wow, that's a great move by her. She's gonna trade the rook off, and then it's just gonna be an end game, and. I mean, yeah. He, I th then I don't know. Tyler, Tyler doesn't really have any choice here. Just, just I'm, I'm gonna come back and remind him later that he could have ended all of our suffering about thirty minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. He could have. Uh, he, he had checkmate in one. Uh, tw 
twice he had checkmated one. He could have checkmated on the G2 square two times, actually. So if any of you are wondering, what, what am I still doing here? Just remember, Tyler won, checkmate and won. But, yes. you know? Bl blame Tyler won. Yep, exactly. Just kidding. Don't do that. He'll come for me and he has much bigger arms than me, even though I provoke most streamers and say I can beat them in a fight. Maybe not Tyler. Uh, that, that would be a fun addition to any boxing That's probably the yet. only streamer I won't take on. And Svend. And Svend. But why, I would why take not Svend? Um, I've worked out with him, and he just slightly benches a little, little bit more than me, but not by a lot. Is that sarcasm? Does he bench like 300 pounds? Or... I don't know. You have to get in the gym with us to find out, Levy. Ah, I see. Uh, yeah, Ty well, well, you never know. I mean, Tyler could gas. You know, he's got huge muscles. He's got to keep them fueled. I don't exactly know what this queen maneuver is, but it's going to safety. Queen takes d4. Wait a minute. Could be an issue. Okay. Uh, Tyler's not in. Oh, no. Ginny's not interested. Ooh. Well, she's actually, you know what? This is. She's she's coming back. She's defending. That chat is saying S fan can do three hundred pound bench press fifteen times. That's extremely impressive. Wow, that's sensational. Ah, it's mate. All right, this that, is the one. This is the one. This is the moment. The the game that won't end. No, no bro. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> okay, the good news is this is the only move, and, and knight takes queen is mate. mate. By accident. Knight takes queen is mate by It's over. All right. That was a good one. Like, Ginny Tyler, looks actually, like, horrified. <laughs> Tyler won, wins the game that it won't end. It only took three times. That's okay. Third time's a charm. Okay, it took, I think it what took five times. Is that normal? <laughs> <laughs> check, what is happening, bro? I don't, I don't know what that means. What is that? You get time randomly added to the other game? I think like I went on time. He's not even happy about his mate. <laughs> he doesn't know the time. Oh, he he doesn't understand why the time keeps going up. Yeah, plus five I love seconds. There's no for reaction a move? to the Wait. checkmate of this 90 minute game. That's and, not the reaction yeah. I was expecting, but I'm thoroughly entertained. And and after that colossal one and a half hour battle of a 10 minute game, Group C has an early leader in Tyler One leading one nil over Ginny. Now, we're going to get the second game going quickly for obvious reasons. Uh, Tyler is now going to get a game with the white pieces, and we'll see how that one goes. Um, any predictions for an opening? You know, I, I don't want to predict, but um, I just want to say to everyone who's still tuning in and to the talent, Ginny and Tyler, thank you guys, and we appreciate your patience, and we know it's because you really, really, really love chess and are really excited to be here. And yes. we appreciate you guys. Not because first place is 20,000 USD. <laughs> uh, it's definitely that, that it's because you love chess. love chess and they wouldn't want to do anything else right now. M yes, same, same. Uh, <laughs> this was actually a very good game, I have to say, before the disconnect and before the missed checkmates in one. Uh, and we already have game two underway. So let's get us off the screen. D4, knight A6. Now this, obviously, you know, you want to play for the center with the pawns and the knights, which is exactly what uh, Tyler's doing. Knight A6 has been played quite a bit by, you know, strong players like Carlson. And, ah, uh, yes. You, th you think she brushed up on her Magnus theory? Yeah, she's playing the Australian defense. Has Ginny actually streamed from Australia? I, feel like I she's wouldn't be surprised. Room. Maybe she's preparing for I did a thing. He's, uh, he's the only Australian in the group. Ah, Could be he's some an, he's an awesome. land ahead mind mm. games. So this is a real opening and you're, you're not trolling. People actually play Knight A6 F5. No, def they definitely don't play f5. But after f5, it's kind of a Dutch defense. It's d4, f5, and then knight c3, knight a6. I mean, it's edgy stuff. You know, it's it's not cutting edge theory. But, you know, f4, the blocking in the bishop a little bit. Now black is just oh, fantastic. There you okay. go, put the bishop out. She's making it work. She did go to Australia and stream. That's awesome. Honestly, if I could stream in one place, it would be Australia because there's lots of animals and it's probably the most dangerous place. Yeah, there's a lot of animals, like, spiders and jellyfish and uh snakes and so on That's and kangaroos dream, one day oh i could i could see you fighting a kangaroo yeah me I too could see a clip of that. alex wanted to go do a boat as a broad episode and be professional spider hunters where we hunt the most dangerous spiders maybe that'll be my next calling that 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 is usa literally has guns fair 
But I'm talking about the animals. We're not. Oh, she's undeveloped the knight. Uh, she was not convinced of the knight's positioning on the edge of the board. Um, she really, she, she should try to get more pieces into the game. So what I tell beginners is like nine times out of ten going backwards is not the best move. Um, you've got a better move going forward. I'm so she just should... curious if Tyler could maybe prepare some mate on the F7. I don't think it's doable, but I see a world where it could happen. Yeah, you don't know if if he has that um, in his toolbox, right? Like you don't. If you're a beginner, you might not be thinking checkmate well, on. Tyler F7. doesn't need just... a toolbox. He just has his straight guns. He he is the toolbox. Yeah, exactly. He is the toolbox. I wonder if he ever gets tired of being objectified. You know? Well, now he knows what it's like to be a female on Twitch. Yes, except <laughs> they. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know if they laud the 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 biceps because he's got he's got um by the way uh she brought the knight to c6 which is better i wish she did that sooner uh okay and now now little center balls a little bishop i see a master plan by tyler knight g5 coming in and he's going to mate on f7 i'm telling you yeah knight knight here knight here bishop here this this could be redemption from from what happened or he'll just castle. Let's see. Is he going to be aggro? Bishop F7? Okay. I don't know if Ginny will see it. Knight G5 would have been a little trickier. But this is great because, yeah, like you showed with the arrows, D6 does not defend the mate. Because the knight will still take the other escape square from the king. Yeah, wow. This is crazy. I mean, I'm assuming she's going to take because, like, she just put the knight there and this knight is coming. So now she sees this. She's like, oh, I must be easy. Get rid of that. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't make any assumptions at this point. Anything could happen. I kind of want to see a juicy mate, not because not because today took longer than usual, but because I'm very excited for a juicy mate. Yeah, yeah, juicy. Ju 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 oh, we're apparently looking in on Tyler's Tyler one stream right now. What's he up to? I have no idea about what's going to happen. I have no idea. We're kind of moving this one. Can't move these, can't move these, can't move that. He it's sees the mate, the right? Back. She can go here. She can take this. I don't know. Like, was Out. this just a coincidence? Did, it, did I? Kind of feeling like I DC'd. Not gonna lie. Okay, she moved. Oh my god. There is literally. Is that not a free queen with knight f7? Trap the queen? Yes, let's yes, let's show this on the board. So knight e5 was not just threatening bishop f7 mate, which is normally the move that you you don't you you Oh, oh, he didn't want the queen or the mate. Yeah, that's mate. Uh but you but that's no longer mate, but that's a free queen because it's completely trapped. That would have been a nice In one. Instead, he went d5, and now if the servers disconnect, we're going to be here for another 50 moves. The bishop is blocked, uh, but this is still defended. He's still doing very, very well. Um, but knight f7 was a clean triple fork for Tyler 1, hitting the queen and the rook and the bishop. But oh, he's just got to do some puzzles. Ow! Ah, it just keeps getting better and better. Now we take the knight. Check. King maybe moves, maybe we even get that knight back in F7, unless she bluffs. It, oh, and he did, just, he did just play this, so it's a natural follow-up for Tyler. Take, snap like, that knight. And like he and... said, he knows what he's doing. I think he's going to take the knight. I, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, he just went here. He was threatening to take the knight. I, I think. I, I took the knight. What a beast. What Let's a go. beast. And it's, and it's a discover check. This is good. I was really starting to get worried. Like, I know he plays League of Legends and he likes the pain, but you have to take the piece at some point. Uh, does Ginny know it's a discover check? Like, does she? She's going to try to take this, and then the thing is going to go wink, wink, like it does we, on Chess.com. Could we tune in? There oh, it is. She got there it. it is. There <gasps> All it is. right. There it is. Knight F7, you, you attack the rook, but, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a cheeky fork. Knight f7 is a, it's the best move. It picks up a rook or or more if black doesn't take. You can also I don't know, continue. Tyler didn't see it earlier, so it might not happen. Yeah, he just keeps taking. Here's the here's my problem with this move. You're you're giving your opponent's bishop way too much scope. He's and, activating uh, the sniper indeed. But 
what but what the rook can be taken and oh no and no. he's got a queen on the board he's a magician the he doesn't pawn... need the, the mate he doesn't need the queen he doesn't need anything the man just promoted and moved like 15. yet the pawn just walked through it couldn't be taken on c6 it needed to be taken on b7 yeah i listen a, a bit of fatigue for sure also isn't Ginny in europe it's 1 yeah, 40 in the no, morning it's, what it's have we... very late for Ginny. very very late poor girl I, it's that's not nice that we've stalled the match out. I mean, he's got a queen now. He's gotta he's he's gotta he's gotta keep the queen safe. There are two queens just standing around. So knight c6 is clean. Yeah. She thought she was in check. All right, we've got some feedback. She was she, definitely she was not in check. Two but... moves ahead, visualizing the knight on f7. But it happens. It happens. It's all good. And uh, chess is hard. Chess is hard. What can you say? And he castles. Clean move from Tyler. Look, there, okay, no, the a is defended. I would say there is a chance we take that queen, but there's there's not any chance. Okay. No! Oh, she needed to make sure that knight was defended. I mean, the queen was, uh, the knight was not defended. I can't even speak anymore. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Oh, now there's two queens versus nothing. I, I think Tyler's also speedrunning. I'm sure he's going to play like six I more hours of League after this, right? I think at this point, Ginny is just trying to flex. She's like, yeah, I want to see how many queens you can make, Tyler. I, I think she's flexing that he doesn't know how to mate and that he's just going to keep making a ton of queens. It's really just an elaborate mind game, and I think this has been all calculated. That is that is certainly a theory. Let's put it this way. That I is, that is, guess he's going to make a third queen. I think he's just going to start taking as much free stuff as possible. Queens really open up your, your eyes to tactical patterns, and your queen can see that. They're, as, as long as she doesn't block. She also might think she's in check, so she has to move her king, and that's the only legal move. And then he will swoop in with a second queen. And then he yeah. shall make a third. Because why not? I, oh, no. Oh, he took the bishop, though. Yep. Yeah, when you see a rook, take a bishop. Yeah, the bishop was over... Uh, the only reason that the queen could take was because the bishop was defending the rook, or rather, attacking. And this is a very convincing game from Tyler. Very, very convincing second game here. Um, now he's got to get... A, he could take the rook. He could also get a second queen in. What's going to happen here? I don't know why, but Tyler still looks so stressed. But I also can't tell because of his intense gaming oh posture. My... Maybe I'll this just guy... do commentary from down here for the rest of the day. He's on fire. I mean, he is... Listen, he's got the real... You Have you ever seen these chess players on camera in the Speed Chess Championship? I mean, it's ridiculous. It's a forehead. I have like, not, they... but... You know, life seems better from this angle. I might just take on the rest of the broadcast. I want yeah. a third queen. Yeah, I mean, this is... Would make he's, my not, he's not getting a third queen. He wants to end the chess as fast as possible, and then he wants to, he wants to go back to his real job. That, that's where you're wrong, Levy. We don't no, have he, real jobs. He literally said that. I'm quoting Tyler. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. You missed I'm my joke. Could Ponte, there's got to be a mate. I mean, you could get the rook. You could you could get in here with the queens. Two queens are super powerful. Get them on the back rank. Little corner checkmate. I or see just a take stalemate the coming. I take think Ginny is going to strategically tie up all her pieces and orient the queen, orientate the queens in a, in a perfect structure. All she has to do is get rid of these pawns, and she is she is getting the stalemate. Uh, I can't even this chess.com overlay I'm looking at, I can't even tell how much material he's up. How much material is white up? A lot? I legitimately can't tell. Look, like, I didn't no... go to I didn't go to college for a reason. Don't make me do more math than I have to. <laughs> All right, black has nine points. This is nine right here. So it's five, ten, nineteen, twenty-four. Oh, it's more than that now. Twenty-eight. Thanks, chat. 28. See? It, it, Why mates. do math when you have <laughs> Human oh, computers. Clean. 
Look at that. Look at this setup for the ladder mate. Oh, look at that setup for the ladder mate. Oh my God, Mrs. Stalemate by just a second. This is crazy. A second, some pawns. That was yeah, a just very a couple clean. Pawns and stuff. That was a very clean and convincing game. Boom! There it is. That's what I've been looking for. Easy. Yeah, baby! And you guys did not. Oh What's no, that? no, no, did no, we, no, 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 no! Did we lose him? Oh, oh no, he lost lagged there for a second. I thought that's okay. it. I was like, by the way, I won nine straight. By the way, nine straight. Nine yeah, Tyler, straight. We're proud. He won nine straight games for Paris. Yes, sir. Season? Yes, sir. I told you when the pressure is on, I perform. Who cares about all those games throughout the week? I was warming up. Bro, I, <laughs> I can still hear him. Uh, <laughs> Tyler won with a monster performance. The first 2 0 of the day. Both other matches had at least one draw. He never left any doubt. And I got to tell you, I was prepared. I was looking at everyone's scouting report before the event. And he's an underdog in Group C, but after this performance, I'm not sure. I mean, he's knocking on the door for XQC. Squeaks is going to have to be looking out. Tyler won. Look, Tyler won. If he endured this 90-minute match, I really think he can do anything. He might just win the whole tournament. XQC better watch out. XQC, C Dog, everybody in in in, in uh, Tyler's group. That was a really really masterful performance. Also, good job keeping the composure. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I mean, if he just fine-tunes a couple things, plays the openings, just the, the tiny little improvements here and there, we might have, uh, we might have a, a dark horse to win Pog Champs 5. Uh, the match that would never end has officially come to a conclusion. Jenny uh, can and can finally I... get some sleep now after 14 hours. Thank you, yes, Jenny. You're a real one. We appreciate you. Yes, apparently uh, Ginny has been streaming for 14 hours. Hopefully she also gets some rest. We are going to take a short break, not due to technical difficulties, but because we are preparing for our final match of the day, which is Sea Dog versus Saikuno. And we will see you on the other side of this very short break. The, the check king of the yeah. king and the you queen to go queen for that. Don't play queen of six. Right. <laughs> no! Oh, Danny, no! Danny, Danny, no! Danny! Why did you do that? What is wrong with you, Danny? It was no. not me! I said don't play queen of six! Oh my gosh! Oh my god! No. Oh my god! Ouch! Yes! Come on! Your subscription makes shows like this possible, which is why our Twitch subscribers will never see ads on chess.com. Connect your chess.com account and Twitch account at go.chess.com slash connect accounts and bang, boom, voila, you're done. 100% ad-free bliss forevermore. Whether you're following our events on site or on stream, type the command connect in the chat and thank you for helping bring these shows to life.
Chess grandmasters can lose 10 pounds and burn 6,000 calories just by sitting. Yeah, so I've actually been spending a lot of time getting in shape. Wow, that's great. What are you doing? Mostly like rook lifts. Oh, I've never heard of that. It's a thing. Don't look it up. Our final match of day number one of Pog Champs 5. It's been quite a day. We've had battles in Group A, Group B, Group C, and now we are going back to Group A to finish the day off with Sea Dog versus Saikuno. Uh, Andrea, how's uh, how's your day been? How's your uh, your coverage Hi, been? It's the best day ever. I got to spend more time with my BFF, Gotham Chess, and I'm a really big fan, so I just really treasured every hour today. Yeah, same. Yeah, um, particularly, no, uh, bad joke. Uh, I, I forgot there was a disconnect. I was going to say, uh, you know, I, I, I really you know, enjoyed my time solo, but it's, it's been a long day. Um, Jokes aren't funny when you have to explain them. Yeah, uh, we've got one more matchup for you today. I'm tired. It's, uh, <laughs> we'll go one more. This, this match was supposed to take place an hour ago. I love how the start time moves. That's so slick. They moved the start time from seven to eight. Oh, you guys are you guys are sneaky. It was it was seven p.m. Eastern time. Hey, hey, their uh, production's doing their best. Did you see the King Crusher video that they had? I have to say that was that was a nice touch. I liked that one. That's I I, I did not. I, I just laid on the couch. Uh, no, I got a lot of love and respect. A Sea Dog champion. Let's let's see. Let's check in on him. How he's doing? I don't know if we have audio. I bet but... all the students used all this extra time to prepare for these games. So that means that no audio. the next level of chess that we're gonna see is gonna be through the roof. It's gonna top everything you've seen today. Yes, this is by far the most lopsided matchup that we have had. Uh, Saikuno is coming in at a hot and fiery and spicy 199 elo. Ooh, the uh, 99s, they, they have a special charm to them. I have to tell you, Tyler, with the 199, I, I think this could be a lucky thing. Wasn't, I think Tyler was 259. Ah, uh, someone, no, 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 he was, no, no, he was 99. Or maybe I'm seeing things, I don't remember. Maybe, maybe his opponent? Was right. Someone was 199. You started um, the morning at 199. Saikuno is a is is a massive massive deal. He uh, he he does a ton of uh, different variety gaming content and chess like is one of these things that if you don't do all the time, your elo won't go up naturally. It's something you have to do for hours and hours. So he agreed to play in the event, which means we really should have given him a tune up match. I mean, whoever made this matchup is just brutal. When you 200, you're not supposed to play. It will just demoralize you. His goal today should be to get to a good position in 15, 20 moves and not lose. That's the goal. Damn. Well, I mean, it, it's you said it, Levy. It is going to be a tough one. But, you know, maybe Sea Dog will take it easy. Aikuno's got a very strong audience. 
Got a lot of fans. You know, C Dog might not want to mess with him. The girlies could come after him. That's true. That's true. C Dog could take it easy. Here. Listen, the only way C Dog loses this game uh, is uh, is just arrogance, right? And wait, Saikuno Zilo is one oh four. Wait, the game just. He told oh. me he was 200 a couple days ago. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Saikuno. I love it. I love this. I think he's smurfing. I think he's got a secret account rated 1,200. Night F3, confident move from Connor. I don't know. I'm very excited to see what Saikuno wow. has planned for today. He's the wow. underdog, but this I is, believe in him. I think the, he'll he'll take it away. This is the Petrov defense from Saikuno. And Connor's losing. Connor's losing. Oh, he was losing for half a second. <laughs> he, 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 he actually hung his pawn there. That, that was the same game as Frank versus Jarvis. Uh, but Saikuno did not take. Uh, it looks like he's going for the solid copycat strategy. Yep. yep. It's a copycat opening. So far. This will only Saikuno. work for so long. Saikuno's going to go D6. Copy him. Just copy him, Saikuno. I mean, he's doing what you're doing. Just there. There look, you go. If he's eleven hundred, this is this is the way. Wow! Look at that. Nice. Pa pawn to d6. Now, Connor might go here, and then Saikuno should just copy him. Just copy him. This is only going to work for so long until they take the knight on f6. <laughs> yes, it's true. If you copy until checkmate, wow. Oh God! Oh no! Oh, I wonder how far C Dog will take. Listen, yes, this is take. this is perfect stuff. Like, if you can't beat them, do exactly what they do. No, this is this is good. I like this. Genius stuff. Connor's gonna malfunction. Connor's gonna do some crazy. Saikuno has has outsmarted the opponent. Oh yeah, look at this. This is that gamer shred. Okay, now Saikuno's got to be careful. He can't go here because that'll lose him the game. Please don't copy. You got to take yep. the night here, Saikuno. Sea Dog realizes what's happening. He's trying to make it tricky for him. Yeah, if Saikuno goes here, he's going to lose his rook and his queen. Wow. Wow. All right, he has broken the spell. Now, will he find knight d4? Castles, don't hate it. Although knight d5 is now winning for white with the pressure. It's why you got to be careful about these pins. Oh. What? He played that in like half a second. Holy shit. Well. Yeah. Yeah. That's why he's 1180. Wow. And now he's threatening this. Hit the queen. Checkmate. That's why you, you got to PP on the PP. Put pressure on the pin piece. PP on the PP? Is that what you just said? I Correct. hear that right. Uh, okay. Yep. 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 Knight takes f6, and that's okay. Oh. That's also oh my not gosh. bad. He wants to use the knight to attack the king. It might even be trickier. Maybe he's trying to go for a mate. Yeah, it was better to take with the bishop, but as yep. long as he doesn't play queen takes, as long as he doesn't do a little queen takes here, knight takes f6. Uh, there's a way he could lose. He could go knight f6, king here, and then queen f5 and hang his knight. That would be crazy. Okay, he's thinking. Yeah, no, I'm I'm sure he's he's gonna hang his knight versus 100. Oh, oh, I whoa. Uh, okay, all right, mixing it up. Okay, at Saikuno only down a pawn, but back into the game if he trades queens. If he trades queens, but I don't know if he's gonna trade. He's he might go here if he doesn't. Oh yes. Wow. Yes, yes. Let's go. This is and good. Yeah, Connor just go into the end game here against the 104. A lot of respect here shown. A little bit scared of Saikuno's capabilities in the middle game. So now he can go here or come back. There is no fork. Yeah, unfortunately, in knight d7 looks like maybe you could potentially trap the knight and Saikuno could come back, but it doesn't work. This is a good move too. Hopefully, we can maybe defend the pawn on c7. Oh, wow. I like the counterattack even more, I think. It's crazy. I said Saikuno's got to get to 20 moves and not be losing. He's made it 13 moves. And okay. This is... Taking that does not guarantee much. I mean, the rook is open. But right now is where the 100 might be on display, right? Like, if you're 100, it means you just haven't built up the experience in middle games. 100 has a lot less to do with your actual abilities. And oh my god. I would not underestimate the 100. Saikuno's got this in the bag. What that a beautiful a, move. 
That's a great move. And if knight c7, the, the, the rook just traps the knight. I was going to say, it just has to do with experience. He just hasn't played that much. So yep. he's, uh, yeah, the knight's got to go back. Can we tune into Saikuno? I'd love to hear his thoughts. I mean, you never really know, I guess. Um... Okay. He's always so calm. This is okay. like... Eric Rosen in an alternate universe. They're the same person. He's he's taking a long time. Guys, look at the, look at the time here. I've got a whole minute on him. Neither of us are running low on time, but if it comes down to it, we, we have a whole minute on him. He's only got seven minutes left. So, like, at this point, I, I don't know if he's just lagging or... But... <laughs> I the mean, confidence is there for being against someone 1,000 points higher terrible, than you. I guess... Um, I mean, I, I feel like you just have to move this horse, right? I, I'm just trying to trade this pawn for a free horse, which is like, I, I feel like he has to move it, but he doesn't seem like he wants to. I Maybe there's something I'm missing, but I feel like it's an obvious move. You just get this horse out of the way. Okay, so that's what I thought he would do. Um, and now I'm going to do this because that'll, okay. wait, is this guy in danger? I wasn't paying attention, but it's it's whatever. <laughs> okay. And now he has to move his uh, crown man, I believe. Uh, right? I think he has to move the crown man, and then I'm going to move... Whoa, whoa, you could do that? That's getting tricky. Oh, you can't move your crown man like that. Okay, I mean, well, you can. I just didn't think you would, because that's a crazy move. Um, crown man. <laughs> Well, I, I guess I'll just have to move my horse back. Hey, he's saving his here, knight. Which looks pretty he's, safe. He's handling okay. this very well. This that was is, a wild this is move good he stuff, did. Yeah. Wild move he did that. Um, By the way, uh, Andrea, that's what your mic is supposed to sound like. I don't know what my mic sounds like. No, I think you have the same mic, but his sounds. I uh, don't worry. We'll, we'll work on it. Uh... But Apparently, the move that he just played is bad, but I don't really understand why. Uh, like, yeah, his, his, his like, he, he's, uh, why is that a bad move? Ah, uh, I think I, okay, I could be completely wrong. Um, but I was thinking a plan like a4, kick out the knight, knight of five, check, and then white has a d4 plan. Ah, uh, never mind, I forget the whole plan. But it was a whole plan to push d4, but it's gone now. Actually, ah, still possible with knight check, actually. You're saying the idea was takes, takes, you still here, do it. here, here, takes, takes, and then after this, there's takes, and then there's takes, but there is takes. Yeah, well, but I, I actually, you can still do the plan, just push before this. Still a decent plan with knight check right here. Yep, take, take, here, if take, check. And I'm sure he sees every single one of these. <laughs> uh, Connor's, Connor's good enough to see take, take, and then knight at five check, for sure, because he's definitely seeing this. Um, Look, Hikaru's on vacation, so someone else has to do the arrows now, okay? This is the new Hikaru. Everyone, welcome your king. Yeah, my, the crown man. Okay, Rook F1, he, he doesn't play it. I mean, this is, it's like Kuno's just firing moves. He just does not care. I mean, Rook E8, so fast. Good move. That knight is a god. It's just going to live there forever, or it's going to go here. And, I have, yep, cheeky fork. Let's see if Saikuno um, sees it. Saikuno might move his... Yep, he doesn't. That's going to be there in two seconds. Three. Boom. Yep. Yep. I have to say, first level, he was really doing great, but this is what deciphers the difference between 100, 1,000. He had a pretty solid play so far, but just takes one blunder. Yeah, he just got a little bit lost in the middle game, but again, his opponent is just really experienced, really good. And I kind of, I, I don't, I, this is, this was not a nice matchup. Like should, Connor should have played Frank <laughs> or something. Like, I don't know. This was very mean. Uh, but if Saikuno wants to try super hard in the next few weeks, he just has to grind a lot of puzzles, a lot of puzzles and some basic openings. And I think he'll get to five, 600 easily. Good move. Well, you good. know, based on Saikuno's strat of counting the time, He's doing really well in on that other game on the clock. He is up a whole almost two minutes. 
Yeah, he well, he's definitely up too. He's he was trying to be up more. His time is ticking down now. Yep. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, a rook and a bishop are just not enough here because the king is totally safe. Uh, Connor would have to blunder something really terrible, and even if he blunders, let's say a rook for a bishop, unfortunately, he's just going to have the upper hand in the end game. But and that's also just a free pawn. You could just take that. Yeah, I'm. Take. I'm really. I genuinely would love to see Saikuno <gasps> grind chess. I do think oh. he has the mind for it. I hope this matchup doesn't discourage him because it is intense. Wow. Wait, wait. Oh, Saikuno had a chance. He could have played pawn takes, rook yeah. takes, bishop fork. But unfortunately, he goes backwards. And also, Connor didn't have to do that. Yeah, he probably wouldn't take the pawn. But it, was, it would have been a nice attempt. Yeah, now Connor can just... Or... His legal name, C Dog VA, or actually his legal chess.com name, which is Chad Dog VA. I like that nice. one the most. Do you know what the VA stands for? No idea. Mm. Ask the wrong person. Do you know? I do know. Oh, okay. Well, do you want to enlighten us? It stands for Virginia, like the state, because that's He's where Connor was born. Born in Virginia. Yep. Ah, nice. Yeah, there you go. Voice actor. I don't think I've met anyone from Virginia. Yeah, yeah. Are you sure yeah. he's not just a voice actor? Correct. It, it is voice actor. It, it does sound for voice actor. It does not stand <laughs> I for I actually Virginia. really believed you that he was from Virginia. It stands, it stands for... It's been uh, a long day, okay, guys? Let me be. I'm tired. It stands you for, know what? He could have been from Virginia. How do you guys know everything about him, huh? For all you know, he could. He's Welsh. He's, I think, born and raised in Wales. Well, I didn't know that. I didn't read everyone's autobiography. Just read how good they're at chess. Uh, he is he could very be very good at proud chess. to represent Virginia. You no, know, not a lot of stuff happens from there, so I would have understood. There's some good stuff in Virginia, like you know, people like like uh, Pl Pl Plymouth, Jamestown, Jamestown, Virginia, or something. The founding fathers. Yeah, yeah, no, history, exciting stuff. All right, we're going to Sea Dog stream now. Sea Dog Virginia. Let's go, go Virginia. Right, this, this forward because I wanted to block this off the king. I don't want him to come down here. And I thought there's no benefit to taking this. Oh, I like the song. I heard this is the national anthem in Virginia. Dude, this is the death note so theme. I'm pretty no, sure. No, it's yeah, okay. the national anthem from Virginia. Obviously. This is the song, the official song of Virginia. I, you know, Dude, I think I, this is the matchup. If we can, like, you know, it's not one hundred. <laughs> Chat does not like. I know I'm bad, but death like, note. What? That's some. I think we're going back to the uh, the full screen there. And yeah, we heard uh, Connor say Saikuno is not 100. And it's true. Saikuno has definitely not represented himself as a 100 in this game. But Connor's just too experienced. Just too experienced. And uh, I'm glad that... I don't know. I don't know if I prefer that this match would have just come first. But like last, it's, you know, it'll be a bit faster than the others. But that's what happens. I mean, sometimes there's going to be lopsided matchups. And that's okay. That's why we have a champions and consolation bracket. Oh man, this, oh, this is Connor tough. <laughs> we see Connor there, vibing, pushing the pawns. Uh, oh, this is wow, he's, he's trying to come in with the rook mate. Okay. Yeah, rook g4 stops the black king from moving at all. Yep. Rook h4 is a free pawn. And he just has to bring in the other rook. Celebrating to the Virginia anthem. Virginia goes hard. Yeah, Virginia is the uh, was voted the number one toughest state in 2022. Actually, I don't believe anything you say anymore. <laughs> the poll was conducted by an independent third party named Mogul Moves. Ah, uh. yeah. Good, good. Uh... Oh, all right. How do, what's the solution here, boys? Now I know why he was jamming out. Yep. Nice. Oh, 
Yeah, no, I didn't want to jam out anyways. It's okay. Take it away. I like the silence. <laughs> It's not copyrighted, right? <laughs> oh, shoot. That's probably... Wait, look at these dance moves. These are great. This is That's good. That's so disrespectful. This man is dancing <laughs> in the middle of his chess match. I mean... Yeah, that's embarrassing. Who would ever do that? Dancing while they play chess? Cringe. Couldn't be me. Oh, is that like... Is that like a boat test stream a week when you do it's the, the DJ stuff? It's all we do. It's all I do. No, but I meant dancing on the opponent is pretty messed up. Oh, that's even better. Okay. Once we got Fortnite danced on by a 13-year-old as he checkmated us, so... That's bad, but I have never seen a more savage YouTube title than when Alexandra uploaded a video of her playing in Iceland and said, my opponent fell asleep during the game. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I think what some people may have done today, but we're still here, let's go! <laughs> her opponent fell asleep! <laughs> chess. The art of chess. Uh, B8! Is... That's a queen! And, uh, oh, check. King goes to the center. Clean it up. And, um... Queen takes, and that's yeah. game! Unfortunately, Bring it home no for yep. Virginia, Sea dog VA. Looking in. Okay, oh. no, just kidding. Debated, gotcha. Bro thinks he's Ikaru. And he's found it. He <laughs> has found it. I'm waiting for him to say something. Hey, I like the energy Connor brings. I know he's a favorite, but he has he has good EDM music. I can I mean he got the job done, that's all you can ask. You need the top seed to perform. He performed very confidently in the first game. And he oh. takes a one to nothing lead versus Saikuno. Well, ladies uh, and gentlemen, don't go anywhere because this next matchup, anything could happen, really. You must stay until the end. You don't know, and I heard, you know, Levy might just do something really exciting at the end of stream today. Yes, like go offline <laughs> and, no, eat, no. and eat dinner. Uh, I, 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 I'm very tired, and this has been a very, uh, obviously, long day with all the technical difficulties, so I'm, I'm breaking my diet, and I'm, I'm going to go get dessert because I, I feel... Very tired, and I want to try. What, what type of dessert? Um, I'm gonna get like a nice chocolate mousse cake. Ah, chocolate mousse out of everything you could have picked. I'm almost disappointed and wish I never asked. Jesus, okay. <laughs> uh, all right. Apparently, chocolate mousse is really bad. We got like, a game coming up in thirty seconds. So, You're what like do you get for dessert? If... I would eat like a, like raw cookie dough or something. You know, something a little more on the edge. Chocolate mousse, you go with your parents at Cheesecake Factory and like don't have a lot of options on the menu. You I don't just settle to, for the mousse. I don't, I don't go to Cheesecake Factory. Not a mousse type of girl. I've never been to. <laughs> anyway. Okay. It is dangerous, but that's gonna, the whole point. I'm gonna ask that. I'm gonna ask the players about dessert. Um, all right, we're looking at Saikuno. Uh, he he looks. He look. I don't. I don't know. I can't even make things up. It's been five hours. I, he looks exactly like the he always looks. Okay. He always boots up that stream. He's always got the nice intro music. He's got the soothing voice. All right. It's it's almost a shame we're making him play chess. You know, he's, he's an <laughs> incredible. He's an incredible gamer. I'm sure he would spend his evening like 20 different ways than this. Saikuno, thank you for playing in Pog Champs. All right. Thank you. Uh, we, we need you. All right. And wishing you the best of luck in this second game. He plays E4. I love it. He had a great showing. I think he played like a 500. Can we get a, uh, if, if someone behind the scenes, can, can somebody analyze that game with game review and tell me what his estimated ELO was according to chess.com? Because I think it was easily 500. I don't think it was 100. That's my command, my plea. Look at this, fantastic stuff. Look at this. Andrea, this is, did, the, did you the, give the him opening? a lesson? I, I wish I did, honestly. No, this is all him. Oh, <laughs> actually, no, I, I do know, he, I watched a little bit of his lesson with Nemo and it was a line where he kept going queen h5 with the knight there, so... Okay, I don't think he'll give his queen, but yeah, he, he loves this line. This man is trying to beat c in five <laughs> moves! Hey, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. This is probably <laughs> the best attempt anyways. Wait a minute, this is nuts! I mean, like, Connor's very close to losing this game. Oh my I, God. I mean, he's... Imagine, this could be the most insane win of all PogChamps history. Saikuno, please go bishop b3. Please don't take. Save the Just... bishes. Save the bishes. Saikuno knows to save his bishes. Apparently, Saikuno played at 73% accuracy last game and a 700 elo. That's amazing. 
Yeah, you, you, we need to share this with him so he doesn't quit chess forever after today. Because I'd like that to play. Oh. No! Don't take it, please. Just let us have something, God. Oh. Oh. And oh, Nemo taught him this because Sea Dog had apparently lost the fried liver before. Which I can see why, but he forgot to save his bishes. Yeah, I mean, knight e5 was a dangerous move because after the bishop would go back, you have oh. very easy ways of... Oh, I was so confused what his camera. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Go ahead. Uh, whose camera? What camera? Nothing. I, I'm seeing things. Just continue. I see. Um, well, the knight is hanging, so Sea dog has got to move it backwards. And then if Saikuno just keeps being aggressive, only good things could happen. So, okay. Maybe not. Don't, don't do this now. Don't play this because you lose the queen. So maybe castle or bishop f4. Just whatever you do, Shame. do not play. Just don't play this move. Just... Okay, you guys saw that too. Okay, he had some wide zoom. Nice. You guys, nice. well, this is just suffering, but anyone wants to tune into Saikuno's stream? Because I have to say, it's kind of relaxing to watch someone else suffer instead once in a while. Uh, I don't I don't think, I think Saikuno's okay. doing a great job. I don't... All right, Let's so to I'm going to be say. honest. Uh, that was pretty much the only strat I actually kind of know, and now we're just freestyling from here. So, uh, And by freestyling, I mean spamming random moves and hoping they work. Uh, so, yeah. I'd, uh, okay. I'm hoping he runs down the timer, but I don't think we'll be able to uh, do that. He, he seems careful about <laughs> the timer. So awesome. And realistically, my only chance to win was the hope he ran the timer out. So, uh... At least he's a realist. Yeah, not, not looking great. Not looking great. I mean, his position's good. Now, whatever just... I did, he seems to be thinking hard about this move, so that's good for me. Um, do like how hard he's thinking about this move now. <laughs> oh, in interesting okay i'm gonna do this a little little i mean he moved backwards so i feel like that's a safe move but uh we're obviously still way on the back foot here he's doing some weird mumbo what he's doing i'm not 100 percent sure but he's up to something my guess is he's trying to go for my horsey so i'm going no. to move the horse no he's just over here oh <laughs> No, that, that was definitely move? not the strat not. there. He's just trying to develop no. in castle. It, you know, at least he's always thinking. Oh, I forgot you could do that. Even Maybe not the right stuff. How did I forget? Anyway. He's always trying, and I appreciate that. Um, he was going so for a lot of this weird guy mumbo. Here. I don't, I don't, I don't know what of... else to do. <sighs> Who? Okay. Why would he do this? So this is a free pawn. All right, we're pulling up the analysis board once again. Uh, there was a moment there, Saikuno like said that uh, Sea Dog was going for some weird mumbo and the horse, and he moved it. Uh, that is that is def that was definitely not the objective for several reasons. To to hit this knight, you would need to move this knight, but also the, the knight is defended, so he's just trying to develop. And what I would urge beginners to um, not do is to give their opponents way too much credit too early in the game. Like, nobody really knows what they're doing, so. I don't know, Saikuno completely knows what he's doing. I agree with him, some weird mumbo jumbo. Yeah, he's come back from this move E5. Uh, at some point, his knight is gonna have to come. Oh, that's a good move. I mean, he kind of- Keeping the pressure. Connor's too he good. He has no mercy. Yeah, too good. Just pawn takes. Not, that's a good move too, though. I can't lie. But just here. Wow. Wow. Slide. What is Connor thinking about, by the way? I don't know. He doesn't look pleased, though. <laughs> he looks very unhappy, and I'm not sure why. Yeah, I'm looking. He looks very focused. He. All right, Saikuno's got a good counterattack plan. 
going to bring the attack on the queen side. This is good. It's a plan. It's oh. Bishop g4, okay. Connor responds with a plan of his own. The queen is hanging. Don't take. You could move or you could block. You could move or you could block. Okay. Sees the attack. I have to say, no, 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 Botez Gambit's at the 100 level, and that's impressive. This is next, I think, from Saikuno, unless his moves are totally unpredictable, and I'm not going to be able to anticipate anything. He's either going to go here or take the bishop, because he can. Saikuno's kind of a spontaneous type of dude, you know? He's just he is. That's what he's, he's up on the clock, I think. Connor's just struggling to anticipate his moves, and this is a, a good strat when you're up against someone a thousand points higher. If Saikuno pulls this game off by just playing solidly until Connor runs out on, of time, uh, that will be the greatest victory in all of Bogchamp's history. Uh, Saikuno is a more than 1,100 point underdog. But unfortunately, Connor still has six minutes on the clock. So uh, Maybe we could tune into Connor's stream. I don't know if he's talking, but he's, he's got the Tyler one posture, so it looks intense. Let's just... I mean, and stressed, he's up a bishop. Let's see what he does. He is a diehard Death Note fan. <laughs> I think if he wins another game, we have to ask him to change the playlist. The mess I've made. <laughs> I love how dejected he is of a fantastic position. <laughs> no, I have to say, this is what oh, I honestly respect sorry. and can take notes from lower rated players because I always get very cocky or confident as soon as I'm winning and I throw. Oy, but they are zoned in until the last second. Yeah, they just constantly oh, think they're okay. underperforming, um, which, which which is very funny. Like, Saikuno's sitting there like, I got no clue what I'm doing. Connor's like, I got no clue what I'm doing. Nobody knows what they're doing, apparently. Uh, and then Saikuno can come back. He doesn't really have a choice. He has to play knight c3. Um, please don't do anything else. You don't have anything else, Saikuno. Okay, well, he that, did. <laughs> that's He's... not... Dad's that pawn's gonna go to a2. This is very bad. Unfortunately, he uh he has thrown the knight. Now, for some reason, Connor is like terrified He's of Saikuno. getting in his head. I don't know what's happening, but yeah, Connor is just like I mean, he would take this in a heartbeat against an eleven hundred, but he like he's just not doing it. Looks flustered. I think he, we've stumped him. Okay, there, nope. There it is. There it is. And and yeah, white just doesn't have enough. I mean, black is just too solid. And if you try to trade this, there's this. You're just losing pieces. And uh, now, con oh no, oh no. He's just testing Connor's vision. He wants to see if Connor is really paying attention and how long he can see diagonals. There's yeah. a chance he fails this test. Yeah, yeah, he's kind of like a good sparring partner. And oh. he did fail. Well, well, uh, well, actually, oh no, because they take with check. I was going to say, we take the bishop with the knight attacking the queen. But surprise, they take with check and you get nothing. Yeah, yeah, that this this is either a flex or a total accident. That rook is still hanging. And Connor just went forward, so he might find this now. It does happen that way sometimes. But yeah, Saikuno's kind of being a sparring partner. He's like, yo, Connor, you see the rook? I ah, didn't see it, so you still, you still got some work to do. Rook takes and, pawn is And that's there. how you can tell Levy's never sparred in his life. Uh, sorry? What, 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 what is... What is oh, nothing, your... nothing. Sorry. Didn't say anything. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, your, your coach just beats you up or doesn't let you train certain uh, things? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Wait. Did this happen or was this 
Oh, I don't even know what's happening anymore. <laughs> oh, Saikuno. Well, he gave the rook. He gave the queen. He just wants to give it all. Oh. He's speed, he's speed running this in reverse, one could say. Yeah, the, that's not that's not good. Queen is coming. <sighs> well, it was good for about 15 it's, moves. It's like watching someone beat up a puppy. I just don't want to watch anymore. Wow, that's a that's that is an, <laughs> that is an escalation. I, I mean, I I feel as though he kind of like felt like he was gonna lose, and he just he he kind of threw it in. It's all good. I mean, Connor's coming in. He sees Queen F two mate. The only way to get out of there is to run the king or to bring the knight back. Knight H three. Um, offer a draw. Yes, offer a draw. Yeah. Um, Queen E three is mate in two. Or yeah, you could you could offer a draw. Connor would take a draw probably. Connor wins with a draw, so maybe he'll accept. No, oh, he's not accepting. Damn. <laughs> Connor just declined his draw. Yeah, and Connor. No mercy. Clean. Yeah, very very clean. Uh, not totally unexpected. Uh, Connor was the massive favorite. I think Connor was the biggest favorite by rating in any first round matchup here uh in the first round of pog champs five i, but I that's mean just there's no shot crumbles. i felt bad for Scott, oh. so you know i used to do it really good though he's not the rating difference is huge though but i mean especially the first game i think he played really well yep that was fun though he did i, I appreciate them letting me play chess and that i was late he played really well though did you say he was late does right, he not no know more, no more <laughs> all right chat let me bring you up uh, it's okay, Connor. We forgive you. Yeah, it's really yeah. unfortunate we had to wait on you all day. Jeez, yeah. Connor, try to be yeah. more on time next time. It's Connor's fault. <laughs> it's Connor's anyway, fault. Um, of course, this was a super uneven matchup, and props to both of them. But Saikuno played way above his level, had a lot of brilliant moments, and I hope this game doesn't discourage him. Hopefully, get some more training. But I think against a group of players more closer to his rating, he has great chances. Absolutely. I think if he keeps practicing, he's got good chances against other people in his group. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's going to be very tough to beat Connor, not just for Saikuno, but everybody in Group A. And that goes for Jarvis. And that goes for Frank. Frank beat Jarvis today, but Sea Dog is no walk in the park. He is a number, he's the, probably the favorite to win the event, at least right now, for a reason. Uh, we are going to go to a short break, and I we're going to find out if we're going to be speaking to one both or none of the players. I think some of them have time constraints and we ran a bit late today. Uh, but the first day of Champs 5 has all finished and we will be right back uh, to let you know either uh, the interview or our thoughts before we sign off. Still plenty of options <laughs> and opportunities left. All right, next one. You ready? Yes. Let's do it. Kasparian study. Why to move? Okay, I know. Ah, you know it. <laughs> it's not fair. Queen a three, rook b two, uh, rook b two. Rook b2. Very good. It's Kasparian. Kasparian study. Yes. Yeah. Looks kind of familiar. But. Okay, yeah. Rook d2, rook b2, rook b1. So how do you start? Queen a3, rook a2, rook d2, d2, rook, rook takes a3, rook b2, rook a2, rook b1. Very nice. Very nice. Well done. Okay. So it's queen a3 check, mm -hmm. rook a2, then rook b2, mm -hmm. rook a3, rook b2, rook a3, rook b1. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Yes. 
Impressive knowledge. Another study. I mean, if you know this one, I will be mightily impressed. Why the move? Okay, this one I don't know. So it's 10 seconds as well? 10 seconds. Oh. Um, yeah. Bishop b6, c5, king b8, uh, b6. King c8. Uh, king c8, king d4. h4. h4. Uh, now I have to. Yes, king f5. And h5 e4. and king e4. Yeah. Very nice. Is king e4 the final move? Bishop b6, queen b6, c5, queen b8, b6, king c8, king e4. Yes, h4. And uh, king f5. h5. And king e4. King e4 back. Yeah, very nice. Well done. Okay, this one is a bit difficult, <laughs> I can say. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess bishop takes b6. Yes. Queen b6, c5. Yes. Queen b8, b6, mm -hmm. king c8, mm -hmm. c7, queen b7. Uh, C7 so, might not be correct. Oh. Oh, oh king e4. King e4. Yes, 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 yes. H4. H4. You have a pawn on g3, h5, and h6, right? Yes. Okay, then king f5. H5, h5 king e4. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Very that's, nice. Yeah. That's the one. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. Welcome back everyone to 
to our coverage of PogChamps 5. Here we see the celebration. I don't know if that was the celebration or just the mid-round dancing by Connor in his match against uh, Saikuno today. We're joined by our last interviewee of the day, Hello. Connor Sea Dog VA. How how you doing? How you doing, baby? You feeling good? How's the, how, how's the win? I yeah, heard, he's good. Dawson I mean, calls someone baby. <laughs> it's it's, a, it's our thing. Sorry. Actually, it's what we do. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's oh, just, gotcha. Okay, it's, I did it. Gotcha. It's just our thing. I anyway, I just woke Connor. up and I thought this is a great day to play some chess. Um, I was worried because Saikuno is known for, you know, uh, pulling a fast one and uh, the hundred rating. I didn't believe it for a second. I'm glad I didn't. I don't want to go easy on him. He's definitely more than one hundred. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, he, he definitely fun. played above his level. Uh, he most certainly did. He scared me for a moment there. I was, I was about to start shooting myself. Sorry, am I going to curse <laughs> on your stream? I shouldn't. I shouldn't. You would have that. liked to watch that. You, you could, you could do that. You could do that. Uh, would you rather play <laughs> a one hundred or like a or like a two thousand? Oh, uh, two thousand, hundred percent. Because like uh, two thousand, like when okay. you're when you're the higher rated, everything's on you to win. And, and when you win, it's like, wow, look at this. Big man with a big score winning, huh? Look at this guy. Uh, so it doesn't feel too great. And I'm used to losing. So I was really <laughs> happy to take that role. Well, on that note, you have kind of been touted. I don't know how much you've been following because I know you're a busy guy. But you've been touted as the pre-tournament favorite. There's obviously a couple of other people in the four digits. And there's a few people who really overperformed today. They played super, super well. So... Do you know, are you aware that you are the pre-tournament favorite? Are you thinking about that at all? Are you training? It's a lot of There's pressure the, on we, you. I heard you beat Ludwig. Wait, who, who's the favorite for who? who I, I'm You're the favorite. The favorite. You're apparently so you're gonna supposed win to win this five, dude, whole yeah. thing. No way. Dude, I, I, I don't. I actually bet $1,000 uh, on you. I literally what? put all my money on you. Yeah, like I, I did a lot of history. I, and, you know, you you played Rivals three years ago. You played chess as a kid. They told me you beat Ludwig, so I put all of my money, almost my entire college yeah, I, fund on you. So dude, there's, I mean, there's Saikuno, really hope that you win. Uh, Saikuno blind could beat Ludwig. That's not that's nothing to be really proud of. <laughs> um, Ludwig's solid. He's like ultimate... more than a thousand. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I mean, it's it's something like that. But he plays like a hundred. That's what matters. I think the the thing that I'm concerned about is, um, if I do well that I will have more pressure on me. And then also I have to get a flight to LA, which I've done. <laughs> He's sounds really dreading work. going to LA, damn. I'm Listen, like, do I have on. to go to LA? Really? Can we not do it in Tokyo? LA is like, this is great. Because every time, every oh. time I'm in LA, you're in LA. I feel like you're in LA all the time. I mean, it's- uh, I am, I am. <laughs> Wait. Well, uh, I have I, a question. I, if, if, you, if you make it to the, to the song. final- yeah, you are the favorite. You are you're definitely the favorite, hundred percent. Like it's close, but you're definitely the favorite. If you make it out there to uh to and you you go to the final, will you rematch Lud in slap fighting? Yo, sure, I'll I'll rematch him in slap fighting. I wouldn't mind doing that. Okay, wow, look at that. Um, Maybe for charity. I listen. I don't mind getting slapped. Full stop. Let's just we can just arrange that. Um, especially if I get to slap Ludwig back, that's a win win for me. I think my my strategy going forward with this is to uh, continue to not practice, and then when I lose, <laughs> I can blame that I didn't practice and that I should have practiced more. It's Thoughts? like my whole career right there. Okay. <laughs> yep, same, except I practice and still lose. No, I think this is no! great. We're all really going to be rooting you on and... I will make sure to bet even more money. I think he's a clear favorite. I love to see the enthusiasm and the motivation to, to take you. the win home. Uh, it's very inspiring. I, I hope for I can do you guys proud. Yeah, Connor, last question before you go. I, I don't know how much scouting you've done of the groups. You've got a guy in your group who has made chess popular in, the, in, in, in England. Uh, he's an Englishman. Wow. His name is Frank. Are you excited to represent in that rivalry, in that matchup? Uh, yeah, I, if he's from England, I'm from Wales, so it's a natural-born rivalry. Um, I've seen Frank. Frank's presence is terrifying. He's a he's a powerful man, and his aura is much higher than mine. However, I you know I I like to think that my calm demeanor would allow me to focus more. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. But Frank Frank is a powerhouse. I don't know how I'm going to compete against Frank. You think you could take him in an open mic match? 
<laughs> Fuck no. I, th- I think he breaks the mic Let's in five Frank- minutes. <laughs> I heard that Frank will only play you if it's open mic, so we might have no choice. But oh, oh, open, oh open sh- mic I, I just understood what you meant by open mic. Sorry, I thought, for some reason, I thought it was like a shouting competition. You meant like play? No, 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 him? just, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Would that be allowed? Yeah, sure. Do we have your permission? Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll down. send that to the, the uh, Chesscom headquarters. Got it. Yeah, they'll, I'll they'll, arrange they'll, this. Yeah, as long as we don't have to hear it, uh, we don't have to hear the constant. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh God, I play so much worse when I play open mic, but sure, I'll do it. I get All right, so ladies easy. and I'm gentlemen, you heard it here. We have an open mic match with Frank coming up. Very exciting stuff. Yeah, we got an open mic match with Frank. We got a slight. We got Connor into a lot of stuff here, ending the show. It's been, it's been a wild time, Connor. Thank thank you for uh, being a good sport, sticking around for the show running late. Uh, welcome to Appreciate Five it. Champs Five, and uh, I'll let you go. You. I'll let you go. Enjoy the day over there in Japan. Goodbye, Thank you so dog. much. Enjoy I appreciate Virginia. it. I will. <laughs> I will. Thank you so much, guys. See you guys. Bye. <laughs> bye, Connor. Bye, uh, bye to Connor's chat. Let's take a look at our standings. Uh, the first day is done. Group D untouched. We didn't have any matchups there. We got the entirety of Group A. Sea Dog and Frank, both three points up top, defeating Saikuno and Jarvis, respectfully respectively not respectfully as well but also respectively uh in group b ghastly took a quick lead with a three-point victory over daily dose of internet and uh tyler won getting us going in group c with a win over Ginny. We, uh, we saw frank celebrating he uh, yelled a lot a lot we saw ghastly just you know Ghastly just very chill. Very, very chill there. And same goes for Tyler. Very calm, collected man. Yep, very calm. Wow, those arms are gigantic. Goodness. And then he challenged me to a 1v1. And there's Connor. He challenged you to a 1v1? Yeah, people in the chat oh were saying God. Tyler wants to 1v1 me. Hopefully Can you not in Please like... take it. I would I would fly to him and do a, like a weightlifting competition just to see how much weaker I am. Um, and I'm I'm not that weak, but he is just ridiculously strong. It's so cool to see. Uh, that that about wraps it up. Um, we've got a uh, we've got coverage tomorrow, uh, and I think we are going to preview what we expect. Uh, I don't know if I mean I'm here. Andre, are you my co-host tomorrow? I don't know who my co-host nope, is. Nope, it's gonna be Amon. Oh, okay, Amon Hamilton, Grandmaster Amon Hamilton. Look at that. Uh, he has something I don't. Um, what? Oh, the Grandmaster <laughs> title. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> what did you think? Oh, my God. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. Uh, um, XQC squeaks, 5 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. Gasly. We got Gasly two days in a row? What a treat. Yes, he's actually Gasly. playing my student tomorrow. I've been coaching them both. So I can't watch. I can't watch. Yeah, I'm secretly training Snap. Uh, snap, 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 oh snap, my snap. god. You it's, can't it has even been a long say day. his name, and you, you faked to be a supportive Just... coach on Twitter. You don't even know his name. I <laughs> I know his name. And then we got Connor coming back to play Jarvis tomorrow, too. Wow. I did. You know what? I, I didn't even know any of this. I didn't know that people are play, playing twice. Okay, well, I will be here uh, tomorrow, and I guess uh, it'll be myself and I'm on Hamilton. We got only three matchups tomorrow because creators are very busy people, and they have real jobs not just playing chess matches on chess.com during Pog Champs, but we will get all of the group stages completed. Tomorrow, we've only got three matches, and that about concludes day number one. Uh, what a day. What a day. I look How, forward uh, to... You tired? I look forward to your commentary tomorrow. I hope it's even longer than today. Oh, wow. Three matches, but longer. Wow, that will be <laughs> awful. That will be... Yeah, yeah, that's going to be terrible. This is the test of how much it takes to break Levy. And I test no. myself. I've gone pretty close, but I want to see who can take the cake. No, no, definitely not. Uh, none of this is real, and we all die in the end. And on that beautiful note, <laughs> welcome back to Pog Champs. It's Pog Champs 5. It's day number one in the books. A lot of great matches, a lot of great moments, and we're going to sign off. But before we do, uh, we've, got a, we've got a question if you're looking to put your bullet chess skills to the test. Ooh. Now there's a weekly competitive event called the Community Bullet Brawl Arena. Finally one and I can play in. Yay. Yes, you can and you can win a diamond membership. Oh my Anybody god. Anybody 
is eligible to throw their hat in the ring and prove their speed chess prowess. I'm reading off a card, so let me just say. All you have to do is join the community club on chess.com and register for the arena. Use the command CBB in the chat for all of the details. Are you gonna are you gonna play in it? I think I might. I keep asking them to let me play in title Tuesday, but bullet brawl might be my big break. It might. I'm not gonna play because I'm I'm an old man. I don't play bullet anymore. Uh that's our community bullet brawl arena. This is Pog Champs 5. We're signing off. Day number one coverage. It's been great. We'll see you all tomorrow. I think it's at 3.30 p.m. Eastern. That could have been, I think it's at 3 p.m. Eastern. That could be completely incorrect. We'll put out an announcement. It's been a long day. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you all tomorrow. Welcome back to Pog Champs, everybody. Five minutes left. I'm sure you taught Frank about stalemate. No. You know what? I give a check there, right? Let okay. go of the mouse! Just, just do it! Queen C2 is made on the board! What? Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, we There could be oh, the legendary oh comeback from the He's bonus so protege! Amazing. And he resigns! Let's go! D4 is played. It's made. The game that won't end. No! no bro. Knight takes queen is made by... It's over. All right. Look at this setup for the ladder mate. Whoa. That's what I've been looking for. Easy. Whoa, you could do that? It's getting tricky. Oh, you can't move your crown man like that. Takes, takes, and then after this, there's takes, and then there's takes, but there is takes. Hey, look at these dance moves. These are great. <laughs> Connor just declined his drop. Yeah, and Connor. No mercy.